and sit down. Hello again, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop, and my good friend Fox. Gadget will build if you have coin. And uh, welcome to another Friday <laughs> Bane Blade show. Hey, Rob. Um, yeah, people were worried, see, that we weren't going to start. But I, 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 I set the show for five to midnight and then go live at midnight because yep. sometimes people get the wrong days, don't they? <coughs> then yeah, if you say midnight Tuesday, hours turn, early. Yeah, if you say midnight Tuesday, they'll turn up at. 23.59 on Tuesday, which is Wednesday, and then you'd be like, no, that was Monday. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, that's yeah. why, but uh, yeah. Anyway, Lynn says she's made it home before the show started. Hello, Colin and Fox, and big hugs. Look at that. Lot. There's a wall of all kinds of nonsense going on, including why? coffee and some kind you... of vegetable things. Is that carrots? Uh, no, that's roses, mate. Is it? Is it? I don't know. This is well, actually, green. that looks like tulips, that one, doesn't it? Could be a tulip. <laughs> tulips. Yeah, you can have a spider pig for a start or not. How many tulips do you get, Cole? How many tulips? Freight for a pound, mate. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, it's free. Not four, but freight for a pound, mate. Not four, not two, not one, not th no, three. It's, it's three. freight for a quid, mate. Free Archie's in saying after all, after, after all even, he says, uh, hey, all even. <laughs> he's just he just adding words and taking words oh away. mate yeah yes yeah. so, so i was reading out loud what more can i say I'm tonight folks you can put comments in chat and, and colin will completely read them as do different oh yeah altogether. not only do i destroy the language i destroy people's comments yeah uh he's writing out a list of all the live streams to do uh so this is a bit of luck oh there you go in case it slipped your attention i think archie's tempted to do a live mate <laughs> he's filling me chat up with it he thinks it's the sunday brunch mate I don't know. Bless him. This is, this is not this is not a pimping zone. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> hi, Archie says Lynn. I need to make a list too. Oh, there you go. See, well, I've PM'd you a list of all mine, Arch. So that should help you out, mate. Mm -hmm. uh, he's uh, what's that? He sent you an invitation on Facebook to his group. There you go. So you can read that. And there's more stuff about his stuff. Uh, Sky models is saying evening. Hey, evening. Dad. Evening. Yeah, the voice Mountain, from the depths. The voice from the sky. He says that. It's actually the voice coming out from underneath Colin's desk, but you don't want to know why. <laughs> Ooh, gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the post here. Uh, Chris <clears throat> Connor Bear's in. Say good evening all. Hello, Chris. All right, mate? Hello, we inst Chris. We instantly like anyone with the word bear in their name. Absolutely. And uh, that's me saying, yeah, of course you didn't, Arch. Bless. He said, I promise I didn't. Yeah. Um... Scout Model Muse, she says, she's going to be in and out of chat at work. Uh, she says, don't have too much fun. Of course we won't, Muse. We Still never fun. have fun. Quick, you'll never be that I'm going live. It's just, yeah. Yeah, I've not got the sniffles yet, but it'll happen. It will happen. Dad gets a cough. So Yeah, yeah. when I put the lenses on, yeah. I'll get the sniffles. That's me saying to Archie, don't be daft and dishing out virtual hugs to music ins. Uh, Wendy's in, saying evening to uh, myself, Archie, Scaly Models, Mayhem work, Model Works, and Fox, of course. Hello. Wendy saying hello to everyone. Cheers for the little logo on the thumbnail, Andy. Thumbnail, free for a pound. Yeah, because uh, it's a gun, isn't it? Uh, Lynn <laughs> it's saying, a gun, isn't it? Be right back. She's on her phone. Happy days. We'll just twiddle our thumbs until we get back, Lynn. Yeah, we'll just... <laughs> Andy saying hello to Chris. They're all saying hello to each other. He says he sees a thing. Oh, I see a thing. Uh, he's also saying, how are you doing, mate? You man, man in of awesomeness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I'm all right, mate. It's if you're a man, man, what am I? Am I like a bit of a hillock, do you think? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm a bit of a door frame filler, isn't I, really? I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit on the large side. Uh, you know, this is why man, I'm a body a man of double for Jason Statham, see, because it's a man uncanny. Of substance. Yeah, there's a bit of fester in there, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, he says, who's excited about Bad Batch? What's Bad Me. Batch? Never heard of it. Me. Bad Batch is the new um, series from, uh, Star Wars series, based on a follow-on from the Clone Wars animated series we were talking about before we went live. Ah. Oh, it's the new right. series, and it's going to be fantastic, and it starts in a couple of months. And he's asking Archie whether he's been at them eggs again. Ace. Iron Man 129's in. He says, Who, what's that? Who else is exciting about Valorm's upcoming 72nd Curtis C-44 or C-46 Commando? I don't know. What I don't know what any, that's all them like numbers and letters people throw around again, isn't it? Oh, excuse me. 
That's the effect that had on you. <laughs> That's all witchcraft and Tom Fuller right to me, mate. That's uh, like when on, the e-mod, when on the e-model show we say, we want to know what's in your food, we don't really care what's on your belly because it's just numbers and letters. <laughs> yeah, we're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Fred. Uh, Fox even is saying, evening everyone, <laughs> I've got my fluffy Sleepy Times trousers and I'm warm and toasty and ready for Buildy Buildy. I might fall Here asleep at any moment. Yeah, I'll get Fester Uggs, there's Fox Uggs, all kinds of Uggs oh, going on. Oh, Fox Uggs, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Andy says he's a bit made up. He sees a thing he made for Colin. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I thought, I better put it on there because he won't leave me alone if I don't. He'll, <laughs> yeah, he'll it's, send it's... me eight mail. He'll unfriend me. He'll unsubscribe. The bottom lip will don't, come out. Don't have any illusions. He added it for purely mercenary reasons. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I just pictured this massive wibble happening. So I thought, yeah, I better Did you see, like, the bottom lip sticking out? <laughs> Oh, it was like an half inflated dinghy mate thrown at the side of a beach. It was proper. <laughs> <laughs> now, all joking aside, mate, cheers, geese. Uh, he says, I'm not sure whether there are any sprue photos yet, but the two box arts look good. Ooh. Mm. I'll have to look out I for that. I don't know where you are in chat. Yeah, nor do I, mate. I'm just making it up. Uh, Wendy Hickson <laughs> <laughs> says, I, Fox, and she's giving you hugs. Hey, Wendy. With a capital H. Hugs. Oh, she's still on about streams. There is a Google Calendar arch on my YouTube channel that's been there about a year and a half, mate. And in there's all the shows, mate, that people don't. Google you know, the calendar. Go and have a looky loo, mate. Look at the candularity. Uh, oh, Lynn's letting me know she's off the phone. Just as well, Lynn. We was only killing time till we got Attention, that number. Lynn is off the phone. Lynn is off the phone. Oh, uh, yeah. Switch Do you want to put that to on front. Facebook, Deb? Deflector screens. Yeah. <laughs> Shanny King there, didn't he? Um, Sarah Jane saying, uh, yeah, it got prime time on a Tuesday. Yeah, there you go. See, it's, it's a busy schedule, mate, because we like to keep everyone entertained during lockdown. Yeah. Uh, what have we got there? Uh, it'll, all fall, it'll all fall through when everybody goes back to work and they'll be like, nobody will get any views for anything. It'll be like, oh, I'll just, I'll yeah. just stop doing live streams then. Archie's saying that he never knew Fox made mods. Okay. Uh, what? For what? Me? What mods? Yeah. Uh, Sarah I, Jane, gone. Oh, I don't know what they're talking about. I, I thought it was about I, Skyrim, but I think Sarah Jane's talking about making people a mod, other than a moderator. Oh, and right. I think Common Road Junk, I think Archie's talking about mods for Skyrim. And I don't do either. But I'm just nodding. Just nodding. I don't know. I don't do Skyrim yeah. mods. Uh, Sarah Jane saying, Colin, I had to be here for you. Oh, bless you, right? Oh, oh that's lovely. I'm feeling the love now. Plus, uh, there was a half finished bottle, so, you know. Yeah, she's just <laughs> finished watching Final Countdown with Kurt Douglas. That's in my head now. God damn it. Brilliant. The song is Brilliant. not not that song, but you, you know what I mean. Yeah. I can't sing it, obvious reasons. Absolutely. I've heard you sing. Uh, <laughs> Mike's going, shout out a day and time you're thinking of an arch, and I'll tell you. There you go. See, he's, yeah, he's keen. He's keen is our Archie. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Mike's saying hello to William Rayburn, who's just popped in. Says, hope everyone is doing exploded. well tonight, mate. Absolutely. Edward Leonard's in. Hello, Edward. All right, Hang on, mate. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I hope it's on oh, camera. That. That, that was perfect. It oh, doesn't actually make a noise, but you know. And oh, Lib 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 was saying 432 was mentioned. Absolutely. 432 was mentioned. Get in there. Just there on the side of my bench, mate. Yeah, so that is the chat caught up. Apologies if I've missed anyone, but... Yeah. Otherwise, I'd just be reading out the chat for four hours, and I can't be doing. You've missed that. about about four hundred more comments, but you will be here all night reading the chat if you can. Yeah, on. that's what I do on a Sunday for an hour, just read chat. <laughs> <laughs> and what a thoroughly nice job you do. <laughs> Archie, say so you say I'm keen. I'm worried you guys think I'm taking the piss. No, we don't. I'll be daft, Archie. Mayhem applies now. the dry slap of. How, how can you have a dry slap of wet mitten goodness? How do you have a dry slap from a wet mitten? <gasps> uh, it's handy dishing it out. You can. Oh, I'm gonna make. Oh, it's gonna drop me brand out because Look I want. A, I want Fox to do a slightly. Because oh. uh, there's something else coming that's gonna appear. Moist. Oh yeah, let's break the ball off. Why don't you come? Oh no! Oh no! You can reprint it. Yeah, but uh, what's that on the top? <gasps> You are a. Are we allowed to swear? Oh, no, I'm going to swear. Oh, you are a goddamn genius. 
And it, it's orcs because it's broke in the middle, isn't it? And they tied it together. <laughs> oh, God damn it, son. Look at that. You like that, don't you? Oh, that is just the best thing uh, ever. How the fuck are you going to spray the, that? <laughs> there's the dude with the periscope on the top. <laughs> How the hell are you going to paint that? I don't know. I haven't thought blue. that far ahead, mate. But... <laughs> I kind of would have maybe painted it before adding all the rigging because now you've got but... a six foot tall thing in your spray booth. <laughs> yeah, but it's good, isn't it? But, that yeah, is just goddamn it's... awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is just the best thing ever. A crow's nest. <laughs> oh, dear. I thought you'd enjoy that. Gentle now, gentle. Now, the, the thing that people don't realise is that when we finished the show last week and I was there saying, I, I've got no ideas what you could do, and we were both like, we can't think what needs to be added. As soon as the camera stopped streaming, we all came up with these great ideas. Absolutely. Yeah, we're sitting there for about half an hour. We just riffed off each other and came up with these fantastic ideas. Of things <laughs> and one of them was a crow's nest. Absolutely. A crow's nest of goodness, wasn't it? Yeah. And some other ideas as well, but we'll see how those go out. But yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, they're going to happen. <sighs> yes. Oh, yeah. You know the one what we was on about with the gun? Oh, yeah. On the I know, front. I know, I know. Yeah. yeah. It's going to yeah. happen, mate. Oh. It's going to happen. I can't believe you just snapped your ball, though. Oh, that's all right. It can be repaired or, if not, reprinted. Yeah. Reprint your bits. Crow's Nest Genius just needs some sales now, says Mac Mac Maxim again. I did suggest sales, but I can't remember why I rejected it, but we realised it wasn't the best idea. Hey, mate, it can't be any worse than some of the ideas I've had for it. Yeah. I don't really want to show what I'm building because this tiny piece of crap doesn't even compare. Let's not even bother. There you go. I'm just going to sit here and watch you work on yours. There's no point in me trying to do anything. Is that a wibble? <laughs> Maybe. I'll just keep working on this tiny nonsense that's just irrelevant compared to your glorious. Just it's just like it is a bit mad, isn't it? It's like it's like the glory of high karate in man form in the uh, tank form. It's like every advert for high karate ever <coughs> distilled into heavy armor. There you go. Ball is suitably repaired. Oh, see, you got the ball hanging off again. Oh. I suppose you could reinforce it with some uh, easy line wrapped around the string. Yeah, the it's just one of them, mate. You know, there's been yeah. a few bits I've knocked off of it this week. The odd area, all the odd gun, but You're it's because I'm I'm a clumsy oaf. But well, I just like I just like doing that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I can. You know, you just you just. Well, it's better than my repair from last week when I re when I did that drill and came up with that, which doesn't really. <laughs> yeah that's so i can spin it around and do it the right way around and it kind of looks all right but then it's a bit wonky that way so yeah they look perfectly good. lined up if you if you if you turn them around a few times but i'm still proud of the magnetings oh bloody hell yeah magnetings mate it's all about magnetings mate you've got to have proper the magnetulator yeah. because you know you, you you have got sort of oh trouser tent yeah, you know you want to. <laughs> I, I, may, I may have just may have just spermed a little bit. Thing is, I was sitting there building this uh, crow's nest in the hangout yesterday, and I was giggling to myself. Were you just like <laughs> chuckling like a like a spoon? I was, yeah, because I'm like, yeah, he did say build it, make sure it's shonky. So it's did you actually straight. did you accidentally snap it, or did you deliberately do it as it snapped? What the uh, pole? No, mm. I cut it in half and tied it together with <laughs> E.T. line. Because well, it, it had to look crooked, didn't it? It had to look old. spot on. You know, so it's it's bent as a bent thing. You also, do realise there's no way to actually ever photograph that. It's shonky. But... Yeah. I'm going to be back in one second, dude. I'm just going to turn my microphone off for one moment. Yeah, no worries. In one moment. Hugs for mum if she's going to bed. I will do. Bless her. So yeah, that's that's been what I've been up to the last few days with it. <clears throat> Lynn said you're gonna have to get a bigger house after you finish that. Yeah, absolutely. It's <clears throat> it's one of those. I I was looking at the shelf that it's supposed to go on, and I've now realised it might be a little bit too short, too tall to fit <laughs> in there. But, <clears throat> Edward saying, Fester Blade. Adrian Smith, hello, Adrian, says, geez, can you imagine seeing that coming at you? 
Yeah, I think it would make its presence known, wouldn't you? But yeah, it's it's got all kinds of turny stuff going on. And... Uh, Andy's saying, uh, hey, hey, lady. Oh, it very well with the tanks and, and the guns. And the Freudian Laven. Yeah. Hey, oh, is that what? Mayhem. Uh, hey, lady. <laughs> with the tank and the gun yeah. and the Freudian Laven. Edward Leonard reckons it's going to take uh, a year or two to make it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Paint it to paint it. Oh, yeah. Damn straight. Absolutely. If mate. I was painted that, that would be something I painted over the course of a year, I think. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a background. Yeah. Uh, he's asking, how would uh, you transport the game Bane Blade for future games? Uh, I don't play the game, mate. Nope. So I wouldn't have a Scooby, mate. But it all it all comes apart anyway. So the qu the question I have actually for you is, <laughs> apart from that burp, which was rubbish and tasted. Oh, I'll tell you about something in a minute. But how the hell are you going to photograph it? Because you there's no way you could if you actually got the, if you got if you got the crow's nest in shot, your tank would be about that big. You have to yeah, take a pic from like twenty feet away. <laughs> <laughs> I've photographed it already on the back of a green screen just to see, and then I shall just do close-ups of different features, I think, just to if, fit it in. If, if, if I was like, you would be the kind of the designer that would be the absolute nightmare for the guy that does all the box art at Games Workshop. He's like, how the hell do I get that on the box? That would be this tiny little picture of a tank. Yeah, get... <laughs> but I do believe when we came off, last, came off air last week, mm. it was, of course, Periscope was... Uh, uh, <laughs> Crow's nest would look good oh, on yeah, that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, you got to do I'm it. I'm like, I can do that. You went, yeah, not a short one, but a tall one. Yeah, yeah. no worries. That'll Ted happen. Ted Ridge in the chat. Say again, Dad. Skipper Ted's in the chat. <gasps> Ted! Hello, Ted Wood. Hello, mate. Oh, Ted. He Ted says, how, mu how much paint is that Bane Blade, <laughs> blade going to need? Yeah, I think there's going to be a bit, Ted, didn't you? Show, show, Ted, the, show Ted the new bit that, was, that, that he hasn't seen yet. It's got a crow's nest. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so good. On a broken pole. Yeah. <laughs> I love the way you've not given the grot any way to get down either. That's the best bit. Absolutely. He's up there now, mate, isn't he? I was going to print <laughs> out a ladder to go up there, and I thought, nah, let the people figure out how we got up there. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to do it, you could make one out of Easy Line, but. But it's like, it's ox, so what better thing to do? Than to tie one of the riggings to the gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of what I've been up to. <laughs> yeah, I think I got carried away, didn't you, Fox? Hey, I think I might have got carried away, but yeah, I think I think you've been enjoying yourself just far too much. Oh yeah, but it all comes apart and that. So I think what you need to do when you finished all the building on this before you start anything else uh, is just make something really shit. Just that you're gonna hate every minute of just to to give yourself a wind down from building something you've got really carried away with. Oh, like, mate, get... that narrows it down to my selection of Ravel kits then. Yeah, it? pretty much. I think you should force yourself to you know make just the worst possible thing, just a quick thing, just to 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 step motor step down it a bit. Yeah, I mean, like I say, this all this is all going to be magnetised in different bits and places. Oh, Crow's and... nest is just glorious. You love it, don't you? <laughs> But see, all of that comes off, all of that comes off, you know, it all just dismantles. So, so it's going to be easy enough to paint, but it's just it's going to take a long time to paint. Yeah, it's going to be easy to paint. It's just going to be a, lots of painting. Yeah, it's going to be it's a, like a, e it, It's easy to paint the fourth bridge. It's just one colour. <laughs> yeah. It just takes a year. But yeah, so it's going to be a labour of love. I'm going to enjoy it. Something oh, yeah. else just pinned off there. That's a turret. Oh, God. Yeah, really none, none, yeah, but none of this is in place yet, is it? Because no, I've, got, I've got to paint it all. So you've got motors and things in it? as well. So motor ridge and things to do yet. Yeah, all the electrics have got to go in, but that's kind of how that will come apart. But I've not even thought about playing the game because I I don't think there's enough points left for this, is there? <laughs> you you I, you couldn't play that in a game anyway because there's no way to. You'd spend the first hour explaining how you were going to play that on the tabletop and yeah. working out all the points and uh, you'd need like 30 dice well you'd need how much, about 40 50 dice just for that one tank yeah but it's got a crow's nest yeah you wanted true. a crow's nest you got a crow's nest crow's nest approved 
It's just goddamn genius. That's what I'm going to say. I'm just, <laughs> I am in awe. If I get rich, I will pay you to make one. <laughs> and I've got all these other dudes to go on yet. Oh, yeah? I've yeah, got Squig. Squig! Yeah. I think you need to you need to print like 45 more squigs at least. Yeah, look at that. He's got, he's got a stick of dynamite in there. And Squig! All. His little headphones on. <laughs> I love how he's got air defenders. That's just great. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? And of course, these little blokes. So yeah, there's a fair bit to go on there. Mm. It's now figuring out where all the other bits <laughs> can be put. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I also have to ask the question, have you got somewhere to put it when it's finished? Like a cabinet? Space. Well, There's I was looking at the space for the shelf, and it all was going well until I put the crow's nest on, yeah. and it seems to have grown taller than the cabinet it was going to go in. Because um, I kind of get the impression that would be like one detolf shelf high. So you might fit. I, I get the impression it might be tall enough to fit in a detolf, but it might be a bit wide or long to go in a detolf. Absolutely. So. Uh, oh, Andy's yeah. saying uh, the crow's nest needs some kind of mini zeppelin tied off of it. <laughs> <laughs> or like, oh, you mean like a like an anti air balloon? Yeah, <laughs> zeppelin. <laughs> you really, can you really make it taller? Oh dear lord! <laughs> <laughs> don't doubt me, Fox. Don't doubt me. You know what? I don't happens. doubt you at all. I do not. So doubt you could have that geezer sat there smoking his fag, couldn't you? Having a fag, free for a pound. Yeah. Having a fag, see? But yeah, so I've got to figure out where all these little dudes are going to go, yeah. I, oh, you know what you should do? Oh, you know what you could do? What's that? Uh, on the, all those cables, add a few more cables here and there, and have some of them with, like, little triangular pennants on. Yeah. But then, in the midst of all the pennants, have, like, a pair of long johns, like, the, that blowing out in the wind like that. <laughs> <laughs> like like somebody's hanging the washing off the ca off the cable. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's just so much you can do with this, mm. isn't there? You know, so <laughs> it's one of those. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it's nearing that build finished stage and primer time, isn't it? So, yeah. Good night, Mama Fox. Night, Mum. Take care, darling. Night, Mama Fox. Dad says good night. Collie says good night. And a hug. She's gone now. Oh, I told her, she gave you all the ones anyway when I told her a minute ago. I heard a rumour that you had a hug on Mama Fox. Oh, is that true, is it? That's is this true? Well, as you know, I don't... I really don't mention it normally, but yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Now everybody knows now. Oh, bless you. He was hoping to keep it storm and quiet, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And it during the boat, he was all blown up. No. Well, well, I'll uh, tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, Dad, because because Mama Fox got lots of hugs today, so you can have one of the, you can you can free be on one of the hugs that I gave Mama Fox because uh, she bought me a very, she bought me a very nice gift today. No, oh, bless her. Oh, okay. She said she we had all these boxes downstairs. She said, "Can you open that box for me?" Because she sometimes struggles. I went, "Yeah, I opened it, and it was like a, a thing of, of coloured pencils." And she went, "Oh, those are my coloured pencils." Okay, oh. that's not exciting. She went, "No, can you open the other big one?" I'm like, what? What is she doing? Okay, fine. Opened it up, and it was this: Combat Patrol, Death Guard oh, Combat Patrol. Oh, and that full screen. Well, I, can't, I can't fit it on because the camera. But it's, a, it's like four thousand more plague pox walkers and a lot of plague marines. Oh wow! Which oh, I can oh, add to my oh. existing Death Guard army. So I was. So she got lots of extra hugs today for getting me that for no reason at all. Oh bless her! Bless her! Oh, we yeah, love her, Fox. Death yeah, Guard yeah. army confirmed. <laughs> We have a new Khmer in the chat, Roadkill Films. Oh, Welcome hello, Roadkill. Uh, Roadkill, mate. Hello, mate. Um, yeah, yeah Roadkill. he's been um, sending me concept art uh, this Ooh. week on on Death Race cars and that. So we've been chatting oh, about right. that because he's been watching me Death Race build. And uh, yeah. Uh, Graham McRoberts off to bed. Uh, see you later, Graham. Graham. Take care, mate. My name is Graham. Graham. Didn't see you in there, Graham. Sorry, mate. No, I didn't know Graham was in there. I do apologise. Oh, yeah, everybody, so everybody's saying, everybody's saying, yay, because Mama Fox getting me those. Yeah, yeah, she's. Oh, what yeah. amazed me was two things. One, she got me Death Guard without realizing that I already had a Death Guard army on the build anyway, which is kind of cool. But also that she was able to place the order. Yeah. Because yeah. the Games Workshop website, and not only to place the order, but place the order and include a, like a, a greetings card that you can put, like you know, like a like a private message or whatever, like because it's a gift. Yeah. So I was quite impressed that she was because because she's she can order like do basic stuff on Amazon. 
but she can get a bit confused. So I was quite impressed that she was able to order it. Oh, nice one. Oh, she's good. <laughs> yeah. So I said, she said, she said, did I get the right thing? Because I didn't really know what you wanted. And I'm like, yeah, because I've already got like a whole mess of Death Guard. I can add it to the army. So good girl. No. Because I've got all the ones that came with Warhammer Conquest. So happy times. Don't kill, uh, kill film say if anyone ever needs death rate concept art, he can deliver. He <laughs> he. Absolutely, deliver. mate. Absolutely. There's some nifty ones in there, mate. And of course, yeah, I, I know he wants to see them built as well. And yeah, you know me, mate. I will build them. I do like a challenge. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing right now, Cole? Then what are you do? What's your plan for the evening? Uh, I am trying to figure out where I can put dudes and some bits and bobs and just yeah, get me head around this slightly monstrous thing that I've created and now the you, devil I'm going to paint it. You have yeah, I, you have just created a monster. Yeah, but what's it's the, a nice monster? What's the crow's nest rod? Is it made out of wood? Is it like just a big stick? Uh, no, it's a styrene tube, mate. Ah, it yeah, looks like a it looked like a wooden stick. No, it's a styrene tube with some easy line and uh, some resin printed panels and boards and that. And I've just quickly primed it just to take the white off of it, so to speak. And, uh, Do me a favour. Yeah. Just say tube into the microphone in your voice for me, would you? Tube. <laughs> I love it. I love your voice so much. <laughs> it's on my own, you know. <laughs> eh? It's all your own. It's it's spent years own. developing it. Absolutely, mate. Freight for a pound and all of that. Freight for a pound. Where did, where did that start? I can't remember where that started. I don't know, but I. It's funny. I, I mean, I've often said it. I was so conscious of me, uh, the accent when I started doing YouTube. And, oh, but I thought, you know, no one would want to tune in and watch because of it. But yeah, how how wrong you were. Yeah, but you don't know, do you? Because, like you say, it's. Hang on, I've got to blow me and my ear tube's gone. Give me one sec. Because the thing, thing was as well, is everyone else on YouTube sounded so well-spoken and profesh. And Muggins comes along, yeah. That's the thing, though. It's, it's, not, it's not necessarily just the accent. It's the voice with the accent. Yeah. Like, if you had a high, shrill voice or nasally voice like mine, mm. you'd probably, probably just like, turn up at your house and slap you but yeah shut up yeah but yeah it's a bit gravelly isn't it yeah but if you ever if if anybody out there right if anybody ever l listens to their own voices and thinks i can't do youtube because i've got a really annoying voice just go and watch any video by a guy called chill on youtube and then you realize he's got the worst voice on youtube oh and really i'm not being cruel it's in many yeah articles explaining how he has the worst voice on youtube he does lots of like top 10 video crap you know clickbait yeah. nonsense but he's got this really annoying voice and you see all these articles top 10 top 10 worst voices on youtube and he's always like number one. Oh, i've always hated mine always you know but you can't change it at the end of the day it's well you can't but not easily uh yeah it's one of them isn't it Okay, I just took a piece off the sprue, I think. I've got no idea what I did with it. Or, in fact, I didn't even get it off the sprue. Hang on, hang on, Fox. It's half past midnight. You've cut something off the sprue. I have. <laughs> yeah, you sure you're feeling all right, mate? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I'm hot sweat. I've got a bit moist. Well, it's because Colin got me all excited and the blood rushed to my <laughs> head. And now I'm awake now, so I may as well do some work. E92. E92. How are you, Dadwood? Voice in the voice in the background there. Let's talk to you I'm for a bit. I'm okay, thank you, Mr. Fox. Excellent. <laughs> Execute order 66. <laughs> He's alright. Andy at Mayor Moderick said applies the mitten of goodness to Colin's face. Now now none of that. That's the wrong mitten. You've given that's that's the happy time mitten. You don't use that one. Not unless you accept the consequences. <clears throat> it is one of those, though, isn't it? I mean, we all think it when we first start. I mean, do you ever make that mistake of going back and watching an early YouTube video you put up? Oh, yeah, all the time. It's scary, isn't it? 
it, the worst thing is it whenever whenever somebody says has anybody got a any, you know, has anybody got a tutorial how to do x and i'll be like oh i've got one of those in one of my videos but it's one of my early ones yeah and of course you go to the page to get the link and it auto plays and you're like oh yeah you're sitting there and you're like oh really and then you start going through your old stuff thinking now do i pull it down yeah the, f the funny thing is though, i mean like for for many years i don't know why but like i always hated my own voice anyway yeah uh, and i always hated looking at myself and you know i didn't like to see myself on film or anything mm. didn't like people taking pictures i always hated photographs of myself yeah Every, everybody does and that's one of the reasons when I did when I started doing music that I didn't do songs. I did instrumental pieces because I, I didn't want my voice anywhere near the music. Yeah. But then when I got the chance to do YouTube, I just kind of I went bang. There you go. Done. And I just kind of went, I don't care now. Yeah, I think I it's mean, because I was like I was older and just didn't give a crap anymore because I'm older and screw everybody else. But I just I was like, I don't care. If, if unless people tell me it's rubbish and they don't watch i'll just assume that i'm not actually terrible yeah when i first started doing it i wouldn't do face to cam no i i don't like doing it now but i think just doing it is probably the best way to get around it yeah yeah i commend on mike having polite goes at me way back when mate wasn't it oh god yeah five years ago or more yeah mm. yeah no saying dude come on it's like ah, I can't do that. I don't want my mug on the on there, but mm -hmm. yeah. The thing to remember is that when whenever you look at whoever you are, if you look at yourself on a video and you think, "Oh God, who? Oh, I'm ugly and I'm horrible and people hate me," and at the end of the day, and you, you say you're on a stream with other people, and you're having those thoughts, you have to remember everybody else on that stream that you think looks normal and you're some disfigured monster. They all think exactly the same thing. Yeah. So, don't worry about it. I don't know why, though, when I did that first video for e-models, I was like, all those worries I used to have about, like, when people, when I saw photographs of myself or listened to my own voice, they just went away instantly. I'm like, I'm enjoying making this, don't care. I think it's just because I was older and I thought, screw it. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> but, yeah, occasionally I have to go back and get, look at an old video and it's like, first ever video i did the third word out of my mouth was um <laughs> <laughs> yeah ums and ahs do you remember then yeah and i don't oh, I remember know that lecture <laughs> and when we when we all started out i don't know if you were the same Cole, but the first things i ever did of course i was recording on my iphone and i just had my iphone i didn't have a microphone of any kind mm. so i used the iphone and the iphone was great the microphone was great as long as you were like really close to the iphone yeah it was an old iphone 5 so most of the time of course the iphone was like where the camera is now and i'm facing that way with my mouth so i had to talk loudly because unless you're talking into the microphone which is where the, the phone will be here and i'm so you'd have so i have to talk loudly so all my early videos are like i don't know if you've ever seen the very first pilot episode of the original star trek the cage all right uh, the cage where it's got captain pike not captain kirk okay yeah and leonard nimoy as spock just spends the entire episode shouting his way through because <laughs> oh, he hadn't really? quite figured out how to play spock at that point so he shouts his way through it, and that's what i was like on my early videos hello and welcome <laughs> yeah that changed when i got my lavalier mic yeah it's one of them minute i mean i i started out on the filming on the tea tray with the cushion underneath the it on my lap and it was a little gopro why does that sound like a Dire Straits song? Oh, I don't know. Filming then, on a tea uh, tray. Yeah, then it was an iPhone 5 and then yeah. an iPhone 6. And yeah. I think I used to have a little... I oh, know it was the camcorder back then as well. Yeah, you, you started off with a little camcorder, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, cool, that was bad. That was uh, 720p, I think it was. Yeah. Because some of my early videos had that real sort of aspect ratio issue, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Well, that's, like, the, that's the thing you look yeah. at those old cameras that say 1080p and they may well have 19 oh and he's dropped out yeah he'll eight, be in eight, in a second he comes five, four three, three two, two one three two one, one. back in the room three two one back in the room <laughs> there he is yeah they might well have the 1920 by 1080 pixels but the actual chip inside it is probably garbage and it looks terrible yeah. so. 
So yeah, the, just the purely the resolution doesn't tell you how good the camera is. So yeah, that was a bit gash, wasn't I? Let's be honest. Right, this this camera's 1080p, and I had before this one I had a, a crappy camera that was 1080p, which looked like it just been rubbed around on a dog's butt. <laughs> but it was still 1080p. It was just garbage. Yeah. That's the thing, though, isn't it? When you think back to how we all started. Yep. And it wasn't I mean, that long ago. No, no. I mean, I literally had... Um, uh, Mayhem says to me, King of the Lab. I mean, I oh. literally started off with, like, green cutting mat. Uh, the, the iPhone 5 was wedged into a piece of, like, polystyrene foam that was gaffer taped down to a biscuit tin. Yeah. Because I had no kind of mounting device. I was dependent on the phone microphone, which is garbage. Uh, I had uh, I had the light that's over at the side of the room there, which lights up. If I turn the lights off now, except the, yeah. the room light, I don't have an overhead room light because the room light doesn't work. If you flick the light switch on the wall, nothing happens. Yeah. So I had only the light that's on now, which you probably can't see because I've not got the yeah. camera set up for it. Um, and uh, I had the curtains open to, to get more light in. And of course, everything was orange because the light, it's, oh, it's all like it terrible, <laughs> like they were like not LED bulbs. I didn't know anything. And it was, it's great fun, but dear Lord, don't go back and watch your early stuff. Oh, mate, it's a nightmare if you do. Yeah. But it's like that thing though, is anybody thinking about it? Don't, you should always try and do your best, but don't worry that you're not making a BBC documentary. Yeah, it is one of them. Yeah. There's no magic, magic secret to it. It's... No. I've often been asked that, you know, what's your secret? Uh, well, if I knew that, I would have a lot more subscribers, wouldn't I? Yeah. I mean, there's, there's only two reasons you do a YouTube type stuff. One is because you want to, because you, you're going to enjoy it, or because you want to teach people. Yeah. So one is for the fun or for the philanthropic angle. And the other one is because you want to get rich and make your fortune. Well, if you're the yeah. second type, I don't care. I'm not interested. Yeah, because I have no interest in people that do that, because you're not going to make your fortune. Or well, you might do, but it's highly, it's highly rare. But I have, I have no interest to do it just for the money because they don't care about the people watching. They just want to make the money. Yeah. And there's people I, I know, directly know them, but I know of channels where they do like tutorial stuff, but it's they're just in it for the money. They just want the subs. And you can see. So, and I just do it because I enjoy doing it. And I mean, I do do it for a living. So I obviously want to make money out of it. But if the money dried up now, and I had to lose monetization, I'd still do it. I yeah. just have to go and get a job. That's, That's the, the thing, though, isn't it? The minute folks think, oh, well, I'm going to do this because it's going to make me rich. Well, it's not. It's not going to. You're going to be <laughs> sorely disappointed. No. I mean, you know, it does. not that it never happens, but it's highly unlikely to happen. Yeah, you Especially not with the kind of stuff that we do. Yeah, millions and millions of subscribers, mate. Yeah, yeah you know, but... No, Ooh. you have to make you have to make rubbish to get those kind of subscribers. You have to make drivelly vlog crap and PewDiePie rubbish and your Logan Paul crap and mouth breathing nonsense for the mentally challenged. Don't hold back, uh, Fox. No, I'm, I'm just Friday. I'm having a right rant. It's not my channel. I can do all rants now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Anyway, my point was was basically there's people out there. I know there are people out there that I speak to that say, "Well, I want to do a YouTube because it looks like fun and I think I'd enjoy it, and I want to teach people, but I'm really not confident, or I don't think I look good, or I don't think I'll be any interesting to anybody." Yeah. And you you can't think that. You just have to risk it for a biscuit and just dive in and say, "Yeah, pardon my French, fuck it, let's give it a try." That's what I did. I was like, "Screw it, let's just do it." what's the worst that can happen is it it turns out rubbish and i can't stand it and i'd get three subscribers what's i've Absolutely. not lost anything uh roadkill says i feel like colin would use a jensen interceptor or an 85 v8 vantage in death race absolutely mate four wheels and an engine mate i don't mind what it is and the if they weren't terrible cars i'd love a jensen interceptor yeah wait no hang on am i getting confused with the hillman thing or is that the no 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 jensen what's interceptor. the what What's the one that in French books they always the bad guys always drive? Oh, if anybody out there was at school in the eighties in England who had the fam the the Bertillon family French books, Le Français aujourd'hui, the bad oh, guys right. always drove drove a. It might have been a Jensen interceptor. They're like French criminals. They had the stripy shirt, like the criminal, oh, right. and but they're yeah. equivalent of having a, like we always portray criminals as driving like a Ford Zephyr. Yeah. 
in France, they, their criminals always drove a Jensen Interceptor. Uh, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be a lowly Ford, would it? It would be something exotic. Mm. But no, I'd have no qualms in putting one of them in the death race because, yeah, that's me, mate. Yeah. Nim is shocked that I swore. She's clearly never seen me do a Patreon stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never be shocked by anything us lot say. We are known for it. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't really swear. It's not my, it's not my stream. It's not very polite. Yeah, that's right. It happens. We blurt the odd one out now and then. Mm. I just gave myself a shot then because I think I saw the shadow of my finger move like that and I thought there was a spider on my desk. <laughs> oh, was you about to let out a girly noise? No, I just that moment of... <gasps> and then it, it went away again. To glue some uh, shizzle together, shall says, we? Yeah, nice thing that is. I don't have a microphone yet. Only the one in my phone, which is a bit awful. Yeah, if you're on about live streaming, mate, you kind of could do with a decent webcam audio setup, mate. Because... Oh, yeah, do not try and live stream from a mobile phone. Yeah, ever. if you think don't you're going to do bother. it from a mobile phone, Arch, everyone's going to point at you and go... <laughs> well the first the first thing that will happen is the quality will be absolute garbage and everyone will, will complain about the crappy picture quality and the fact it's it yeah. sounds terrible uh, and also your phone will overheat and probably explode yeah so I, don't even try live streaming on a phone no. if you're gonna my, my, my rule my thing is with videos and this is i mean this is just my advice I, I'm, I, I'm not anything to i'm no a knowledgeable person it. but uh, the most important thing you can do is make sure that when people watch your video there's no impediment to them enjoying the video and what i mean by that is don't make it as hard as possible to sit back and relax and watch your content yeah yeah so for example don't film it on a handheld mobile or camera and move the camera around all the time because all I'm going to do is go off and watch somebody else's and I'll never come back to your channel ever again. Mm. Because I don't want motion sickness watching your content. And if you're doing, you know, if you're... I, to, I can't remember. I did it in a video, sort of guide to what you should and shouldn't do, basic stuff. Make yeah, sure it's, it's well lit. Make sure ones, it's, isn't it? Yeah, you don't have to do like a, a BBC documentary quality broadcast, but just make sure what's on screen is clear and watchable. If you're putting out potato quality video, nobody's going to watch it. They're going to be like, I'm not watching that, it's garbage. Yeah. Because it's hard to watch a low quality video or poorly lit video or constantly moving video or video where the audio is terrible. You just, you, you sit there and you go, I'm not watching this, I'll go and watch something else. Yeah, because people aren't going to be interested in it, are they? No. At the end of the day, somebody wants to watch your video for interesting content or to chill out. And if they're having to fight to, to watch, they're just going to be like, nah, sorry. You have to remember that the average YouTube viewer's attention span is like five seconds. So with live streams, it's even more important um, that you have good quality. Not necessarily, I mean, you know, we all use the Logitech C920. If it's not a Logitech C920, at least, you're probably going to struggle. Yeah. Because people are going to look at it and go, wow, that's really hard to watch because it's like really pants quality. So I would say if you're going to live stream, at the very least, invest in a C920. Because it's the best, it's not the cheapest, but it's of, of the cameras out there, it's the most best budget one. I don't know how much these are now, what, about 100 quid? 70 quid, about 100 up, quid? Yeah, about 100 quid at the moment because yeah, the world's been on fire. Everyone's inflating prices, aren't they? Yeah, they go, they go on sale on Amazon every now and then. 70 on Amazon at the minute, they are. Yeah, they can go down, but for all the webcams you can get, it's going to be the best one if you yeah. if you're on a budget. If you can afford it, the Logitech Brio is 4K and is even better, but that's like 500 quid, so don't even bother with that. Yeah, not Chris many of us are going to be um, wanting to stream in 4K, are we? Let's be no. honest. It's, yeah. But but even with the live stream, if again it, you've got to make it as easy and watchable as possible, and I see so many live streams where. Uh, you know, it's just too dark, or it's the picture quality is too low, or it's like I've seen the live streams with 480p, and I'm like, I can't watch that. Really? Like, not 2006. Bloody hell. Uh, and you know, things, even just simple things like turn off the turn off the autofocus, turn off the auto white balance, so that when you when you're streaming, every time you move your hand, it doesn't go light dark light dark, or the focus isn't changing constantly. Try and try and do it in such a way that you're doing something here, 
And if you're moving it around, it doesn't really matter. That's the one thing used to catch me out all the time, wasn't it? White balance. Yep. Well, when me and you used to film on iPhones, we didn't have a lot of choice, really, because you had to yeah. lock the focus and lock the white balance or not lock the focus. But then the white balance would go. I mean, even now, I've got my uh, SE2020 iPhone and I can, I've got a professional camera app on it and I can lock the exposure, the white balance and the focus all independently. Yeah. And, and the uh, aperture and everything else. But because I have the autofocus off, uh, on, because it does, because it's fast enough now, I can leave the autofocus on. It does make it go a little bit flashy light and dark when it changes focus. Yeah. But I have to do that because then I can move things around and not worry about the focus. So, so yeah, I would I would say if you can do live streams, if you want people to watch your content, I'm not I'm not trying to be like elitist or snobbish. I'm simply saying if you want people to come back and watch your content over and over again, bearing in mind that a lot of people watch these things on big fat tellies. Yes. Um, get a decent camera and for the love of dog get a decent microphone don't yeah. use like this c920 the microphone is garbage yeah it's absolute it's ass, mate. garbage if you're going to do a live stream the very minimum you can get is a c920 and a, a, a blue yeti you can get cheaper microphones you you'll realize it's a cheaper microphone i use <laughs> the, i use the blue snowball yeah, it's that's a good microphone, but it's a bit, it's a bit. You are limited. It's not quite as. I mean, you, yeah, you probably could get away with the snowball, to be honest. Isn't it any good then? Uh, it's all right. It's it's just not. <laughs> it's not got quite all the bells and whistles as the Yeti. Don't hold back, Dad, will you, mate? It's all right. <laughs> I'm weeping here. <laughs> are you basically saying that your microphone's gash? That's what he's saying, isn't it? <laughs> It's all right. You try and yeah. get a Yeti. Oh, you can't yeah. get one now for love and the money now. It costs like a billion pounds now. Yeti, because it's a Yeti and it's a blue. Free for a pad. Free for a pad. Yeah, I was lucky to score my one when I did, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. I mean, the like the, the snowball that Dad's got, it, depending on your setup, it's the only thing with the snowball is it's the Yeti can be quite good because you've got three different modes, cardioid, uh, the front and back microphones and the old 360 microphones and it's quite good for you can set it so you can be quite far away from it yeah uh, the snowball uh, is a bit it's designed purely as a cardioid cardioid means you have to be close to the microphone so the thing with the snowball is it's a, it's a really good microphone but you do need to find you find you need to be a bit closer to it so if you move away from it it'll lose you faster but i think yeah. dad you're all right because you're always sat in the same place fairly close to it anyway so uh, you back to yeah. work then. Hey, what? You back to way then? <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yours, is, you're okay because you're sat, always sat in the same place anyway. <laughs> not always, because not on the not on the e model stream. I'm sat me. further away. But I've got a, I've got I can do different microphone settings, and I've got a big fat gain switch on the back as well, plus all the software. So, but no, I mean the, the snowball's all right. If that's the budget, he's got to work too. Nothing wrong with it. You quit budget. Huh. Yeah, no, not cheap. But if you I can know. get a blue, if you can get a Yeti, it's even better. Oh no, Yeti's brilliant. <laughs> Feel bad now. I've dissed your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically said that your microphone's a total pile of caca, mate. I know, I know yeah. he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What well, camera have you got, Dad? When you I was got, cleaning it earlier, saying how much you loved it, you didn't think you'd be hearing this, did you, mate? No, I didn't, mate. No, I got two C920s, thank you. For oh, there you that. go. Apparently they're crap as well. As well. No, no, you, you're all right. You're on, the, you're on good with the microphone there. I should, I shouldn't have really asked you because you sent me a C920 anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because uh, <laughs> they they done them at a bargain price back last year, didn't they, Logitech and I, or Amazon, <laughs> and I bagged a I bagged three. Yeah, because they were at a good price. So one of which I've got. Yeah, which you're actually using now, to be perfectly honest. Because you're, you're my friend, so I send yeah. you one. Because we all love each other, and I have to say, if anybody's thinking about getting a C920, just keep your eye open on Black Fridays or on Amazon days, like because Amazon always put them on a reduced price. That's what like we Black did. Fridays and Amazon, yeah, Amazon sales. Well said, Ted. What was that? Ted's blue yeti is white. Yeah. yeah. Well, my blue yeti's silver. My blue yeti's yeah. got Ted hair on the top of it, but I Mine's can't show black. you. Here's what? Mine's black. It was a black one. I, well, I, I, I can't. I can't. I can show you mine. I can take a photo. Oh, burpage. 
Oh, I can take a photograph. Oh, okay. Edward uh, Leonard just said his wife just bought a Yeti for $89. That's all right. You get them on. You do get them on sale from time to time. From time to time. Yeah, you take a photo, giraffe. Goes on oh, the map. I've got a Ted Wood on mine. Oh, that just sounds so wrong. I've got a Ted on mine. Which is there? See it, no. Ted. <laughs> right. I can't. I can't move my my camera. But there's mine. You can see it on the photograph. I hope you can see it on the photograph. There's mine. It's got the fluffy, fluffy Ted. I need to make a little moustache for it there. I need to get another Ted one of the fluffy on things and cut it into a moustache and glue it on the front for Ted reasons. <laughs> Why has your microphone got a moustache on it? There are 119 at the moment over here on Amazon. Really? What, the uh, Blue Yetis? The Blue Yeti Fox, yeah, not the Snowball, don't worry, the Snowball 55. <laughs> yeah. You don't get one of them dead, do you, mate? Cool, bloody hell, They're the garbage, them things. I don't know those. I'm worried about yeah. things about them Blue Yetis. Yeah, don't you get one don't of them, because you know them snowballs, they never got a Mama Fox hug. No, Mama, but... Fox, Mama Fox only hugs people with, with blue yetis. Oh, did she? Oh. Yeah, so you were lucky. You obviously got away with that one. Oh. There's hope <laughs> for me yet. Then. You know that one time you got a Mama Fox hug? Uh, when? What? Hey, oh, what? You got a what? That oh, time. Don't go letting everyone know that. Oh, did you not want that, you want that to be secret, what? did you? Yes. Yeah, oh. Soz. <laughs> So, I've not said that since I was a kid. Oh, you little boy. <laughs> no, no, I've not said saw since like 1988. <laughs> oh, saws, mate. Frank Hill Film says, ah, the comments about, yeah, chat's been a bit shonky in streams for a while now, mate. Yeah. It's something we're all struggling to deal with, but yeah. Yeah. So anyway, just to quickly go back to... <laughs> Uh, thing if you're going to do if anybody out those thinking of doing live streams get yourself a decent camera and decent microphone and decent lighting and just just make your stream watchable not because you have to but because if you want people to watch your stuff and come back and watch your stuff again and again there's because there's no easy way to say to someone i've had the conversation where somebody says to me why don't i get any views on my streams and i've had to say to them because they're garbage, they're potato camera yeah. quality, they're horrible to watch. You've got the camera in the wrong place, you, you mutter and mumble with a crappy microphone and it's really hard to, I won't say who it was, and I just had to say, I'd be harsh and say, because they're crap, you need to get a decent camera and microphone. Hang on a minute here, we've got Nim Sindarin saying, so anyone want to work for me today? I really don't want to work today, I just want to sit here and listen to three old coots nutter for about nothing. Good girl. Yeah, you're right there. We are free old, old coots. I'm not a coot. I'm a, I'm a gimmer. It's different. And, yeah, we can talk about rubbish. Cool, clean that up. Yeah. Because that's what we do. Shall I, re shall I read you something from my... from my When Mama Fox got me that thing at Warhammer, because it's the start of the year, they include like a teaser pack of their Black Library stuff. Oh, right. You get, yeah, like a, cha you get a chapter from five different of five of the books. Just before you do, Ted said, uh, don't live stream over Wi-Fi. No. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. For the love of baby Jeebus, do not, do not, do not ever do a live stream using Wi-Fi. Have yeah. everything connected in via Ethernet cable to your computer or laptop. Oh, and don't stream through a laptop unless it's a proper gaming laptop. <sighs> Basically, if you're not getting at least 12 meg up, don't bother live streaming. It's not worth it. Yeah, uh, well, you can, but it's not. We've down that great. road before, haven't we? And it's like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got my, I, I do my live streams. I've got a 15 meg upload speed and I do mine at 12,000 kilobits per second data stream. Yeah. Yeah. which is which is just enough to make it look not like gibberish when i used to do them if you go back a few months they used to look terrible because i used to do it at four thousand or five thousand kilobits per second <coughs> because i didn't understand what all that meant but basically the more the more the more band data uh, bit rate you can have up the better shall i read shall i read a paragraph from this book go for it mate would you would you like me to i don't have to but you can no, of course that. you can mate this is an excerpt from To Speak As One by Guy Haley. Uh, I can't read it now, it's too small. <laughs> it says, Gamma was an adept of the machine cult. He wore black robes fringed with golden cog teeth. His augmetics, most obvious of which were a pair of heavy industrial claws poised over his shoulders, were plated gold to match. 
His armour was very deep red, with the smallest of accents of cream. His forge, sorry, his forge world was so obscure that few would have recognised the colours. He liked it that way. His full name was Frank Gamma 87 New 3 Psy. Saiyan Kui never used it. He is a heretic and a blasphemer. There you go, that'll do. Can't read too much, probably copyright. Oh, impressed. Yes, I must actually get some some uh, Warhammer books. I've got one, but I must get more. Because they are supposed to be very good. Reader's Corner there, folks. See, the, uh. these things don't happen on other streams, you know. Yeah. Uh. I could read some Skyrim books, but I haven't got any with me. I've got the sniffly nose, though. I can do that. <laughs> he gets himself in a state, doesn't he? Yeah, you guys carry on for a minute while I sort my nosal passages out. Nosal yeah. passages? That's not real. Yeah, that sounded really wrong. That what the mate. hell's a nosal passage? <laughs> I'm just making up body parts now. Yeah. Uh, Study models there is saying, don't forget to whack the like button, folks. It helps the algorithms. It certainly does. Uh, get asked that quite a bit when we mention it. People go, oh, why, what's the big thing with the like? Well, it moves your video up the search rankings and it just yeah helps people yeah. get to see your content more. Exactly. It helps boost you up through the... When somebody does a search for, you know, tentacle porn or whatever they're searching for on YouTube. Absolutely. If, if your video has those keywords and stuff like that is about that, it'll help it go up in the in the rankings. Absolutely, mate. Candy Grandpa Mongo saying this Saturday night... I have hundreds of channels on the television, a whole internet, about a hundred tabletop games in a room filled with books I haven't read. And all after all of that, I'm happiest right here. Ah, oh, thanks, Jeff. That means a lot, mate. Oh. Well, I mean, it's the one thing we've been consistent on throughout all of the world been on fire, isn't it? Is yeah. trying to keep the live streams going because, you know, we've all had the stresses of things and what's been going on. And it's just our way of giving something back and helps us as well you keeping us company Means that's some that's some classy advertising copy there Cole. just a 67's workshop helps you deal with the stress of things yeah i think it's good isn't it <laughs> things isn't it because it's stressy yeah not stuff and things stuff we can't have no, but things um, absolutely. you know if you would like oh, prepare yourself fox i might be doing a segue into some pimpage hang on my earpiece went then hang on yeah. hang on i've lost you one sec oh. Oh, there, there you go, Steve. Bobbins is saying, sorry I'm hang late. On, I missed all of that. I was <laughs> doing something. Right, I'm back now. You said, hang on a minute, Fox, and then a mere piece went and say again. Yeah, yeah. And there might be a segue for some pimpage because, you know, if you'd like to help support Festa, as you can see on my banner up there, you can support me on Patreon, or you can join the channel, or you can use a super chat. Super there chat. Go, yes. Got that done, see? Otherwise, I'll get told off for not doing it, won't I, Fox? Yep. Every time you support Fester, a kitten gets its wings. <laughs> yeah, kittens. Because it's a thing, isn't it? It's a thing, isn't it? Can I just tell you? Can I just tell you? Can I just tell you? I've got a mod for Skyrim, right? Mm. And it makes my little Khajiit look even more like kittens. Oh. They look so adorable now. They've got big, great big eyes and big pointy ears, and they've got little kind of cat shaped I must mouths. get round to playing that game. I you, still haven't you, done it yet. You're never going to play it, are you? I'm hoping to. You know, I need to. It. I need to, when I've got mojo issues, to do constructive things in the man cave with the computer. That sounds wrong. Do you think you get past the fifth quest? I see what he did there. You're not you going to let me. For, you're not going to forgive me until I give you the details of what happens. <laughs> Dare I say it in episode six? Of course, you wouldn't know <laughs> hey, about. No, hang on a minute. Oh, right. damn it! That backfired so hard. <laughs> yeah, just, you knew it was coming, didn't you? Oh man! If ever there was, a, if ever there was like a definition of splash damage. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I got a dude. That, damn, that was like that was like a grot firing itself out of its own cannon by accident. <laughs> oh, man. That so backfired in my face. That just escalated That's terribly. All right, mate. I didn't enjoy that at all. <laughs> That escalated quickly there. God damn it. I salute you, sir, and your tactics. You're impressed, didn't you? I'm impressed with that. Screen thinking... All in screen. Oh, bless you. Oh, straight away there. Uh, Candy Grand for Mongo, bless you. Oh, thank Yay. you, Jeff, for putting a $10 super chat. I didn't say it for that reason, mate, honestly. But um, Thank you, Jeff. No, it does help, mate. And... Um, I often get critiqued by our friend, the guru. He goes, you've got that nice big banner at the top that you never talk about in your show. He said, you should say what it's there for. 
So. I hate I hate people that do good work never pimping themselves and not getting the recognition they deserve. Yeah, I uh, am useless at it. Let's yeah. be honest. Pe people sometimes comment that I nag at people a bit, and it's like I'm not nagging people because I like to. Nag I'm nagging people because they deserve recognition and they're not getting it because they're they're too polite and British and shy and they need to just stop yeah. that shit right away. And just go all American car sales. I had it with ass. Chris Connor Bear, bless him, when he dad in the hangout the other night. He said, I cannot believe he said that you've only got 1100 subs. And I went, well, it is what it is, mate. I said, it's grown. It's grown from what it was. Uh, it's one of them. It's my own fault because I just don't pimp my channel. Don't pimp your channel. So, yeah. And I'll we'll beat it out of you, don't you worry, Cobb. We'll beat it out of you. I am trying to do better, mate, but it still doesn't feel comfortable doing it, mate. You yeah. really don't. <laughs> I squirm inside, mate. You know I do. Little bits of me are dying inside. I am the bloke, don't forget, who's got his own YouTube uh, Facebook group, and I'll sit there and go, apologies, folks, for disturbing you on this wonderful day. <laughs> on this jolly fine day. I, I may have stupidly put a link up here to a video I've made, but don't, don't put yourselves out to go and watch it because I don't want to upset you. I do <laughs> apologise in my posts. It's like, really? Yeah. About posting content in your own goddamn group that's for the channel that you're posting about. <laughs> yeah. And I know what I'm like, and I just can't seem to cross that barrier for some reason. We'll beat it out of you, don't you worry. I'll try. But we all get like it. We all did. I mean, surely you must have been like this when you first started yourself. Um, no, because I work. The guy I worked with at the time, who was my at the time friend, yeah. Um, uh, luckily, was kind of a kind of merchant-minded. Get it on the shelf, sell it. Don't give a crap. Oh right, yeah. You know, he kind of taught me. The, he taught me the thing of because I used to like not want to sell my builds and models because I'd be like, yeah, but they're my babies and I've put all that away. He said, if it's sat on your shelf, it's gathering dust. It's money you can't spend. Sell it. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. Yeah, it is one of those. But see, I've never sold a kit. I tend to give them away. Yeah, you know, that will change. You know, so. someone will say, I like that. I'll take it with you then. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll beat that out of you as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's picking on me again, Dad. Help. <laughs> There's no help for you here, my child. Yeah, so, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. I don't know. There's a fib. <laughs> no, I, I was about to say something, and I can't remember what the hell it was. <laughs> don't hold back, Dad. You've not forgiven him for having a pop at your microphone, have you? <laughs> That's what my mum always used to say. If I say, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I must have been a fib then. <laughs> I wouldn't have a pop at Dad's microphone. I'm sure he's got a lovely microphone. Yeah. Well, you 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 used to like it, Dad, didn't you? But you're not it so sure now. Been, it has already been said, Mr. Fox. It's been what? It's already been said, I'm afraid, and we have the evidence here on a live stream. I have no memory of such events. <laughs> Clearly, you're just making it up. <laughs> Archie's um, saying he thinks he's going to go to sleep now. No worries, mate. Thanks for popping in, Arch. I was nice to see you, mate. All right, and uh, we'll get you sorted out, mate, so you can be live streaming in no time. Mm -hmm. Just think um, it through, mate. Edward Take said he likes that faster blade. Can I have it, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> I see what I see what you did there. <laughs> He's good. Ten out of ten for trying. It is. I mean, I've given away motorbike kits, car kits, all sorts, mate. Yeah, I must admit, I'm the same if friends or family come to the house and they say, ah, oh, I like that. Take it. Yep. Take it. It's only gathering dust up there. I mean, I'd do the same, but I need the money. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, but, yeah. But it, it it didn't take me long to sort of stop being precious about my build and say, you know what? No, it, it's income. It's it's because I realised I do, once I built it, it goes on the shelf. I never even give it a second look. I've forgotten all about it. it just I don't yeah. care. So... Yeah. For all the faults the guy had, and <laughs> we didn't part on good terms, he did at least teach me that. Yeah. Psycho, Psycho Fish said, Colin, that tank would look awesome in my tank. Oh, Psycho's in. 
<laughs> that tank will go awesome. Bless. <laughs> uh, Road Roadkill left earlier on, by the way. You may have missed. Oh, did he? Oh, bless him. Sorry, mate. I didn't see him go. Archie did say earlier on, I've got a headset for my Xbox with a mic. Would that work? I would come round to your house and beat you senseless. If you tried to stream with a microphone and a headset. Honestly, headset. Arch, the best thing you can do, mate, is sit there or, or come into an hangout with one of us one night. Um, because the last thing you want to do is stream with the wrong gear, mate, because it's going to put you off it otherwise, mate. Yeah. Um, with the current thing you're saying about how you want to do it, you're going to need webcams. You're going to need mics. So you need to sit down, figure out how often you want to live stream. Because it might not be financially worth it for you. If you're only going to do one stream in every six years, there's no point, is there, in buying yeah. shed Hello. loads of gear. Hang on, my has gone again. One sec. God damn it. Uh, see, he's got... Talking to dodgy equipment, don't get yourself yeah. a dodgy earphone because it makes you look at all when you've got Guru in your name. Yeah. He hasn't got it working yet either. So there didn't... we go. I lost you then. Got away with that one, Dad, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. What was that? Uh -huh. Sorry, mate. Yeah, we was just saying we'll just carry on, wait until you get your microphone sorted out, and then we'll carry on, mate. Oh, no, it's the, it's the earpiece. It's weird. It just I didn't, it might be an air bubble or so. I don't know. Just can't get the staff. It's what? Just can't get the staff. It's just cheap Chinese crap. <laughs> 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 Although not cheap as it was when I got this. It was like two pound when I first bought it. The one I've just ordered on Amazon is now seven pound. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah I'll say about there's... Archie, you know, um, getting all the right gear because if he doesn't have an enjoyable streaming experience, it's not gonna, he's not gonna want to do it again. No, that's the thing. If I've seen too many, I've seen so many people dive into streaming with crappy equipment, and then yeah. after two or three streams, they're getting like three views, and they're like, "Why am I not getting the views?" It's because it's garbage to watch. Yeah, it's whatever just... you do, Archie, don't buy a crappy blue snowball, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Save your money for the blue yeti. Yeah. <laughs> we love it really, Dad, you know it. Just for Fox, that is, that dude. Is it? And there's the snowballs again. God damn it. <laughs> What's this doing now? Let's go to there. I don't like these arms on this my first Gundam. Cut them off. Kind of, they're kind of a pain to get all the mould lines off and the seam lines are a pain in the bum. Oh, yeah, I just realised I've got the Kashatri at the build yet as well. <gasps> oh, yeah, and the Valkyrie. Gundam. Yeah, the Valkyrie. <laughs> oh, that Kashatri, man. <laughs> you're looking forward to that, aren't you? That is some quality jeverage, that is. Well, you're, what, you're sitting there thinking, oh, well, I'd love to see what you could do with a Gundam and a Bane Blade. Well, if you've seen what I've done with the Bane Blade, yeah, poor Gundam's going to stand no chance, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That Gundam is not going to look anything like the Kashish Hatchery that we know. Yeah. I will treat it with the utmost respect and dignity, like I no do doubt. all my pits, and get the saw out. Don't treat it with any respect and dignity, otherwise it won't be a Festa build. Nah, it's... Yeah, it's going to have the... It's going to have similar treatment. It will, treat it, it like the plastic... Mad. Treat it like the plastic crack it is. Yeah, it won't be too mad, but... It should be too mad. It's going to have additional panel lining and all of that sort oh, of yeah. thing, you know, because... I think there are, like, third-party photo etch kits for it, but, yeah, I wouldn't... Yeah, I just kind of want to learn that. new things, mate, you know what I mean? And mm. It's a Gundam, in it? What, what I say? It's a Gundam, in it? Right, these arms are officially a pain in the bum. They're so fiddly. Because obviously I've got to paint here as well, haven't I? Why am I talking to a bit of plastic? Uh -huh. Have you actually opened your Kshatriya yet and had a look at it? I have, and I made cuckoo and girly noises and <gasps> noises. and. Yeah. I must admit, when I first opened it, I felt a little intimidated. Yeah. It lasted all for about a millisecond, and then it was, yeah, I'm going to buy myself a, scr uh, a scrundum, a Gundam panel <laughs> line scrundum. scriber. <laughs> scrundum. Is that kind of some kind of Devon Cornwall cider thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A panel line scriber so I can add additional lines and then I thought well I could have that as a panel I could remove that I could have that so that that comes out of there and it was soon yeah. 
yeah, within, within seconds, the festularity started to occur. Yeah, the festurizing had begun. So in my head, I've got how I want it to look. It's just getting it to do it. Look at the festularity. And of course, I kind of, I kind of want to put lights in it as well. Ooh, that's going to be tricky though because there's very little space inside those. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, very little space. <laughs> But Colin could put conduits on the Gundam, couldn't he? That's a good word. That's a good word. Mm. Or, you see, he could build it into like a landing pad diorama where it's got wires and things going into it from the, from the, from the landing pad. Yeah, sounds like a plan. It being a mobile suit that, it, you know, flies because they all fly. Because <laughs> they fly in space. Space! Like that. They don't say space when they fly. Space! That'd be rubbish, that. Uh, it's yeah. like, there's something wrong with a spaceship. What is it? Well, every time I go into space, it just goes, space, until I land. Okay, that's supposed to do that. Really? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm off on one, aren't I? I'll shut up now. No, you carry on, mate. Living in the mind of Fox must be so cool. No. It's usually scary. It's usually terrifying and confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, what was that? Lynn says it's trying to fix her din dins, but I'll be watching. And Candy Graham says, "Come on, Lynn, you know the rules." We know the rules. I was about, I was about to say. Yeah, ingredients. Come on. Yeah, and there's Doctor in Pepper involved. Ah, there's always Doctor Pepper involved. Yeah, not what Doctor have, in what, Pepper. Dr. What did you have for dinner tonight, Carl? Nothing. Nothing. What are you going to have for dinner in a bit then? Uh, I'm going to have sausages, mash, and beans. Once oh, sausages, mash, beans. Free from bed. Yeah. yeah. Because, as you know, I don't go to bed until about eight o'clock in the morning. So. Yeah. Does that mean it's like just warmed up though? Because it was made earlier on. Oh uh, yeah, it was made earlier on by the wife. About ten o'clock, she made it. What what kind of sausage? Aberdeen Angus, mate. Oh, flipping heck! Oh. oh no. I've trouser tented all over again. <laughs> oh, mate, so have I. I got a waft of them earlier. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aberdeen Angus is just the best beef. Yeah, because my missus looks after me, you know what I mean? Yeah, if she's giving you Aberdeen Angus sausages, good God, does she look after you. Oh, yeah. It's only to shut me up. Yeah, that's true. And that's always a price worth paying, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh... She's a good girl, my missus, mate. What did you have for your dinner, Dad? I had a Cornish pasty. <gasps> mm. From Cornish Place Land. Uh, from Cornish Place Land. Mm. But earlier on today, I had. Um, uh, it was my grandson's birthday today, so I had a huge wedge of birthday cake. Happy birthday, grandson. And he's 16, he knows everything, mate. Um, well, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> yeah, Didn't we when we were 16? When I got back from there, I had cheesy mashed potato. <sighs> With steak and ale. Steak and ale pie. Aye. Ingredients, steak, ale. God, could you imagine if you could go back to your 16-year-old self? I'm just oh, my piece is gone again. Oh. Yeah, no, it'd be so cool. Yeah. God, this earpiece is driving me nuts. Is it driving you nuts, mate? Well, it seems like the sound will just go until I've, like, pop the end off and suck it air out, and then it works oh, again. Hello. It's most frustrating. Is that one of those oh, uh, matrons, was it, moments? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why it does it. It just suddenly stops. Sometimes it does, sometimes it... It never breaks on an e-model show for some reason. Uh, I'm bored of this arm already. That's not a good Probably sign, is it? Good. Probably because you're listening to audio through a blue snowball microphone box. Yeah, it probably is. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to let him forget that, Dad, are you? No. <laughs> it's not my fault. I thought you had a good microphone, so. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's not a member of the Yeti Club yet, Fox. No. He'll get there. We'll have to do a hashtag Yeti for oh, Dad. No, don't don't bother getting a Yeti. The one you've got, sound, the sound coming through that sounds perfectly okay to me. Don't bother getting a Yeti. Don't spend all that money on a Yeti when that one sounds so good. 
Oh, you don't want to get one of them. They're crap. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Finn's <laughs> blaming me for not saying what she's having because I didn't say what's on the in your belly and what's on your bum oh is that your fault now is it no. it's my fault but yeah. that i normally only ever do that on fox's streams you know that lynn and this is colin's streams and that is uh normally dave's job on colin yeah but by all means if you want to jump in and ask the question you know me mate i don't mind. Some postcard <laughs> answers on a postcard please so, what's on your bench and what's in your belly? Answer card. You went a bit higher there as if you were about to say armadillo. <laughs> um, that, that, that was a bit high, wasn't it? I thought that. Yeah. And uh, now it started. Hashtag Yeti for Dad. I would actually say, Dad, being, being serious for a minute. Being serious for a minute. Yeah. Um, you don't need to get a Yeti. Because, and I'll tell you for why. I'll tell you for why. If you're just doing live streams, then that blue snowball is probably actually all right. Because it does sound pretty good. It's all right. But the reason I would say yet is if you're going to do any kind of recorded stuff and you want to do voiceover, then you would need something like a Yeti for the, for the voiceover quality. Said Colin. Colin, can you just reach around that screen now and get, tap him around the back of the do head? I, do, do I need to apply the wet mitten? <laughs> Cheeky, isn't he? I'm been not cheeky. Filming, been filming all week. And when we've been on Hangouts, I've been filming, and I'm going to do voiceovers on them, Fox. Thank you. Yay. So <laughs> I've got to get rid of this crap blue snowball and get a decent Yeti, then, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know it makes sense. You're brilliant, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> and this year's award for foot in mouth goes to dun, dun, dun. oh yeah. the other night i spent two and a half hours mm -hmm. doing, doing decals on my 148 scale seeking helicopter oh yes oh, and i was recording it but i didn't push the record button oh, oh no so I've done two and a half hours of non-recording. Oh. Imagine the language, can't you, Fox? I can, because I've done that myself. I've done that when I've recorded stuff. And uh, especially when you record, I use, I use my phone to film. So I press the record <laughs> button, but of course it's the buttons on the screen. Yeah. So every now and then, just occasionally, either you don't press pause from the last one, or you don't press stop. Yeah. So it's still yeah. recording, and when you press go, it's actually just stops recording. Or you don't actually press it properly, and it doesn't start recording. And you're like, oh, fudge. Yeah. That well, the, I've uttered the words dag and nam it more than once. The worst, the worst one, though, by far the worst thing is uh, when, if, because I, when I do voiceover, I use Audacity to record the audio. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, or if I'm doing if I'm doing like a, a pre-recorded thing at the bench here, like if I'm doing the, the X-wing stuff, I won't bother doing a voiceover. If I'm doing live recording, I've got the microphone there, and I'll have the camera here, the phone here, and I record the video on the phone, but I record the audio through the mic on Audacity because I don't use the the uh, the phone microphone because it's garbage. Yeah. Uh, and just occasionally, Audacity has the habit of just like just falling over and crashing and, and losing everything you've just done so you have to get in the habit of recording it s press stop when you're finished and instantly save it as a project yeah because then if you try and do any physical editing anything if you forget it guarantees if you forget to save it as a project the moment you start doing any editing it'll just crash and fall over and you'll lose it oh you need that like hole in yet then yeah so there's a few times when i've forgotten to save it and it's just it goes punk and you're like that's 20 minutes of vo voiceover gone of a talking gone and I, I can't really replace it now oh spiddy q8 in and said hi and welcome to warhammer in around midnight with uncle Fester. absolutely hey, mate. how you doing spid glad you popped in buddy look at that one there from phil at skull modeling chaos <gasps> oh Hang on, headset's gone again hole at scale modeling chaos you mean uh, well spotted there yeah, trying to yeah. check me up again, you get a oh, belly, wow. two sirloin steaks, chips, onion rings, fried tomato and mushy peas. Oh, 
Bench 44 Zved's the rare bus that he won on Monday's e-model stream. He's never built it before, but he's loving the kit. Oh, nice one, Paul. You're going to put some pictures up on the e-models Facebook page, mate. They'll love that. Yeah. It'll make their day, mate, seeing that. Yep. So I'm just struggling with my earpiece again. Oh, is he breaking his earpiece again? He's, he's had a bad old day today. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not having a good day oh. today. Yeah. Oh. He just suddenly goes he's like that. a bad old day, Dad, even. Is it? That's not... Um... A blue earpiece is it got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk ever again. Now. I'm just going to stop talking now forever. Oh, you are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> William Rayborn said he's a Billy Bourbon Barrel H Stout. Oh. Oh, nice. I thought you said burp and barrel then. I'm like, what's a burp and a barrel? That sounds great. <laughs> and his RC stuff and a Gundam on the bench. Oh, nice. He's done it. He said that thing, isn't he? A Gundam. What Gundam? It's yeah. not. It's like saying a tank on the bench, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's make a model. It's like required. saying I bought. It's like saying I bought a car. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as bad as saying I had food. A bit yeah. like what Lynn did, isn't it? What did you have for dinner? I had objects that I applied to my face. Hole. Lynch, what's that Lynn saying? I just tried to go onto your YouTube channel, Steady, and I got no results. Found try different people, so you can put stories. Uh, hit F F five, Lynn. It's a glitch with YouTube at the moment. Sometimes I go on my channel and it says this channel's got no content. You just have to keep refreshing it until it loads. Oh, really? I've never, never seen that. Yeah, Oops. it happens quite a bit. Your video content doesn't show up. It will show your banner and oh, no. perhaps coming soon, that type of thing. But then your content underneath in your categories don't appear. I hate sometimes when you go to... Oh, knock that rivet off. God damn it. You, uh, oh, yeah, I put on Spiddy's channel okay, so... I notice sometimes you're going to like your subscriptions page, yeah, uh, and it'll it'll pop up all the things, but there'll be no thumbnails, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, do you have to hit F5 again? Then said not... belly, belly, sorry, I had to go to the freezer and see what I want: Red Baron pepperoni French bread pizza. Ooh, ah, oh, good girl. Can I just say I'm having a terrible day with uh, rivets today? I've knocked off all kinds of rivets on everything. Oh, have you? How many you knocked off, mate? Uh, well, one, but I've got to knock oh, off the other one so I can replace them both with my own rivets because they're too small. Oh, uh, you're rivet counting again then. Yeah, right rivet destroyer. Oh. I am the rivet destroyer. William yeah, Ray but... Ridley and Rayborn said it's the Blaze Zaku Phantom. Oh. Excellent. I don't know which one that is, but it's a Zaku, so it's obviously correct. Bobbins has a grilled salmon fillet with chilli seasoning with pasta and pesto sauce. Ooh. And his bench is still empty. Oh, it's not, nice. It's not a long move though, so perhaps he hasn't set it all up yet. Mm. I never said what I had for belly, did I? I never got around to that. Um, belly for me was Fox's Mess with turkey oh. mince. Yes, it was turkey mince. So Fox's Mess, you might know, was brown rice, potatoes, carrots and onions. Um, all steamed rice. The rice is steamed and everything else is boiled. Uh, I added to that some turkey mince, which is really nice. If you've never had turkey mince, have to. It's oh, it's fantastic. It's better than chicken. Um, turkey mince, and I added some. I say some many soy sauce, dark soy sauce. Uh, many mustard were added. English mustard, of course, because that's the only mustard there is. Paprika. Uh, paprika, yeah. I've got some some sprinkle stuff that's like paprika and chip salt or something. It's some kind of I don't know what it is. It's, I had some of that. Uh, we ha I added some. It was done. I added a hunter's chicken sauce. It was very mm. nice. Uh, and other bits of herbs and spices. Some some burger relish. This is actually like it's like the it's like the sauce you get on a Big Mac, but it's not called that. Uh, and bizarrely, it works. It's like a flavoured mayonnaise. It's really nice. Oh, mm, sounds nice. Uh, and some other bits and bobs. And that was our dinner. And I made so much of it, I had three bowls and I still didn't finish it all. There's still some left. That was my belly. Spiddy said, how bizarre, Lynn. Hopefully a refresh sorts that otherwise YouTube has stolen all my content. No, it works all right, Spid. 
yeah like i say sometimes i get like quite often i'll get no no thumbnails and i have to reload the page and knowing you just get the squares where they should be and it's like oh, yeah. <coughs> Coffee uh, lad. spuddy said i don't know why the avengers don't just use hulk as an advertising platform after all he's a huge walking banner where have i seen that before i've seen that today somewhere it was in chris's stream Oh, was it? Yeah. Is he is he just copying and pasting the same jokes? I think so. Yeah, he said for all those who missed this joke on Chris's stream. That's just laziness now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. What am I doing with this? That needs to go on there. I can't recommend Fox's mess enough. It's it's wonderful food. It's dead simple to make. Oh yeah, that's the whole idea of it. Food has to be dead. Oh, hello, Matron. Because all you do is literally, the rice is 30 minutes in the microwave in a steamer. The veggies take 20 minutes. So you, you get the rice on, 10 minutes chopping up your veggies, put the carrots in at 25 minutes. Yeah. Give them an extra five minutes. Then dump your spuds and onions and everything else in there at 20 minutes. And then for the last 10 minutes, just fr fr uh, you know, gently fry up your meat of some sort. Happy days, done. Oh. Apply food to your face. Happiness is everywhere. Yeah, you do mean you do know this would mean me venturing into the wife's kitchen. And well, I wouldn't recommend you do that because it. I know obviously you you want to maintain your male parts. Absolutely, there's no way I am going to go loitering in the lady's kitchen. No way. Well, in anybody's well, kitchen, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. No, it's like yeah. That would be probably the dumbest thing you could possibly do. Yeah, it'd be, didn't I tell you that you are banned from my white appliances? Yes, you did, dear. Yes, but I was too busy rustling the paper and saying yes, dear. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> yeah, not all learn yet. At the end of the day, we make each mistake once, so you may as well make the mistake at least once. Oh, absolutely, You mate. can't learn from it if you don't do it the first time. Yeah, but the trouble is, even if I've done it 20 times, I still never learn from it. But the other thing is, of course you've got to get out because you can say well you told me not to do it and you know how it goes yeah she knows you by now well enough if she tells you not to do it she knows the consequence of that action oh yeah because it's well if you hadn't told me not to do it i wouldn't yeah. have done it would i but you yeah. sowed the seed there was a seed the seed was sown yeah. and the consequences were fall. dire I've just glued this armour panel on, uh, off camera as well, I should say, by the way. Uh, and I've just realised I'm not actually going to be able to get in there and paint the inside of it. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. It'll have to be metallic on the inside, I've decided. Panzer Co. Nick's in, saying morning to all. Morning, Panzer. Hugs to you. Hello, Panzer. All right, morning. mate. And there is I'm, method I'm, to my madness for attaching these dudes at this stage, because, yeah, I can paint them on the guns, see. So what are you doing, Cole? Because I haven't, I haven't been looking at the screen yet. Uh, give, yourself, give yourself a full screen. And let's have a look well, I do believe there. you said you wanted me to put dudes on the guns, so I'm putting this dudes correct. on the guns. Uh, uh, I like the one on the big massive boomstick with his little tiny pistol. Yeah, so as you can see, there's dudes going on the guns. Are you going to be able to get them to paint them? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Are you going to be able to get to all those to paint them? Yeah. Trust me. You are okay. talking to the bloke, don't forget, who has got a crow's nest on a bane blade. So this is yeah. true. Uh yeah, because I'll just be able to pull the guns off. It's like, you know, that dude there. See? The whole panel comes off. Mint. So yeah. Because you know what'll happen. I'll do the paint job and then I'm gonna have to destroy the paint job, put all my dudes on it, and yeah. So yeah. Just, just keep it all random and stuff. Oh, absolutely. There's going to be no... Um... Don't, yeah. end up with, don't end up with symmetrical dudes. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to just be climbing over everything. I've got dudes yeah. to go in the back. Some of them, obviously, I'm going to paint off the model like that bad boy there. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. That bad boy is indeed a bad boy. Absolutely. But, yeah, so there are some, some little ones there that are going to go in the cubby holes around the back of the Bane Blade, and I'll paint them off of it, and then I can just drop them in there. Panzer just said, holy bat crap, there are more things 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's not finished yet, mate. You have to. Uh, you, you won't have seen the. You won't have seen the glory of the crow's nest. You have to explain the crow's nest to him. Yeah, if you only just come in. I think oh, that's he seen. Is he not seen that? Ah, oh, right. Okay. Uh, let's try and sort the camera angle. Out. <laughs> You'll have to pop your banner off as well. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh... <laughs> you see that big rod that goes up off the top of the screen? It carries on going for about another yeah. foot. Uh, let's try and. Uh... Oh, that sounded snappy. There you go. So you only got a crow's nest up there. I'm just wondering if it's worth putting anything down at the bottom to reinforce it a bit, you know, from being wibbly wobbly to stop it in case it breaks. And there's like a dude some, like, there with his periscope. Like, is it worth maybe gluing some fake two befores to it to make like? Oh uh, yeah, a like some beams just, just uh Yeah, just to give it some. Yeah. But, to prevent uh, it, you don't want it to snap, so. Oh, that goes right away through the turret as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it goes deep inside the tank. But, uh, yeah, but it's, it's orcs, isn't it? You know, he's going to be thinking, wobbling as thinking, he goes along. Well, I'm, I, I'm just trying to think now. I'm just trying to visualise you trying to paint the dude while it's wibbling and wobbling everywhere. You're going to be so much challenged to paint that. <laughs> yeah, I like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> he said through gritted teeth. But well, this is the person who said to me, wouldn't it be cool if you put that on there and add it at a, a slightly shonky angle? And I thought, well, if I cut the tube in half, that could have been tied together. But yeah, it's orcs, isn't it? It's orcs, isn't it? But yeah, I've got, like say, I could have put a ladder on there because I've got the resin ladder printed. But it's just like, yeah. Bless. <laughs> and of course, he's got a periscope as well. So you can see yeah. where he's going. It's absolutely genius. It's a bit I mad. Think, I think you it? may have to make some kind of rig to stabilise the platform at the top when you're painting it so it doesn't wobble everywhere. Yeah. You imagine trying to paint tiny details on a moving object. It's going to be... Uh... Yeah, but that's the challenge, isn't it? Hans has just said that Festa now needs rigging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's got its down ones, but yeah, it could do with... Yeah, in between the rigging Cross pieces. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. In betweeny riggage, I like that. Because could probably have, you know, I could probably have one of these dudes sort of halfway up. You want some? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next time you get your own bloody cup of tea. But you know, this is you know, you and your bright ideas, mate. You know, Carl. You can, it's nothing to do with me. I I said no words. <laughs> but you know, I said I'd do it. There it is, mate. It's got a crow's nest. <laughs> Yeah, never think that you can give Colin a challenge and he won't do it. Because of... oh, we we got the other thing to build yet that we right. was on about, but that's going to be the surprise, isn't it? Yeah, is that the um, the fluffy one? Yeah, the that's fluffy a... one. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. will be the surprise. That's going to be the surprise for when the the final video it'll get injected at the last episode. But, yeah. You know, you like injecting things, don't you? Absolutely. So yeah, it's getting a little bit. This is why it got called the Insane Blade by Andy. <laughs> I get. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns into one of those things that never actually really gets finished. It's just one of those things that every now and then you get it out and you just fuddle with it and you add bits and you yeah, you're going to put more bits on it. Um, yeah, it's it's a strange one. Yeah, the <laughs> the challenge of putting the electrics in and painting it is going to be yeah. So how long have you been building this bane blade? Oh, about thirteen years. Yeah, I started this when I was fifty four. Well, if you if, you know, like when you watch those old um, the old Pathé news films, and it's got like um, Bob Johnson who lives in Surbiton, and he's got like this railway in his loft, and he's like he's fifty two, and it's filmed in nineteen sixty two. Yeah, and he says, "Yes, I started off by buying a single train and a piece of track, and now I've got my entire house is made of trains." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's one of those as bits have been added to it the insanity of the paint job is beginning to rear, <laughs> rear its ugly head but yeah no it's beautiful it's a beautiful head it's it's one of those it's just it's many of those it's most of those i've kind of enjoyed the experience of it to be honest with you, you probably noticed I, I think we i think we can probably have figured that out to be perfectly honest yeah that's why i say i think you'll just i don't think you'll ever finish it i think you'll just keep fettling with it forever well, yeah, it's just going to be one of those, isn't it? You know, I mean, like you say, the odd turret that's been looted from another orc clan, you know, you could still leave that in their colours, you know, and just have randomness across it. But See, I can see you finishing it, putting it in a box, and then going on to other things. 
but then you'll be like working on something else and you'll finish the second thing and you'll be like i've got this little thing left over yeah i've got a green ball on the bane blade. oh you know, you know. on the bane blade you know that every single Warhammer Greeble I end up with will at some point go on this Bane Blade. It'll be back in five, four, three. Richard two, has got one. one. Bosh, there he is. Bosh, I know that every single Warhammer Greeble. Uh, Richard Pezzle says, yeah, the fun will begin when it comes time to paint it. Absolutely, mate. I'm, I'm I'm resisting all the urges in the world to just get Colin to send it to me. That's why I said earlier on, if I ever win the lottery, or if I suddenly come into a lot of money, I will pay Colin to make another one just for me, so I can paint it. Uh, Ooh, who was that? It's going to be one of those insane paint jobs. Isn't was it? that you, Father? It was me. Was that your belly there making little gassy noises? You do realise, though, what's going to happen is you're going to receive one day 52 parcels in the mail and it's going <laughs> no, to be, I'll you just... said you wanted to paint it, it's yours. I'll just get this big, massive crate delivered by, like, Chinook. Edward Leonard says, yeah, he's going to put it in a box and send it to me because I want it. <laughs> yeah. No, if I, if I ever scrape up the money... I will, uh, I will pay you to build another one just for me. Maybe not with the crow's nest. Because that might get a bit tricky, but yeah, it's I will happily commission you to build another one just so I it, can have one to paint. It's one of those I had this with the bus when I first built that, you know. I ended up building four of them in the end, and it was like, yeah, I got bust out in the end, but yeah, it's one of them. I don't mind, I'll build another one, yeah, especially if somebody's paying you for it. But every single war hammer now that I do is going to be downhill from this, isn't it? I mean, this is my <laughs> yeah, first one, yeah, you screwed the pooch now because it's. <laughs> I it's kind just, of knackered it's... myself, you know. Yeah, kind of. Because it's like when you do the Valkyrie, what the hell are you going to do to a Valkyrie that would even compare to this? Mm. Apart from, I don't know, make it a biplane or something, I don't know. Yeah, but it's the Bane Blade, isn't it? You know, it's, I don't know, it's the jewel in the crown, isn't it? I suppose. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know the game, do I? No. Which you said would be a bonus, didn't you? Because I'm not bound by my own. Oh yeah, you just, you just you thing. I'm just like do whatever I like, and then when you yeah. said about orcs, I do believe orcs was a better way to go than the Berlin camo, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, because Berlin camo would have been it's a tank. Orcs yeah. is there's a goddamn crow's nest on your tank. Yeah, but I like the insanity of that. When I yeah when I started making it, I was getting the giggles in the hangout, and I yeah. was like, "What are you laughing at?" Make if you just if you just built that and painted it as Berlin Camo, it would have been interesting, but it's just a tank. But now yeah. it's it's a fester thing. It's it's yeah. It's one of those, like I say, even priming it is just gonna bring everything together. Because like you say, there's different resin bits, different bits I've printed and yeah. I think I think you're right, because it's gonna take so much priming that all your lungs will just stick together. Yeah. But, but obviously no, I need to look at pictures on how it's how the guns look, whether they're metallic, whether they're this, whether no, they're that. I would say don't. I'd say paint it however the hell you want. I, of all the people uh, who should not make anything according to what they're supposed to look like, you are the most person who should not make anything <laughs> they're supposed to look like. Yeah, I think because I that's where have... that's where it makes it unique. Yeah, I think I might have excelled myself at the slight the slight insanity of yeah. builds. I am no known for getting the score out. Yeah, yeah. Of all, of all the people in the world who should not follow instructions, William yeah. Rainbow said it needs a orc sitting on the toilet. Oh, that's a good shout. But, oh, burpage. Yeah, got an hammock one to do yet as well. Got to make me yeah. hammock. Mm. The thing is, orcs are fungus, so do they actually poop? Uh, I don't know, do they? I suppose I everyone has to have a. I don't yeah. know. Fungus, the fungi don't poop. Who knows? How can we find out? And don't forget, this is the stream where you had that immortal phrase. It's got a tit on it. It's got a tit on it, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. How are you going to attach that gun, Carl? Easy, mate. Look, it's got a tit on it, mate. <laughs> got a tit on it, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm going to jump the gun now. I'm going to build the slappy hand on this because I've got board building that arm. Yeah. Which was a fiddly nonsense. Edward Landis said, William Genius put the toilet in the crow's nest. Oh, oh yeah, I could have a gauge there because I've got space. 
Blame me, I'm cross me legs, rather than climb all the way up there. <laughs> you could add some real surreal humour to it and have a toilet and have a catapult attached to the toilet, like a like a twangy catapult, <laughs> as if it means they can <laughs> fling poop from the from the from the. Yeah. Stop. Would that make it the Would that make it the poop deck? Uh -huh. there. Am I banned? It could be known as a shatterpult. <laughs> 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 so have a toilet and have a just have it like a like mounted on the side so he can sit on the toilet. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh, we really God, shouldn't. We, don't, have... we, we really don't get out a lot. Do no, we, we really lot. shouldn't be allowed out in public. <laughs> oh hello, morning, Vicar. Me, that's the world's largest frog. <laughs> yeah, uh, Richard Pezzle's going out like the scaly models. I'm bored of that arm. I'm going to make the slappy hand to cheer myself up. Uh, Lynn says she had to log out of YouTube and now she can't log back in, so she's on her phone. Oh dear, you're having a right old day of it. Mind you, YouTube for us lot's been a bit shonky lately, and it? it's not been great. Yeah, I've, I've been all right. The one thing I would say is if you're on any kind of mobile device, don't use the app, it's garbage. Yeah, I found that out of my yeah. detriment. Don't, don't use the YouTube app, it's horrible. Just just go through the website, it's a lot easier, yeah. a lot stable. Stabler, if that's a word. Yeah. And uh, view desktop site as well. Yep. Oh, damn it. These dudes are tiny. How do you paint all that? Dirt? I'm going to make the slappy hand. Hands of slappiness. Because, well, this arm bored me when I was building it, so I'm going to I'm going to make the slappy hand, which will cheer me up a little bit. So what else can I put on there, then? See, it may sound strange to me. I sort of keep looking at it thinking it's missing something. <laughs> <laughs> when you find out what one thing is missing, do let me know. Yeah, yeah, we could do with some reinforcement on there, couldn't we? It's a bit. Right, ninety-seven is the thumb. Tempted to put a ladder on it, but the curiosity then is, how did the orc get up there? Yeah, but then would the ladder will be? Would you make the ladder into the rigging, or would would it be easy to make a solid ladder? Well, why don't you yeah, have the it definitely ladder? needs a bit of rigging, doesn't it? Or, if you want to have a bit of mystery, why don't you have the ladder going up the bottom half, but not up the top half of the, of the pole? Yeah. Like it goes up to where it snapped, but after that, how did he get up the rest of it? Yeah. How is this even possible? And then the, then the soap theme tune starts playing. Do, 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 and then, yeah, you know, I could make, make some kind of uh, ladderage, couldn't I? I'm showing my age there, aren't I? A bit of angularity. And now I've got the soap theme tune in my head. Did anybody else used to watch soap back in the 80s? No. Okay. Yeah. Just, just, you did? Yeah. I've got the theme in my head now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Welcome to soap. <laughs> Previously on this. <laughs> Great. I don't remember much about it, but I remember it was, it was, it was amusing. I didn't understand it, obviously. Do, 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 do. Copyright. Do, do. Yeah, steady now. Let's leave it at that. So I realised. <laughs> then again, it's not my channel. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I lie, I lie. Was that a bit of a wibble there? <laughs> okay, Stanley. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> little slappy hand it's like a gumpler hand this really is baby's first gumpler this little oh hello this little invictus battle suit i've got to remember which bits which now though because they're all different ones so that's the thumb thumb no oh, i have done well this year gundams and war hammers like things i would never have thought i would have ended up building that's because you know me and I'm just a nightmare to hang around. Uh, yeah, yeah, you've got that right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's completely my fault and I accept all responsibility. I don't Absolutely. Respect I accept no responsibility. Unless you enjoy it, in which case I take all credit. I expect no responsibility. I'll say that again. The joke's dead, I got it wrong, never mind, moving on. Yeah, but it's great fun though, isn't it? It's different. Yeah. I accept no responsibility, but I take all the credit, depending on the outcome. Unless you I got can't. I can't wait. To see. Microphone. Oh, sorry. Say again, Dad. Unless, unless you got a blue snowball microphone. What, what's what's Dad going on about? Didn't hear that, mate. Your microphone was breaking. <laughs> 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 oh, 
up there. Yeah, he's, not laugh he's not laughing, is he? He's yeah. not laughing. <laughs> now, can I just say that wasn't me? That was completely Colin, that dad, so. <laughs> I, I actually didn't hear what you said, so I don't know. I don't know who it was. Uh, you're on a roll there, dude. What? You're on fire tonight, aren't you, Cole? I am, mate. I'm on a mission, mate. <sighs> you're on a mission from Dog. Well, I haven't heard back from Hachette yet. Oh, really? No, it's only been a few days, though. I found a I found an email address for their PR, so I mailed them and basically said, "Here, why don't you send me that new War on My Conquest in 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 thing, and I'll I'll film it." Basically, can you send it to me, and I'll I'll do a video build and paint thing like I'm doing with Conquest. All right. And yeah. they, I'm hoping they'll say, "Yeah, okay." That they might not, but I thought it's worth a try. I'm, I can't. I can't. I'm not going to get it myself because I can't afford it anyway. No. Uh, and I wasn't sure about having the space to, to store it while I was working on it. But I thought, well, I'm not going to get it myself. I'm not really that interested in Necrons to spend all that money. But if they're willing to send it to me, then I'll happily film it and stuff and give them some free PR. So I'll just wait and see. It might take them a while to get back to me. It'd be nice if they did, but, it's, you know, it's worth a try. Yeah, you don't, like you say, you don't get nothing unless you're asked, do you? <laughs> No, don't ask, you don't get it. And if you do ask, it's three for a pound. Three for a pound. Absolutely. So and I thought it's worth a little cheeky punt. You know, give it a go. You never know. I don't expect they'll they'll be up for it, but... A lot it's... of them ain't, are they? You know, they don't mind. They're like, oh, yeah, if you if you want to do the subscription and film it, we're happy for that. It's like, well, yeah, let's give well, us a discount. I don't know. I mean, D'Agostini are quite open with that idea. I say they contacted me for the X-Wing, so... Mm. But... Yeah, I think Hachette are a bit. They're not, they're not. No, not that. I don't think they're that. I don't think they're that social media aware kind of yeah. yet. They're kind of a bit behind the times on that. I think. Because like all the all the publicity stuff for Warhammer Conquest was done by Games Workshop on the Games Workshop YouTube channels. So. Oh right. It was like and it only showed like the first few episodes, the basics, how to paint, and it was really annoying. They got these really annoying hosts. Um, yeah. So I, I think Hachette at the moment, they're not completely au fait with the modern way of doing yeah, things. I'm currently in negotiations with one for a particular car. Ooh, cool. But like I say, it's it's just waiting on things to settle down with the world being on fire. But they yeah. seem open to it, so we're just negotiating. Right. So. Yeah, I do. I mean, it's like I say, I mean, it's not, if, if, they, if, they, don't, if they say no, then it's absolutely fine. Because it wasn't something I was planning on doing myself anyway. Because, like I said, I have no interest in Necrons yeah. that much. But I'll happily build and paint them. But I thought, well, may as well. Because it, if it gives me a good relationship with them, if I do well with it, then you know, I did enjoy doing the Conquest. And I've still got to paint all those. So, And they are, you know, good things. It's worth giving it some PR. So we'll see. It'd be nice if they said yes. But if they say no, it's not the end of the world. Absolutely. That's how I still I pester them until the sun goes down, but... Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I haven't got away yet. You thought yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like, what's that? What's that annoying Legend of Zelda game where there's a little floating thing that says hey, 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 hey all the time? <laughs> yeah, is it as annoying as the Microsoft paperclip? No. Oh, it looks like you're writing a letter. I saw one clip here once, and it was like, oh, it looks like you're writing unsubstantiated conspiracy theory bullshit. Would you like me to turn caps lock on for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've got to love all of these uh, old things that we had to tolerate. That used to drive me nuts, though, that poxy paper clip. Oh, yeah. Like, really? Whoever invented that or thought of it should have been gunned down. Do you know, you know what, though? When I, my first, one of my first jobs, not my first job, but like mid mid-90s, uh, I started working for a cable company in customer services uh, for 9X, as it was in the day. Yeah. Not called that anymore, at least not in this country. Um, and it was it was the early days. It was about 1996, so Windows 95 was still a new thing. 
Yeah. Keep, keep this in mind. For people who don't know, Windows 95 was still a new thing. That's like hundreds of years ago. Yeah. And, and this was the first time I'd ever, ever, ever used a desktop PC, ever. Uh, my own computer was an Amiga, and I'd never had a Windows base. And, and so I'd, I'd train my job learning you know, how to do my job. And I was like, this is this this is amazing, this Windows PC. So anyway, I've got the job, working in the call centre. And of course, the first thing I would do every time I got, like, because you used to move around desks. The first thing I would do is change the resolution and all the colour scheme on Windows to be interesting, and not yeah. just whatever the factory default was. And also increase the resolution so instead of having like the, the system that we use filling the whole screen i could have two of them on the screen at the same time yeah because you increase the resolution and make this and i just shrink it all down and make everything change the resolution and bits and bobs so i could have the, the data the, the system open twice so i can have two customers account open at the same time mm. now that's not interestingly complicated or technical it's just literally farting about with the display settings on in windows like you yeah. change your wallpaper or change your, your theme, your colour theme. Because I did that, the boss came to me and said, you know all about computers, come and do this job over here on this team at twice the money. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll do that. And it, all it was is literally, I was the only person in the entire building that knew how to change like the desktop theme. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. And it, the thing is, the job that they gave me wasn't even doing computers, it was doing like stat analysis and stuff, which is massive yeah. and rubbish at that. So I don't quite know how the logic worked there, but then again, they were impressed by the fact I could change the colour in Windows. So yeah. I took the money and ran. That was the time where the minute you was able to do something in a computer or on a computer, uh, yeah, your yeah, life you would change. Wouldn't it? It's like, yeah, oh, this man knows how to do code. Oh, gosh. Well, the thing is, in those days, you know, like nowadays, if you have like an elderly relative, like a parent or grandparent, yeah and we've all done it where they have a device and it could be a computer it could be a tablet it could be a phone and you get the phone call how do i do and you get that you get that tech support call from your your, your mum or your dad or your grandfather <laughs> yeah. and you know with old people and technology, sometimes it goes on it goes on forever yes well when i was working in the mid 90s if anybody out there did any kind of job that used computers in the mid 90s and even if it's just an office job that has a windows computer and you're just using word it doesn't matter the moment you show any aptitude for anything you become the guy you become tech support for the entire oh, office oh yeah especially if you're in an office of secretary types and that kind of like admin job where it's all just like secretaries and you're like i was in one office where i was the only bloke in the entire office and of course, because I could change the Windows colour theme, which is all I could really, I was a one trick pony. Yeah. I became the one that knows all about computer. Oh, God, it was a nightmare. Uh, yeah, the computer guy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We actually took a girl's keyboard and swapped two of the keys around. <laughs> the E and the M or whatever swapped around, and it took about a week to figure out why all the letters were given spelling mistakes everywhere. <laughs> and it was only when she called IT support up and they went, What's the problem? There you go. <laughs> Swap the keys around. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Yeah, somebody's messing with you." Yeah, she was not Someone impressed. Changed your keyboard. Yeah, she was not impressed. If I remember right, Fox, wasn't it New York New England Exchange? Uh, we were told it was Nine uh, X was New York New England, and X is for the future. Ah, wow. uh, right. But it probably was Exchange. Yeah. But we were gullible simpletons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had we had their internet. Yeah, it was. They were, I think, the first cable company in the UK. Mm. Um, and we, I worked with them for a while, and then after a while, they got taken over by. Well, they merged. How did no? They got taken over with cable by cable and wireless. Yeah, that's it. And then uh, became Virgin. Well, it went through a bit of a merge because then cable and wireless, where it was I used NCL to work for a while, wasn't it as well? Yeah, they shared the building with Mercury, Mercury Cable Comms. Mm. Uh, they shared the building with them for a while and then they kind of got taken over by NTL. That's it, NTL, yeah. Yeah. Nobody heard of any of these companies ever. Uh, and then at the end of it, uh, it all became Virgin. Yeah. And you know what really got me? The place where I used to work. Um, for, for like seven years, I worked there. And after about the first two years, I hated every minute of it, but it was a job. So for seven years, I worked there. 
and every day in work i'd be like i wish this place would just like in the middle of the night would just burn down and we could have a couple yeah. of weeks off work because it'd be great nobody get injured just for the building and for seven years that never happened and i left and within a week of me leaving the building burnt down oh no that's in the me. middle of the night and nobody and i was like oh you oh all the oh, oh you tore oh. and they never pressed for it hey and they never caught you for it no nope, never oh wait wait <laughs> allegedly allegedly <laughs> allegedly <laughs> so yeah so yeah all those years yeah, you can imagine it now fox won't be on the middle all show today why is that he got arrested the week ever setting fire to a building I don't set fire to this building. I may have accidentally not done that. I deny everything. I don't know how these hands are supposed to attach. Plausible deniability, mate. Yeah, many other complicated words. If I remember right, the NTL building in Manchester was mahusive, wasn't it? In what, in Manchester or in... Yeah, Manchester. Uh, I don't remember that one. I don't think I've yeah, ever been there. They used to have humongous dishes in the the backyard. Uh, I've never been to the one in Manchester. Mm. Where I used to work was based in uh, Withenshaw. Mm -hmm. Withenshaw, I right. That's I don't know why I did a Scouse accent then, because that's not... Oh, no, no, no. I don't know why I did a, a sort of slightly Scousey accent. Doesn't that seem was really impressive, though. Right. It was not really that impressive. These fingers don't fit. I don't understand what's going on with this slappy hand. I just don't understand what's going on. What's going on? I should just have to trust in the Omnisire that it will all make sense. Okay, so I'm this shonky ladder. Shonky ladder. Sorry, you make, oh, I like it. I like it, Cole. You're making a ladder out of bits. Yeah. You're sitting there quietly by yourself making things. It's good. It's good to see. Absolutely. I don't know it's where good... the hell I'm going to put it on the bone blade, but hey, uh, you know, it'll get there. Well, I would suspect probably up towards the crow's nest area, I would say this is a good start. Oh, yeah, but yeah, it's... I mean, the attachment areas and things. Yeah, I'll give it all a trim once it's gone off. But... Look at the trimularity. Trimularity. Iron Man saying, I didn't set the building on fire to match it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> imagine it can't you i'll never believe it officer i was walking along the road people don't I burn buildings match. matches burn buildings yeah and a gust of wind it only went and blew it into the building these things happen <laughs> look at the windularity yeah. of course looking like me i've got a level guilt so i would be neat <laughs> for it anyway so are you catholic yeah this I've just got one of them faces that says it was me. And was it you? Probably was. I'm not impressed with this slappy hand. It's not. It's not working for me. I'm giving you special treatment, is it? It's giving me a pain in the ass treatment. It doesn't make any sense. It's not actually. It doesn't look like it. Oh, I don't get it. Yeah. It's just it's being made messy now because it's not I don't understand what it's supposed to be doing. Uh Scale Modeling Co says the only thing I haven't added is an actual working engine. Well, we have been thinking about jet engines, haven't we, on and off. So Yeah, there were thoughts along those lines. I mean there is still room on its iris perhaps for a jet engine outlet, so you never outlet. know. Of course, I could print some uh, Valkyrie uh, wings and add them to the sides of the bane blade, but yeah. Hmm. I might have to abandon this hand and just do a not open hand because it's really pissing me off. Is it mugging you up, is it? Yeah, it's not. Is it laughing at you? It's It's got some real dumbass system where there's no clear locked in connection points there's just hints yeah of how it should attach and i can't get the finger on without messing up the other finger i'm not going to sit here all day and start slowly attaching things it's not uh, conducive to happy times usually saying i'm sure uh, i can find a way absolutely i mean i've got all the motors 
I've got the motors to put in it. It would be one of those. It would be good if it travelled along, a little RC motor. That would require mm. building an entire track system and drive system there, wouldn't it? Yeah, be a bit of a ball lake, wouldn't it? It'd probably be a lot easier to simply buy a 1 16th RC tank and just then adapt it to look like a bane blade. Yeah. Like, get, like, if you wanted to spend a £1,000 on the Tamiya 1 16th Abrams and then just throw that investment away by making it look like a bane blade. <laughs> would I do that? Yeah, you would. Yeah, there's a distinct possibility that I would. God, could you imagine the purists? Let's see what the Magic 8 Ball says. The Magic 8 Ball says, duh. God, could you imagine the hate campaign I'd get? What, from Tamiya fans and from him? <laughs> yeah. It'd be glorious, wouldn't it? I thought I was going to get that with the Star Wars community when I did those builds, you know, the different ones I'd done, the cat and the swap one, but I they think, actually seem to like it. Yeah, I think the thing you, the mistake you made there was you equated Star Wars neck beards and confused, well, you confused people that make Star Wars models with Star Wars neck bit fanboy neck beards. Yeah. They're not the same thing. The, 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 it's the neck beards that go on about the problems with the cannon and stuff they're yeah. not the model makers model makers tend to be a bit more simple well, i say that yeah do you want to rethink that <laughs> yeah yeah not all yeah. well then again model makers that make star wars models would tend to be like normal human beings rather than the yeah. kind of people that do unweathered spitfires and complain because your tank doesn't have the correct number of oh rigs. yeah I think you'll find if you're painting it in that colour, that particular rivet was not added till 1943, and yet oh, your yeah. colour scheme reflects 1942, therefore, me, 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 slap. It's when you get rivet counted on a build where you've explained to people, it's a what if build. Well, it's, like, yeah. do you realise? It's like, yeah, what part of it's a what if build did you not understand? What part of I don't give a flying flock? <laughs> yeah. uh, believe it or not my most rivet counted build is me bus yeah and it's oh it's had some classics over the years that one and it's like yeah at the very beginning i say this bus is not intended to be a period accurate representation it's going to have my favorite films and bands on it yep and yeah Pointless waste of five minutes of my time that was. Yep. Welcome to the internet. Yeah. I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm not having any thoughts about ever making one of these Invictus battle suits again. Uh yeah, Dad's broadband's pot, so uh Ooh. they must be maintaining time again. So Ooh. yeah, no worries, mate. Take Cheers, care, Dad. Dad. Thanks a lot, mate. Edward Leonard Han saying Build the slappy hands, for Christ's sake. Laugh out loud. Don't be inept. <laughs> I have to be inept. It's in my contract. Absolutely, mate. Do you honestly think any of us actually know what we're doing? <laughs> it's like can't cook, won't cook, but it's can screw it up, will screw it up. Yeah. If I built things perfectly every time, and what's the opposite of inept? Is it just ept? Uh, if you're not if so, you're not yeah. inept, are you just ept? I'm well, not even I mean, convinced that's I'm not even convinced that's a real word. Yeah, I've never seen myself as a serious model builder, to be honest with you, because you can't take it too seriously, can you? Because at the end of the day, we're middle-aged men putting plastic model kits together. So yeah. like, have a laugh doing it. You know, I just well, I, I always say we're we're we're, we're pot-bellied, hairy ass middle-aged blokes making plastic soldiers. Which yeah. bit of that is serious? I, I don't quite get yeah. it. which bit of that is supposed to be serious. <laughs> yeah. Spiddy says, the problem with your bus, Colin, is I was told Dave was the conductor that day and the one in yours looks like Morris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, May I say... Says... Go on. Oh, no, go on. Inept is uh, adept. Well, I know that, but the word inept suggests there should be ept. Yeah. But I've never heard anybody... Just, it's like flammable and inflammable, even though they both mean the same thing. I'm yeah. start that conversation. That's the, that's the Mayhem thing. saying that Blakey was well miffed. Absolutely. I'll get you, Blakey! I Blakey hate that you, actor. I'll get you, but I mean, not the, I mean, the way he plays... Not, I don't mean hate the person, but 
He always played the same character, and they were always terrible. Yeah. With the gormless face. He was the same as last Seriously typecast, wasn't he, in the end? Yeah, pulling that gurney face. Oh, could you imagine trying to do that program now? It'd never happen. Well, on the board, oh, most of most of seventies uh, stuff like that wouldn't happen. No. Thankfully. Yeah, different time, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a it was a racist time, and sexist time. It was, wasn't it? it? It does make you cringe, doesn't it, when you think about it? Oh God, yeah. You look at it and think, dear Lord, how did we ever yeah. think that was? Oh. Yeah, unfortunately. It took a long time before the reality pill dropped, didn't it? And by then, yeah. I think a lot of the damage had been done. Yeah, but hey. What were you going to do? Exactly. <sighs> well, that was not in any way fun. I've built it, but I didn't enjoy building it. What do you reckon? Oh, look at that, mate. I'll just put your full screen, mate. It's, a focus it's like the scene. kind of... It's like the kind of... It's not in focus on now, but it's like the kind of... Doctor Who looking at the camera, clampy yeah. hand kind of look to it. Yeah, I it's like not, that. It's not in focus, but, you know. I've got to hold it now for a few minutes because it's very loosely glued together. Oh, it looks it's good. Gonna, uh, it's all going to fall to bits otherwise. Yeah, because there's no, there's no set pegs and holes. It's just it loosely sits in a small recess that barely fits. Still looking good, though, mate. I thank you. But then again, I, I look at that and then I look at what's on your bench and I just want to burn it. <laughs> be because tough. seriously, this is just irrelevant bullshit compared to what you <laughs> You do like my Bane Blade, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's like, what have you done tonight, Fox? I built an arm. What have you done, Colin? I built an entire ladder out of just from molecules. From Are you ground. glad that I accepted your challenge then? <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm just waiting for you to start working wood grain into those bits of plastic card. I think you should leave the little end bit sticking out, mate. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave some of them, but not all oh, yeah. of them. Yeah, because then it looks a bit more shonky, doesn't it? Is uh, it supposed to be wood or, or...? Yeah, it's going to be wood. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, dare I say it, <laughs> yeah, I've got wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> moving on. Moving on. Moving on, moving on, moving on. It's a bit longer than anticipated. That's what I she said. Trim it down. Hey, I shall trim it down said. to fit, but it's gonna. It's gonna well, yeah, it would help. You could see it, wouldn't it? But yeah, it's gonna go in all right. Uh, he says, bending the camera. That entire conversation is just like straight out of the Confessions of a Window Cleaner. There you go. Yeah, so it's it's, it's a bit longer than I. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go round go round the back of the turret about yay long. So. Hang on though, if you're going to have that turret rotating, then gluing that to that is probably a really bad uh, idea. No, it's going to go on the back of the turret, mate. It's just I couldn't be asked to turn the tank around. <laughs> I was being gluten so nursed that, I just couldn't be bastard. For the benefit of a fox. See that bit there? Oh yeah, that bit there. It, it's going to go from there up to the ah, boobie. Right, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Well, I can't see beyond that great big arm, but I get the idea. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Sort of something like that. There we go. That's just the best. But as you can I've... tell, I don't measure things. I just <laughs> build them. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's like orcs. me. I bought all that measuring stuff and I don't measure things either. It's orcs. You know, they don't measure things either. It is no. a bit insane though, isn't it? I've seen it from this angle now. And it's... Yeah, it is a bit mad. Yeah. But I like I like the fact that it's a bit mad because you know well, like you know like when you look at a word in a book, yeah, uh, long enough that the word suddenly stops making making any sense. Yeah, like if I was to, if you look at the word on a screen and then you repeat the word on the screen over and over and over and over, yeah. After a while, the word stops meaning anything that it's supposed to mean. Yeah, looking at that bane blade for a while, do you just find yourself in an alternative reality after a while? Yeah, I don't. To be honest with you, I'm like my God. My own mind is now terrifying me. <laughs> it's going to be think, something along them lines, mate. I think this is the pinnacle of your expression, of yeah. your expressionism. Your, your, the pinnacle of your own self-expression when it comes to constructivations yeah. and festularity. Something like that, mate. Oh, look at that. That's just the best thing ever. You like it, don't you? I like it. I still think it needs washing line. It needs like a... 
some flags, but I think I think it needs little flags. But I think one of the flags needs to be like a pair of bloomers or something. Yeah, it's got I don't to be know how you do of, yeah, that. Though. Yeah, it's got to be something, isn't there? I don't know how you do that, but you can do a lot of paper of... flags and stuff. But <laughs> pennants, you know, like little triangular pennants you get on yeah. ships. But one of them should be like a pair of kecks. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's just the best. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! You're just a you're just a beautiful human being, you know. I, I just <laughs> honestly don't know where my mind is at the moment with it. It's mad, but yeah. in a nice it's, way. Uh, nobody ever made anything glorious by measuring shit. So this is the sort of thing that Tony Fairclough would make, isn't it? Because he's a bit out of the box and all, isn't he? But yeah, but I, th I think you add a little bit to it by. I think Tony would have a bit of the. I want to do that, but I need to make sure I can paint it. Whereas you're just, I've just built it. I don't know how I'm going to paint it, but I just... no, I've not even got no idea yet how the hell I'm going to paint it. I really don't care. I just want to build it. Yeah. And then worry about that after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So maybe don't send it to me. <laughs> not that uh, particular one. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of them, isn't it? You know, you're going to sort of regret ever building it, but <laughs> I, I, I think I would be perfectly surprised if it just never got painted and it just became a thing that you fettle with every now and then. Yeah, and Lynn, she says, I think this is getting out of hand, but I love it. Yeah, but this is Orcs, Lynn, isn't it? Can the I whole just idea out, of it. Go but on. the thing is, in the time you've taken to do all that, I've literally built that. I mean, it's just, it's abysmal. It's just... Yeah, but you built something, <laughs> didn't you? I don't forget, I've done all these dudes as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It makes it worse. Thanks for that. <laughs> Oh, sorry, my I was trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No, in the time you built that entire tank, I've done like that sort of life. Yeah, done. So. yeah, I've done all them blokes and all, all of that. Lot I would there. have, I would have built more, but there's some like bloke distracting me with a massive, dirty, great bane blade. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit insane, isn't it? It is. It's just, it's glorious. I think just the word is glorious. It's what, it's what the word glorious was invented for. I. I hope people in the world, because I've not posted it in any Warhammer groups or anything, because I don't know any. So I hope it's appreciated by people. You know, oh, it's yeah, not me taking the mickey out of the genre. It's just me doing it my way. It's, At the end of the day, uh, you shouldn't give a crap what other people think. No, but you know what I mean? Do I'm it because you want to do it. Do it because there's no, there's no nonsense about respect. You, you don't have to respect but, it. It's just like, yeah. It's made up plastic nonsense. You'd have to be respectful. A bit mad, isn't it? Anyway, it's Orcs. So anybody that understands 40k and plays it would fully understand what it's all about anyway. Well, yeah, it's Orcs, isn't it? It's a thing, yeah. isn't it? It's Orcs. What can I anybody say? That, anybody that plays Orcs would be like, that's men. You know? But <laughs> it's just insane. Lynn Dipple says, Orcs. I do like this little dude. I think he really came out well. I'm pleasantly pleased with him. You know, he's got a bit of the old, yeah, you want some, but it's got all the gubbins on it and all. And See, that's a proper orc word, gubbins. Yeah, it's, you know. That literally is a proper orc word. Anything mechanical in the internal parts yeah. are just called gubbins. And it also does that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can just tell by how quiet you are that you're oh. going, I just want that in my room. I want Mama Fox to go, oh, look at that. I want to paint it, but not with the, with the <laughs> crow's nest on it. I don't want. I don't want. I want to paint it, but I don't want the challenge of painting the crow's nest. Yeah, but that's the challenge, isn't it? I, I mean, oh, yeah. it's just mental, isn't it? I mean, I'm looking at it now, wobbling like a wobbly thing. And it's like, <laughs> Fester, how the hell are you going to paint that? You wobble. <laughs> you're an idiot, but, but you're a marvelous idiot. I like. I like the challenge of it. It's like, yeah, it'll, I'll paint it. I've painted worse. <laughs> I don't know what, but I've painted worse. <laughs> I've painted worse. He tried to convince himself. It's just like I've got to try and po I've got to take a photograph of this to fill it up on the YouTube channel later, and that's going to be fun. Uh, so for me, it's more like to paint that dude in the crow's nest. Are you going to have to like stand up? Yeah. Oh no, you can take the turret off, can't you? See, so yeah, uh, I'll take yeah, the can... turret off. Yeah. But I'll just I've I've got loads of different like helping hands things because obviously, as you know. I twitch like a, a twitchy person, so I've got all kinds of little gubbins that I have cobbled together over the years to help with that I suppose sort you of can, thing. But... Yeah, it won't be that tall because you take the turret off and just have the turret on the Yeah, desk, so. I shall uh, just have a clamp that goes around the tube there so that I can just paint the dude, you know, with the turret 
flapping around underneath like yeah. a flappy thing. I mean, if but, the worst came, if the worst came to the worst, you could always separate the two halves of the, you know, cut all the lines, separate the two halves, and paint it yeah. like that, and then redo all the rigging and stuff because the rigging's easily removable. It's just super glued on. Absolutely, it, so. Edward Lennon so, says, "How the L with an H?" Absolutely, how the L with an H. So you could Pans you could break it apart and redo it. Oh yeah, Panzer say for the next year, six years, the late stream's going to be me painting it. Well, I'm actually painting it on a video series on my channel, mate. Yep. Um, I'll be using the Friday streams to do all the assembly and stuff. You yeah, know, you'll be probably doing be, like I do my Sunday streams, won't you? Yeah, probably the odd turret will come in, might get primed. I mean, I'll probably go t as far as the priming on the stream. Yeah. But the actual painting of it, I think, would be better for people if I did it as a series on the channel. I don't know what you think. But... Yeah, we absolutely should do it as a series because you want to capitalise on that. But trying to paint live on a live stream is a bind at the time at the end of the day. Yeah. No, um, absolutely. You should uh, you should film it because that's to be to be without sounding horribly mercenary. That's absolutely something you should film and not stream because streams streams are viewed when they're live, and after that they die on the vine. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything else uh, is brilliant and gets views forever, and that's something so unusual that you want it to be people watching it for a long time. Yeah, it's one of them. Minute, I think people will be intrigued to see how it gets painted as much as I will be. <laughs> yeah. Because I ain't got Scooby Doo, yeah. I'm looking at it thinking, I know the beauty of it for me is I know how far it strips down. Oh, yeah. It, it goes right away down just to the chassis with the tracks with nothing attached to it. So every component does come off. Oh, yeah. but you know, even that you gun. Film it. Even that gun, only that half is glued. This half is just rested on there because I need to pop that off to paint it and then pop it back on. So. Yeah. So no, absolutely, you should you should film it, not not stream it. Yeah, it's one of them. I think it'll make it easier for people if it's filmed because I can get up close and personal with a camera. Well, Whereas the thing at is the moment, I'm, you're only seeing it so far away. Sorry, to, mate. Be, to be perfectly frank, with something like that, if I'm going to watch the painting videos, I want to know how you're going to paint it. Just out of <laughs> the enjoy. No, I mean just out of the enjoyment mm. of watching you paint such a massive project. And if it's a live stream, people don't have the time every week to tune in. And if somebody misses it, they're not going to sit and watch it. Yeah. The, the thing with live streams is once a live stream's gone live and finished, I know this and you know this. People who don't do YouTube may not realise, but live streams, the moment that live stream finishes, you might get another five or ten views and that's it. Yeah, yeah. However many views you get when your live stream goes off air, that's it. That's how many live stream views you're going to get. That's oh, absolutely. You know, so, I mean... Live streams are fun, but they're not not really a money maker. Not, it's not going to be interesting to paint because I've not painted Warhammer. Yep. So it's all new to me. So I've got that experience to go for. But it's like I'm not going to try and do a textbook. This is how you do it because there's people that have been painting Warhammer for years. No, 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 no. Here's the thing, and I'm going to slap this into you. Yeah. I'm just when you paint, when way. you paint it, it's a model. Forget it's yep. Warhammer. Forget anything about anything that you think might need to be done or forget yeah. the idea that you can't tell people how to paint it it's it's a plastic model yeah it doesn't matter whether it's a warhammer or a revel or an airfix or a bow it doesn't matter it's it's just a plastic model yeah when you do a video you're telling people how you're painting it yeah absolutely you don't you don't have to be teaching them how to paint a warhammer forget that that's where you're going to get hung up on the on the i can't do this and i can't just yeah, I'm going to teach you how I'm going to paint this model. Yeah, that's it. And that's it. And that way, there's no, there's no, there's no uh, worries about is this the right way to do it? Doesn't Absolutely, matter. it's not it, textbook, is it? It's just yeah. a model that is different. Yeah, because right. there's no, there's no, there's no difference with a Warhammer kit. A Warhammer build model is no different to a Bandai kit or a Revell kit or an Airfix kit. I wonder what like Games it. Workshop would think. They'd be going, "Oh my God, look what this pillock's gone and done with our bane blade." Yeah. Well, when, if you if you tweet it and do the hashtag hashtag painting Warhammer, yeah, uh, it can sometimes appear on their website. Oh, but they yeah. don't sell that specific kit as that, as that, so they probably wouldn't put it anywhere. No, that's right. Yeah. But yeah, they'd, they'd probably love it because it's orc. Different, isn't it? You should. I think when you've painted it up, you should take those nice pictures and send it to White Dwarf and see if they publish it in the Reader's Build. Uh, Reader's Build. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Because it'll be epic. But yeah, who's no. gonna want to see my cruddy work? Let's be honest. Stop it! Don't make me come over there and kick your ass. We've had this conversation. <laughs> 
Seriously? Yeah, but that's that's the thing, and I know you you can get hung up on it sometimes. It's like there is no oh, yeah. painting it like what it's just a plastic model. It's just a tank. You know what I'm like. I'm my own biggest critic. I was have been, I was will be. Yeah, but you don't need to give yourself that specific hurdle because there no. is no hurdle to get to get hung up on. There's no there's no of course, I never did get any of that lot on it, did I? I've got loads of greebles left. Oh, don't put more. You need to add more. Add more. Add more. Yeah, so so did, what? So the plan is then what? That once this is done, it's just Sunday. Uh, this is your building time. Before I yeah, I, th I think... I mean, I think you're the same with yours, aren't you? You tend to do the building on the street. And then, like you say, the painting away from it. But I mean, my, probably my next one to go together will be the uh, Valkyrie, wouldn't it? Mm. Well, that, yeah, that's what I do on a on a on a Sunday. A to give myself stuff for Sundays, but also B uh, when I do video series now, I'm not going to show how to build a model. No, there's it's no like something point, special. is there? Yeah, there's no point because everyone knows how to build a kit. Yeah. Well, it's like you know, if you look at my old build series, half the half the video build series was how to how I was making it, and yeah. it's like I'm gluing shit together. Yeah, it's different if we're doing something for e models because oh, yeah. obviously it could be someone who's just getting into modelling and it's a, more of a tutorial, isn't it? Yeah, but... that that's the big difference. If it's an e models video, then yes, because you, you're showing a product that they sell, and yeah. therefore you want to show the construction of it uh... because you want to say what it's like. But yeah, if so, what I'm going to do from now on um, is. Uh, quite simply, I'm just going to, that's what I do on Sundays, I just get stuff built. Um, and then it's there ready and I've got storage boxes full of built kits yeah. that I can start to film. Because I don't want to paint stuff on a live stream because it's, it, it looks like garbage and nobody can see what you're doing. And uh, you're too busy yeah. streaming to pay attention to painting. So. I don't know, you can always guarantee when you're live you'll get a clog in your airbrush or something won't be 100%. And well, I'm lucky in that I can't stream. As I can't, well. I can't really stream and spray at the same time because the spray booth is just there. In the oh, I'm the lucky. The I'm with... Sorry, go on. Well, I was going to say, A, the camera's in the way. Um, but B, I could move the camera out of the way, but I'd have to turn the mic... We did it on the Christmas stream, on the E-Models Christmas stream. That's right, yeah. But I had to keep turning the microphone off, and I can't do that on a live stream. And also, if I was to move the camera around to spray for a bit, I'd have to adjust all the focus and change the edge. No, I don't, I don't spray. Yeah, I'm stream. pretty lucky because mine's quite modular, my bench, isn't it? You know, I mm. just drop my spray booth in and all the extractors underneath, and it oh, don't yeah. make that much noise. But dare I say, you know, when you're painting, your hands are in the way of what, you know, you, filming it's easier than it is doing it live. Yeah, I mean... I mean, simply for that, I have streamed painting. I, that, that chimera that Dad and everybody got me, mm. I painted that. But I know full well that when you're doing a live stream, you, 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 half your attention is on the fact that you're doing a live stream. You, you're worrying about, you know, keeping people watching interested, talking to people in chat, stuff like that. If I'm painting, I want my entire attention to be on I'm painting. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Lynn, I think Lynn's telling me off there. Here we go. Go on. What's she saying? Uh, Festa, she says, I've never seen any cruddy work from you. Uh, yep. Um, Pans is saying, in years to come, orc vehicles will be modified and we'll no doubt see the Festa effect. Yes. Yeah. Edward's saying, paint it how you want. It's your model. Absolutely. Yep. It's getting out of that mindset of there's something different about it compared to other models. There's getting out of the mindset of, I have to paint it a certain way because it's Warhammer. No? Well, yeah. I mean, you know what I was chatting about off air, wasn't it? Mm. Was, you know, the certain paints to achieve certain results. You know, I look, say, for instance, I'll use your WAS bomb as an example. Oh, yeah. You know, your exhaust pipes, you've got like different metallic effects, haven't you? You've got brasses and golds or whatever. Yeah. And that's the type of paint effect that I'm looking to achieve in some places. So I just needed to know what the paints were to achieve that. That's what I was on about. I mean, quite I mean, the answer to that is acrylics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, but I, I, I would push you towards Games Workshop paints just purely because they're really nice. Yeah. But if you've got the, the, the similar colours already in different brands, it doesn't matter. But Oh, no. But it, again, is one of those, you know. Uh, I think I might have said it to yourself or I said it to Dad. If this Bane blade was on your bench, mm, what, what paint would you, would you choose to paint yeah. it with? 
I mean, I, yeah, because that's just that's just a good way of saying if if you if I wanted to look like this, how would you do it? Absolutely, then you're just, you're that's just all asking, I'm on about. Yeah, yeah, you're just asking for a painting guide, which is which is fine. Yeah, but the big concern for me was you're like, I want to paint it correctly because it's Warhammer and it's a certain way of doing it. It's like no, there's oh, no certain way. Oh no, of doing it. it's it's just. I, you know, if, if you had this now naked in primer sat on your bench, one, you'd have a trouser tent to die for. Which oh, I'd have to go and have a fiddle for at least 20 minutes. before. Totally different conversation, it. and your prescription would be wrong on your glasses afterwards. And we, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, all joking aside, it's that, well, what would be your colour palette? What would you go for? What would you want? Yeah. And that's the information that I'm lacking yeah. because this is my first one. So. Yeah. Well, again, it's again i would say it's your first warhammer but it's not your first tank oh no just, but... just paint it like one of your french girls paint it like one of your french tanks yeah but, but i know i know i know what you mean in there so yeah we, we will sit down and go through some colors and stuff yeah you know there's different shades and blends and all of that lot that you use on these to achieve that result and that's what i i don't know because i've not painted them yet so mm. look at the shade you learned here uh, of course we've then got coming soon are you digging in a box somewhere you've gone i am okay i can tell of course we got that <gasps> bad boy have you had a look in the box on that yet have you opened it up and gone moist you want me to open my box open your box you might have to move that entire semi-detached off your bench there first <laughs> <laughs> oh so so i might actually start the build up of this next week oh why have you finished are you effectively finished building the main blade now then I'll need to pause, I think. Do you need a wee? I've got all my dudes. Sorry, mate, I need to just sit back down there because I'm too far away from my microphone. I've got all my dudes to go on it and all of that gubbins. Mm. But it's, oh, let's just move that out of the way. But it's knowing then how far I can go with adding things before I then need to strip it right away back down ready for paint. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's literally no no end to the amount of shit you could do to that. You could just carry on for. Oh yeah, because I've got dudes that are going to go in the baskets. They're all built, so I'm going to yeah. paint them off the model. So I'm kind of at that. You've got all the, elast <clears throat> the elastic trickery and stuff to do yet. Yeah, I've got the most. I've got most of the construction done. For me, it's what I would call lipstick and mascara, which yeah. is adding the dudes on <clears throat> once they're done. There's a few dudes to go. There's a few dudes to go in sort of these little areas. There's some dudes to go in the back cubby hole. So yeah. I'm at that stage. I've got to make the dudes that are coming out the turret yet as well. I've got to print mm -hmm. them off. Well, there's still loads to do. But... So there's bits and bobs. So I'll do some printing this week and probably add them in next week. But all in all, there's not a lot more I can add to it now. No. Are you going to do the electrics in your video series? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, that'll all be part of the video series and that. So I think uh, just because it's something so epic, you wouldn't want to waste it on live streams once once it's for the building. No, for the rest all of it. the all the electronics, right down to laying out the circuit, how I'm going to make it, all the coding for the Arduino stuff, that'll all go out on video. Mm -hmm. uh, Good, because that's that's the know, money so. maker. Uh, Roadkill is back. Hello, mate. How you doing? Welcome back, Roadkill. Because it welcomes uh, you back to the stream. Yeah, I could probably add the 3D uh, tank, oh, tank commander and all of that lot, but there's not a lot else now that can be added to it because it's all got to be broken down to paint. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Can you think of anything else you want to add? I've got to build, obviously. Well, Lynn, uh, Lynn in chat says you should have a... She says squid, but I think she means squig. You should have a squid climbing up the ladder to the crow's nest. Yes, there are going to be several squigs added in various there are many squigs places. to come. There's going to be some baggage of squidage. So, yeah, I could actually uh, design that, couldn't I? And probably attach them. But yeah. Have a squig. Yeah, I like the idea of a squid going up the uh, up the ladder. That'd be quite cool. Yeah, because we've also got, obviously, the surprise one to be uh, added and built. Yeah. So there's not a lot more I can add to that, is there, mate? No, apart from, like you say, the tits and lips i suppose the little figures yeah, and, stuff. Stick and, mascara. and some of that of course might be you want to keep it separate anyway for painting so yes well this is it the dudes and that are all going to be um kept separate yeah well apart Paint from all then. the hundreds of them you put on there already 
yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Episode one's going to be the sound of Fester going, oh my God, how am I going to paint this? Yeah. Day 738 in the Fester house. Fester is still painting the fucking Beyblade. <laughs> Isn't it? Episode oh, fifty. I had, this. I had this when I started doing me um, death race commission for James. Yeah, you know, and uh, he said, "Oh, would you be able to recreate it?" I said, "How far do you want me to go with it?" He said, "Just go with it." And I went, "That's all I needed to hear." Yep. And yeah, you know, that's that's nearly finished now, and he'll he'll be happy as an og in slop. And uh, Roadkill Films, bless him, he's in the chat there. He sent me some concept art for a couple of more. And I'm like, I've got to source a kit and build that, you know. So I'll build it, I'll build it. And, you know, you never know, Roadkill, mate. It could end up wheedling its way in your direction, mate. Weedle, weedle, weedle. It's your concept art at the end of the day, mate. So. Mm. I was going to say something then that it's gone. Uh, uh, let's. Uh, Move these bits. Oh yeah, it'd be like I can imagine it being like episode fifty-two, painting the sponson. Episode fifty-three, painting the sponson. Episode fifty-four, <laughs> painting the sponson. Yeah, episode fifty-eight. I am still painting this damn sponson. Episode fifty-nine. How many goddamn sponsons did I build? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is slightly mad, isn't it, mate? Yeah. I do like that. I don't know. You're a nutter. That bloke's a nutter. Boy, nah. He says he's a nutter. Boy, see, but nah. it does strip, does strip down well. Aye. It still There's looks neat even without all the other stuff on it. Oh, yeah. It's just it's, I keep those insane. inside at the moment. So but you I know don't... what? It's a great storage box as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I don't want to break all my printed stuff, do I? So, no. Yeah. I've got the same in my, inside my Bane Blade. I've got the little uh, sponsor turrets and stuff. Because yeah, it's just all, all ready to be uh, assembled right now, so and yeah. it's painted. So uh, yeah, it does go together in the end quite well. Mm. But the good thing is, if it's going to be another lifetime before you get around to painting yours, I can get mine done. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to start painting it until after my surgery because <laughs> I should have been going under the knife Monday, but uh, for various reasons, I've postponed it because. My wife's having her surgery on her on her, both her hands. And oh yeah, wait, is that this week? Uh, the next week? Uh, next week, yeah. So obviously Helen been my carer. It's yeah, and they phoned me up and said we can get you in Monday and do your operation. I went, no, nah, it's too close to the wife's. So. No. Are you gonna have to get somebody in while she's having her hands rested? You have a get a little lady to come and look after. Uh, you? My oldest boy lives here. Yeah, he's not gonna care. He, he, he's a, he's, no, a, he's, he's a lad. He'll be like, no. <laughs> yeah, no, how, he, how old is he? Uh, it's twenty-seven, mate. Oh, that's, I thought you were going to say like a teenager or something. In which case, no, you'd never get. No, my boys are uh, twenty-five and twenty-seven, mate. I that's am that right. old. Wow, you're old, dude. Yeah, I'm fifty-four, mate. Wow, that's really old. He says, yeah, only yeah. being four years younger, shut up. Positively a fossil, mate. But no, it's <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. So yeah, this will be the next bad boy on the bench, then, will it? What can Let's we do with this? Valkyrie. You can go full screen if you want to. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just gonna because I've not put up, I've not done my Valkyrie yet. Oh, we haven't yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. It's in the big pile of shit I haven't done yet. <laughs> get, let's get rid of that. It's in the big pile of stuff I wanted to do when I bought it, and then I just got sidetracked by all the other shinies. So you want to, you want to see obviously the box. I want to, up, I, want, I want to get I want vicarious plastic porn. You want the whole experience, don't you? Oh, blah, 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 blah. I love the way they give you the clear plastic canopy and then a separate canopy frame. I don't know why they've done that, but it's yeah. genius. It's brilliant, though, isn't it? Because masking yeah. that would be a bind, wouldn't it? Everything else they've got with the cockpit on it, um, you have to paint the... It's, it's, actually, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll tell you what. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Are you able to surf an internet while you're doing this stream? Oh, uh, yeah, I've got another screen there. Do you, want me to, do you want me to torture you with something else you might like? Yeah, go on. You know which website to go to? Uh, Forge World? No. Or Games, Games Workshop. Workshop. Yeah. <laughs> bad. I know. I'm just, th just thinking of canopies. The, the canopy on this... It, for, uh, Games Workshop canopies are brilliant because they're so... The frames are so sticky out Yeah. because it's Games Workshop that they're an absolute doddle to mask. What am I typing? Uh, Stormfang. 
or Storm Wolf, Storm Fang. It might be Storm Fang. Storm Fang dropship. Storm Fang did not match any products. Okay. Uh, try Storm Wolf. Is it? Storm Speeder, Storm Speeder, Land Speeder, Storm Sports, Storm Speeder, Thunder Strike. Uh, let's share the screen. Oh, share that and then add Fox back. There you go. That's what I'm showing at the moment, Storm Speeder. Do, uh, do it at one, as one word, Storm Fang. Why is it not? Storm Fang. There you go. There you go. <gasps> oh. Click it, click it, click it. Click it. Holy. Click it. Oh. That's an example of a, of a good cockpit. You can also have the version where that gun's covered over and it's just a drop ship without the gun on the front. You've done this to me on purpose now, haven't you? You I know have what's going to happen. May, I may have accidentally told you to go and look at this. <laughs> uh, there's, yeah. there's that one or the Storm Wolf, but they're both, you get both in the same kit. You can make one or the other. The Storm Damn Wolf you. is the one I made. If you look at, if you do a search for Storm Wolf, it should show you the other one. But they, they do this with their kits. You can build, you can build either of them in the same one, in the same kit. There you go. That's the Storm Wolf. It's exactly the same kit. You just get bits for both. But on that one, that bit at the front, the, the sort of the drawer at the front that actually opens and there's a full interior. Because <gasps> it's a troop carrier. It's a cargo. It's a, a troop transport. So it's got proper flappy doorage. It's oh. got a flappy door. It's got fully modelled interior. It's got an engine in there that you can see the engine head. And you could light it. You could put a little light in there. Oh, you're... You've done it to me again, didn't you? Oh, look, here's a pot. And let me put this spoon in and just... just you're just, evil. You know what's do, happened. Do, do. <laughs> I, I can't help showing you things that I think you might like. I'll tell you something, I like that. Yeah, come off the Games Workshop website, Cole. You know it makes sense. But do you know the funniest thing about that Stormfan gunship? What's that? It's it's Space Wolf. It's a Space Wolves vehicle. And keeping in mind that everything about Space Wolves is wolf. Yeah. It took me about a week of building it to realise, oh, it's the shape of a wolf head. That's why it's a stupid shape. <laughs> oh no you because i'm building this thing and i'm like it's like i suddenly realized the bit on the top is like it's like a dog's nose oh it's it's meant to look like a wolf's head that's <laughs> oh yeah what i just missed the like? most obvious thing about it what are you like oh you want me to go full screen again don't you because i've got the valkyrie on the bench oh yeah i'm looking at this oh I'll, I'll look at the i'll do the chat dolly for you hang on oh, look at that oh. uh i need i need to make you angry because yeah, common road junk archie's just said oh lord i'm 20 next year I've got but I've got a pair of nippers older than you on me bench there, mate. I said, really? I've got. Do you know? I I I I don't even think twenty is a real number. Twenty. God, if only I could uh, go back and visit my twenty-year-old self. Mayhem says, "Fox, you're a horror." He is. Fox is instigating. Col Fox is instigating Colin as, again. Says Edward. Mm. Colin's wallet is begging for mercy, and Colin can't hear the poor thing. Yeah. Fox had enough rubber on his wrist to be borderline. Yes, this is my this is my um, my Warhammer bracers of eminent uh, Warhammering. Go on, anyway. Let's have a look at your plastic paw. Oh yeah, he. Uh, old Iron Man says he's thirty. Laugh out loud, bless you. Yeah. But this is the trouble. See, I'm desperately trying to avoid being dragged down the Warhammer hole. But and a then certain person. And then there's me. Keeps telling me new things to have a look at, and he knows what I'm like. Um, well, the thing oh. is, one half of Colin's brain is saying, don't listen to Fox. Don't let him drag you down. The other half saying, should we get Fox on a live stream? Yeah. And the other the half other side's going, oh, curious sake. and yeah. saying, well, he's got a point, you know. But, oh, look at Edward that. says he needs to learn not to listen to him because he has a sickness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't that. like that. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at, oh. <laughs> ribbit, you see ribbit. that bit on the right hand side there, that bit of nose cone? Yeah. Do you know what I love about that? Those little bits on the side, just where your right thumb is. Space Invaders? No. Foot plates to stand on when you're getting in and out. Oh. oh. Totally pointless detail, but they put them on there. Yeah, but they're on there. I know. How good is that? 
I'm sitting there looking at it thinking, right, am I going to orc it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's not even go down that road. I don't really know if you can, to be honest. But I can't go too mad because it'd never get off the ground. But then, never say never with me. It's it? org. If they believe it can fly, it can fly. Oh, oh look at that! Oh. <laughs> I don't even. I don't. I don't know. I mean, if you, I don't even know if you want to walk on that. I know That's flappularity. So I don't even know if you want to walk it. Big bombage. Yeah. No, I think the paint job itself would be enough, wouldn't it? I don't know because the orcs would do something to it, but. I would say if you had a set of spare wings, make it into like a big giant biplane or something. But <laughs> yeah, does this does this mean that I'm doing something subtle? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're mocking me now. <gasps> Look at all of this lot. Oh yeah. Look at all the potential for putting lights inside there. Drill oh, out all those light light those light shapes on the roof. That's where your yeah. th thumb is, and put little bulbs in there. Little tiny LEDs, those little round things are wrapped yeah. up over the lights. So, oh yeah, some nice warm LEDs in there. Yeah. All, all that interior detail you need to paint before you assemble it. Ah, right. Yeah, don't do what we I did on a bane blade then. Yeah, yeah. I would say with that one, um, the thing to keep in mind is uh, all the detail on the inside that you're not going to be able to get to once you build it all. Hmm. Uh, and if you want. Because there's two, there's you can see on those those side panels where your left hand is. Yeah, that's the big door on each side. Oh right, yeah. Out of which is an overhead mounted like big massive heavy gun that the yeah. guy can stand there and man like on the side of a helicopter. You know the guy with the fifty. Oh yeah, right, yeah. Um, you can't install that once the roof is on. Oh, okay. So you'd have to. How, whatever guy you have on it, if you want those mounted guns with the door open, you have to make sure you've painted the interior and painted all them and installed them all before you put the roof on. So you might want to try, like, magnetising the roof so you can have it yeah. off. Yeah, can you magnetise it? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I've seen people paint the side walls and the and the ceiling, and the, well, I've seen people paint the side walls and then assemble the the like the the big pod bit in the middle. Yeah. Uh, and if you keep the roof off, once you've painted the sidewalls, you can then do the weathering once it's all assembled into a big box. It's yeah. a box of wings. Probably look at, look at magnetising it, probably be the way to go, wouldn't it? Yeah, but there does seem to be no real way to get the, the, the mounted gunners in there once you've assembled the roof in place. Not without mm. a lot of messing around. So if you are going to have, if you can, because you've got like two dudes working the guns, but you could replace them with orcs if you're going to whatever you're doing. Yeah. So. Can you magnetise the actual guns in place? Uh, no, because it's like it's like a it's like a rig that hangs from the ceiling. Right, I'm with you. And yeah. the gun is kind of on it. It's like a little, like a little. Yeah, I've just seen it. Yeah, it's yeah. like like a boom arm, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can't really mm. do a lot with it. I think you can have two of them, one on either side. So it's, yeah. with that one, I would say plan ahead with your detail painting. Just whatever yeah. you're going to do to it, because once that roof goes on, you're clagged. I I think you can make the whole roof removable so you can just lift it on and off, but I don't know. I've not built mine yet, so. Because yeah. that roof, I think that roof piece goes into the upper hole, the top of the hole, and you can, where the entrance go, and I think you can pop that one off. So you might yeah. have to do some... There's scope thinking. for magnetising, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But there's a lot of potential there. Oh, bloody hell, yeah. I'm, I think when I do mine, I'll obviously do it in kind of death core colours. But the bit I'm most looking forward to is painting the pilots. I don't know why. They look mint with the little sort of masks and... <coughs> oh, Panzer's yeah, off. nicely detailed, didn't they? Yeah, oh, pan Panzer's, Panzer's off. Uh, uh, yeah, no worries, mate. We're only on for another 15 tops anyway, mate. Roadkill, Roadkill says in quotations, look at the flaps on that. Absolutely, yeah. Paul Di Tommaso says he purchased the Valkyrie last year. Oh, did you? Oh, good man. Uh... Colin, do something subtle and then lots of laughing, says Lynn. Uh, yeah, Panzer says, time to head back to work. Everyone take care and stay safe. Take care, buddy. Take care, Panzer. Yeah, I did, say say that. I did say subtle, Lynn. <laughs> Everybody say night. Oh, look at that completely blank page at the end of the instructions. Yeah, what's that all about? Uh, they printed too many pages. <laughs> yeah, is that me uh, festival ideas to orc the boat? Yeah. That could be all your little diagrams. Uh, Archie's off. I'm going to go and try to sleep again. Night all. Yeah, no worries, Archie. Take care, buddy. Yeah. Edward says Fox's resume needs to be sent to Games Workshop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jamie Bone is in, I didn't realise, and says, Colin, has it got a tit on it? 
absolutely, Jamie. It certainly has, mate. It's got a big tit on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, big tit built it. <laughs> so you can switch the armor for your diorama. Yeah. Uh, uh, Roadkill says, Colin, I have an idea on how you could do armor for your models, Warhammer and Death Race. Make two versions of armor panels, one with damage and bullet holes and one without. Good shout. I assume then you can magnetize them and swap them around. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good shout, mate. Yeah, that's going to be the nuts. I'm going to enjoy building that. Yeah, I'm not sure why they've done that frame around the canopy, though. I mean, I know it's an older model than say that. The reason I showed you that storm fang was purely because the canopy on that, it's it's one yeah. piece of clear plastic, but it's so beautifully sculpted. And the, the canopy frame sticks out so much that masking it is an absolute doggle. So I'm yeah, wondering yeah, yeah. if that I'm wondering if the Valkyrie was before they had the full know how of how to make good clear parts, maybe? Uh it could quite, have been. I mean kit. this is twenty fourteen. It's uh, uh, it's actually older than that. I think it's that's just the Yeah, this looks like a, probably a more a recent rebox. Yeah, because it's um, that been around for more than I'm sure it's been around for longer than twenty fourteen that. Yeah. I could be yeah, wrong. I'm just going by the date that's on the box there. I thought it was more like mid two thousands. Yeah, probably right games workshop. Yeah. yeah. Functional pointed components. Mm. Pointed components. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. But yeah, I suppose I could add some sort of badges and, and gubbins on there. But I don't know. I, I I really don't know how you could what you could. I don't know how you could occupy that up. You'd have to do a, have a look online and see what other people have done and still. I mean, uh, go from their ideas. Yeah, there's got to be there's got to be something in there. I mean, I suppose orcs might put like I don't know something between those engines, like a, a yeah a massive engine or a, another cockpit or a, another. I don't know. I know. It's a, what would they do to it? I don't know. I really don't know what what you do to that to orcify it. To be perfectly frank, a uh, basket load of squigs, perhaps hanging between. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A squig dropper. Squig dropper, that's such a bloke name, probably right? bloke, probably one of them blokes with a big grabby thing just dropping squigs on the enemy. Squig. <laughs> what like World War One bombers where these just, just <laughs> yeah. the bloke in the second seat of the biplane will just throw a bomb out. Be like the squig busters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if everybody knows that, but <clears throat> in the early days of World War One when planes were new, and biplanes would often have like a pilot and a co-pilot. The co-pilot, if it wanted to be do bombing, they'd literally have um, they'd literally sit in the back of the biplane in the seat and they would have either small grenades or small handheld bombs and they would literally lean out of the cockpit and just throw them over the side. <laughs> Sounds about right. That was, that was the birth of the airborne bomber. It was literally the, the co-pilot leaning out and cobbing a grenade out of the back of a biplane. <laughs> Sounds like a thing to do, doesn't it? Mm. Do -do 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 -do. Roadkill says, I suppose the magnets would have to be really thin or placed within the base car shell a panel so the armour doesn't look a little bloated. I would say you place a big, massive, fob-off strong magnet inside the car where you can't see it. Yeah. And on the panel, you have a very thin sheet of magnetic metal. Yeah, mag tape or something like that. Yeah, so literally there's almost nothing on the panel but the big flip-off magnets on the inside. Yeah, there would be ways and means of achieving it, wouldn't there? Yeah. iPad's gone to sleep. Pew. Yeah, even I've got a thing on there. It says, oh, yeah. Have you got you a tell on it? No, there's an app that uh, stops the screen turning off. And it's like, yeah, it doesn't work. The screen also is it, is it not an iPad? No, it's an oh. Android app. It's a what, sorry? Android. Oh, right. I've just got I've just got a setting on the app on the iPad that just says, don't lock the screen ever. Yeah, yeah. It's got that, but it just switches it off. Yeah, there's probably another setting in there somewhere. There'll just be like a really obvious setting in like, don't turn it off setting. <laughs> yeah. See and that one like, that oh. says, oh, don't turn off the screen. Don't put it to sleep. Yeah, yeah they're like, oh, one. yeah, I didn't spot that. I glued that hand on. Oh, did you? Oh, good man. Let's have a look. It's like, there you go. It's like, la, la, la. you can't really see it, but it's like done now. It looks a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, on, no, that's... Um, so when you stick it on the side, not that my 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 thing is really worth looking at compared to your insanity, but so when you stick it on the side, that it can be going. I have the power now. I can destroy you all. Are you happy with it? No, because it's not a big flop off bane blade. 
Are you because it like doesn't matter what I'm building right now. It's just dribble compared to what your output is. So. Of course it matters what you're building, mate. Nah, Always matters. It's just nonsense. <laughs> it's, I may as well just be like just pushing a pee around a plate. And call oh, it don't, don't, don't be like that. Don't be like that. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm just going to switch back to uh, face cam, being that there's nothing going on my bench now. Hmm. Uh, Mayhem says, I don't quite know what he means. Uh, the early novels, Space Wolf novels, they infiltrate an orc stronghold and they get challenged to a race by other orcs and they get quite creative with their gestures. Oh, right. I, I don't know what that means. By their gestures. Yeah, Rokil saying there. Uh, did you read Rokil's, the building in the interior, <clears throat> detail and such? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Andy saying gives Fox the mitten of goodness. Shut up your spoon. Absolutely. He, he tells me off for knocking myself and then goes and does it himself. It's like, dude, you should be happy with what you build. I'm going to do some arm glueage. Before we, before uh, we enter the armor evening, for your diorama, I like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Roadkill Films is saying bye bye there. See you later, mate. So, Bye. Might have been saying good night to Panza there. Night Panza, uh, I think mate. So, yes. uh, Edward says death race with an H. Absolutely, mate. But that was another build where I was just given carte blanche by the, the, the fella that's commissioned it. He said, no, just do what you like, mate. Sat and watched the film, and it's like, yeah, okay. I found him a donor kit. It's like, yeah, I'll build that. I've never seen this film of which you speak. Yeah. Uh, what's he saying there? Interesting interior detail of the XJS. There's black and yellow caution tape around the gun triggers. Oh, good man. Good man. Need to ping us a PM with what guns they are as well so I can try and render up a, a printable uh, guns that actually look like the, the ones in the concept art. Man, it's got to be done, mate. It's another project that I can get my teeth into. Edward Leonard says, my hand looks like an arthritic hand. It does have that kind of claw-like, yeah, yeah. look to it. Ah, M2 Browning's happy days, mate. That's the info I needed. Cheers, geese. M2 Browning. What's that? What are we talking about? I've lost track of the conversation. Oh, it's a piece of, piece of concept art that uh, Roadkill sent me for some death race cars. Oh, right. You know, sort of futuristic sort of uh, stuff with big gunnage and... Uh, Basically, orked motors, best way oh, of yeah. describing it. And uh, he's got a couple of 50 cows that go on the bonnet, that sort of thing, you know. Oh, so. yeah, 50 cows. Doom, 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 doom. So uh, he sent me some concept art, said, what do I think? And it's like, oh, if I could get a kit, I'll build one of them. So it makes me laugh when you see a film like that and they have 50 cows that go, Brrr, and it's like, no, that's that's not what 50 cows do. No. 50 cows are like, dum, 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 dum. They're not, yeah. they're not, they're not fast firing. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, yeah, you won't have your eyes so close to it, mate. Not with a recoil. Iron Man yeah. says he's off to sort my son out as he's awake again. Bless him. Not his Aww. fault. Then I'm off to bed. Great show tonight, Cole Fox and Dad. See you all Sunday. But at Absolutely, least, they're, at least they're all Man. warm now. At least they're all warm now. Oh, yeah. I used to love, I'd used to love it when my boys were little babes, like if they was teething, because I'd just go out for a night drive with them if they were struggling to get to bed. They'd mm. be asleep until the sun got back. <laughs> Bless them. I, I am the least fatherly man you can imagine. I had no interest in children at all, ever. And I'm like, oh, mate, good, I that, I know, good that I never have kids, because I just, no. <laughs> That's the thing, I miss it terrible, because like I say, they're in their late 20s now, and I enjoyed that sort of uh, baby stage and, and, and sort of nursing, you know what I mean? And just Colin, you're of, still at the baby stage. Oh, you mean them, not you? Yeah, but, yeah, I'm 12 <laughs> and a half, but no, just sort of raising me kids up right up until they left school, you know, I miss, kind of miss them times, you know, yeah. that. especially yeah, if I... they fell over at themselves, they'd come to you for an hug and all of that, and you go, that's all right, mate, you know. I've never had the paternal instinct at all. I'm like the least paternally instinctive person ever. It's just, I, I would not be a good parent. Yeah. I'm far too selfish, if for no other reason. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. No idea, Roadkill, to be honest with you, mate. He's asking me, how much do you reckon you'd charge for the XJS if you sold it? No idea, mate. A lot of it depends on what I 
I sourced the kits for. Um, I mean, I, I had the one that I did for James shipped over from America because he wanted the specific car and you couldn't get them in the UK. So it was like 60 quid plus 30 quid just to get it shipped over, mate. Mm. So, yeah, you know. I, I always like to say, if people say, how much would it cost to, I always say, uh, number of hours times minimum yeah. wage as a yeah. starting point. Yeah. Right, and a minimum wage eight quid an hour. So eight yeah. pound an hour. So I always say minimum minimum wage times number of hours. That's the starting point. Yeah, it's, so it's it takes tough me a hundred... one to put a, a price on. Sorry, mate. Go on. I was going to say so. So if a kit takes me a hundred hours to build, that's eight hundred pounds at least. Mm. And people go, oh, and you go, yeah, that's why I don't. When they say, uh, yeah, people used to say, can you build me this kit? But can I pay you very little for it? And I'd be like, how about no? <laughs> it's like can you build me this kit that'll be 300 quid but it's only a 25 pound kit yeah but it's only 40 hours work how about you pay me yeah. for that yeah it's, it's a tough one you know because like you say you've got your 3d printing stuff consumables all of that you can't just put a ballpark figure on it but um no you, re you really have to just be like how many hours do you think it will take times a, a set amount and I, I used to just go off minimum wage Oh, blimey, yeah, when I look how many hours I've put into that Death Race Mustang, you know what I mean? It's, you know, and I did that for a patronage, you know, I just said, uh, just give us yeah. a patron, mate, that'll cover it, you know, and it, it's, for me, I tend to like to break even at least, and but that's, it's, that's, that's a, scary a tough thing. one, because not charging for your kits, you don't know how far, like you've said just now with minimum wage per hour and i've never really done that but that's the mind-blowing thing if you you know if you the way you have to think about it is if you build and paint a kit and it takes you 100 hours mm. and you sell it for 100 pounds you're basically working for a pound an hour which is yeah that's not even third world country pay level mm. so mm. people's I, I used to when i was first starting out there was one guy who was making similar models to me and he was charging almost nothing for his bills and i'm like He's killing how he's killing other people starting out. Yeah. Because the people will just say, Well, he charges this, and I'm saying, Yeah, he's charged like two pounds an hour. He's an yeah. idiot. So well, it's a bit like that. Bane blade, isn't it? Time that's painted and all of that. Like it's just, just a one off, isn't it? It's like mm -hmm. you don't well, that's know. That's the thing. That's the thing. I mean, as, a, as a starting point, you have to start from at least minimum wage times number of hours. Yeah, it's it is difficult, mate. And then you add on to that. Is it unique? How popular am I? How likely, you know, how how influential is, is me as a brand? And you have to add on all the other stuff like that. So yeah, Iron Man. So no, it's one of his conditions. Bless him. He wakes up every half hour on a bad night. It can be fun. Yeah. But he's oh bless. I'm so sorry to hear that, mate. Well, like I say, give him a big hug from all of us. Yeah. Edward says I'd put whiskey on their gums and then would drink the rest of it. I loved it. Yeah, I used to put a bit of the old navy rum on their on their gums. Navy basically. rum. Lynn says she's the same weight the fox. Uh, Paul Lines is saying I used to love it with my daughter when she was teething as well. I used to go downstairs, watch a film, give the missus a break from me snoring as well. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I used to have one one of me lads would be in the baby carrier on the front, the other one would be sat on me shoulders, you know, and I'd just walk around for hours with them, you know. It's. Yeah, I miss that if I'm honest, but you know, it's, they turned just, into really decent blokes, so I'm proud of them, you know. I've just really never had the paternal instinct at all. It just, at, in any way, I have, I have no great liking of children. I'm just like, eh, it's just not. I, I just, I'm just completely not. I just the way I am. I, I can't change it. Just... Yeah, I, I, it's funny. I, I didn't know when whether i'd be a good parent or not without going into detail i had a very volatile upbringing and i didn't want to be the same if that makes yeah. sense you know and yeah you so i always shied away from being a parent because i didn't know whether i had that type of behavior in me you know what yeah. i mean yeah that makes sense. very violent upbringing and i always made it a thing of if i did have kids that they wouldn't have to go through that you know, but uh, when I look at my boys, how they turned out, they are they're decent blokes, mate. They're lovely fellas, and yeah. I'm glad I broke the mould. Yeah. You wouldn't think they was my boys because you know they're so well spoken. 
Well, they've got a, a bit of a fashion accent, don't get me wrong, but I'd make... And they're like, hello, Father, that. I'm going to work now. Please have my dinner yeah, when they don't to. brutalise the English language like their old man does, you know. <laughs> well, each, each generation learns from the past what not to do. You, learn, you learn not to be violent, they learn to be... Uh, absolutely, you know, and it, it shocks them when they hear about it, but and it surprises them as well as to how placid and laid-back I am considering that. You know, yeah. But, but yeah, Roadkill says he'd probably charge for the kit price, and if he needs to purchase things for the build, I'd add that on as well. Yeah, he's saving up for his own death race build, and if someone wanted to buy it, depending on the quality, I'd probably charge 40 to 60. That's probably too cheap. It is too cheap, mate. Yeah, because th think about it if it takes you, if it takes you, uh, you know, if you sell it for $60 mm. and it takes you. Uh, you know 20 hours to do it that's three dollars an hour you're you're earning less from that than someone who works at mcdonald's mm. yeah you literally have to even even if you're not a well-known builder and you've got no prestige behind you and no brand and you've not got the cachet of saying i'm adam savage or you know sam lens or whoever mm. you can't you know like darren latham can sell a miniature and sell it for thousands of pounds because he's a qualified Mm. painter and he works for games workshop I, i'm nobody i can't you know we're nobodies so even if you're nobody you should still at the very least demand minimum wage for your work if you've spent 10 hours doing it take the minimum wage in your area and times it by 10 at the this very least go on. Okay, at the very least then you're being paid a reasonably at least you're being paid the same as someone who works at mcdonald's mm. or anywhere where they earn minimum wage so here in the uk it's about eight pounds something an hour so a 10 hour bill project will be 80 quid a hundred yeah. hour will be 800 pounds mm. and if, if somebody says that's too expensive then you say goodbye and you wait for somebody else to come because well, somebody will always pay a lot the price of that. stop commission work isn't it because <clears throat> it sounds an awful lot of money um but you you know but you look at that bane blade when it's done you know that's you're probably looking at at least an hundred hour paint job yeah it's like easy I could say to you, you know, um, you know, you wouldn't commission someone to do an oil painting uh, mm. and then expect to pay thirty dollars because it, yeah. if it, because because the paint costs five dollars and the canvas costs twenty dollars. Yeah. No, it could be hundreds of hours work. You, you, even if you're a nobody, you, the the thing you have to do, and this is one of the reasons, like you say, I gave up commission painting because it's a hard thing mm. to do is you have to say i want this much for this piece of work because a model is a work of art yeah uh, and just because someone doesn't understand how you've done it doesn't mean they know how much it's worth they don't know how much work has gone into it yeah and you have to get into the habit of saying i put x number of hours into this and therefore i want compensation for that and minimum wage will determine it's this much mm. and if they say well that's a bit too much you say well goodbye Somebody oh, yeah. because somebody will pay whatever you ask for if you wait and you're patient somebody will pay they'll recognize that it's a one-off piece of art yeah it's not just you're not just it's not a model kit with some paint on it. it's a one-off individual custom-made unique piece of art mm. and they might not know who you are but that doesn't mean they don't think that you, you know that you're working oh good. yeah i mean roadkill saying they're hearing it the first time like myself it is a shock because you don't expect that sort of price but yeah. now you're breaking it down it makes a lot of sense yeah and this is what happens i had a brilliant one where someone asked me to do a commission and i went yeah blah blah and i said what they wanted and i'd already looked up the cost of the kit and so i said yeah it's going to cost that for the kit the paint the, 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 the. and then you throw on top your labor and the shipping costs and they're like oh but but the kit's only that oh, i'd be cheaper if i bought it and did it myself i said well good luck with that then mate go and yeah. do it why that's are the you thing. Me messaging me and asking me to do it then? that's the thing it's one of the things that frustrated me, and again, one of the things that got me out of doing commission work, apart from it's too stressful, is the, the, the lack of, of, of comprehension of people that what they're paying for is not the kit and not the materials, although they are paying for it. They're paying for the, the craftsmanship and the work that yeah. goes into it. And a lot of them, if you if you went into a, uh, you know, if, if you went into a, a, a Japanese woodcutter's studio, mm and ask them how to make you a specific woodcut from scratch you would know 
that that's going to be hundreds and hundreds of hours of work and you're going to pay a lot of money for that. But because this is a plastic model kit, it's not seen as a craftsman project or anything like that. They just think you're slapping some paint on it. It's like, well, I could do that myself. Well, go on then, like Colin says. Yeah. Good luck with it. But at the end oh, of the day, yeah. you have to look at it. I look at it as no, I'm, I'm no different to any other craftsman. It's a handcrafted thing that mm. I'm, I'm doing with, with uh, abilities and talents and skills that I've developed mm. over many years, and I'm spending a long time doing it. Uh, and it may not be the best thing in the world, but it's still a unique handcrafted item. Uh, yeah. it's, it's literally a piece of art. And you're not paying for the kit. You're paying for the, the hours that have gone into doing it, plus the hours it's taken that person to become a, uh, not a master of their craft, but, you know, to become a practitioner of yeah. that craft. I could charge some chud on the street to do a Japanese woodblock print and they'd probably make just absolute nonsense, but they wouldn't charge much. Yeah. If I go to someone who's been doing it for 50 years, they're going to charge a lot more because they've been doing it for 50 years. Absolutely. So, yeah, you pay, you, you're paying for the, 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 the not, you're not paying for the quality of the, it sounds really weird, you're not paying for the quality of the thing you're buying. You're paying for the time it took to get that. Yeah. You're paying for the artist's time. And as an artist, if someone says, well, that's too expensive, I say, well, goodbye. It's like I'm you get people, they go, oh, how much would you sell me that for? You know, I mean, they see a build, don't they, on the, on your channel. Yeah. Oh, I saw that build. You know, would you ever sell it? Well, you know, I don't know. What would you ask for it? Of course, they're thinking the cost of the kit and about a fiver. And it's like, yeah, right. And I like <laughs> it. Uh, I mean... Those folks that know me know that I, I've got a full bodysuit tattoos. Um, it's the similar thing with that. You know, people could go, oh, I could get a tattoo for 20 quid off me mate down the corner there who does it in his garden shed. And it's like, yeah, you're going to get a two-dimensional lion that looks like a three-year-old draw it. Or you go to an artist and you get a work of art. Choice is yours. Yeah, exactly. You get what you pay for. And, and yeah, I and liken I that to commissions now. It's... And and that, that's the thing to keep in mind if you're an artist as well and you, you're worried about asking for the big money prices. That's why I say always use minimum wage as a starting point because it's easy to explain to someone why that's the starting point. If you yeah. if you just set a random, I think I'm important, therefore I'll charge you £50 an hour and it's 100 hours, so, you know, whatever, £5,000, they'll be like, what? No. But if I say I, I'll charge you minimum wage times the number of hours it took me to do it and they'll yeah. be like, okay, that, that will turn some people around. But... Yeah. You have to be able to say to people, no, I can't, that's my final offer. If you don't want to pay it, goodbye, I'll find somewhere else. Absolutely. You know, you, it's always amazing. You'll be surprised how often somebody will you'll say, how much is this thing that you've built? I've, like Colin says, I've built something and painted it. And people often say to me, can I buy that particular build? Mm -hmm. And you'd be surprised how often I say, yes, it will be this amount of money. And they go, oh, that's more than I thought. But okay. You'd be yeah. surprised how many people actually don't mind paying because they know it's a one-off yeah yeah no, and i don't mind that but it, it's, it is one of those isn't it sometimes with commissions where you get embarrassed at the price yeah you know someone will say oh blah 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 you know you you'll throw a ballpark figure and they go yeah okay and you're like God, that sound you do you do feel you're ripping off the customer, but you're not. Well that because... that's more that's more a, a question of self confidence and your own the way you see your own level of skill. Absolutely, it's Be the Britishness in it. Yeah, that's, that's what, I'm yeah, not that's... worth that much money, but if you if you take that real cold minimum wage plus, then you're not you're not throwing yeah. into that a question of skill or ability. Oh yeah, I freely admit, you know, I undercharged for a hell of a lot of my early commissions, yeah. you know. And but in the end it was my missy said, you know, do you do realise she said that you know, that works out at about 90 pence an hour, mate. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. If, if you just use minimum wage as a starting point, mm. you're removing any of that guilt and any of that sort of self-conscious, yeah. I'm not worth it, because yeah. you're literally saying, it's gonna. T I, I spent 20 hours doing it, therefore I would like 20 times the national minimum yeah. wage because I'm, I want to be paid at least as, as much as somebody at McDonald's, mm. please. And the problem nice, is as so. well is a lot of modellers come into the hobby and they first hear the words commission. And they think that they're going to be on a license to print money, don't they? And it's it's not like that. It can be a total ball ache. Oh, I, I would not recommend anyone do commission work ever, ever, yeah. because it is stressful, um, tense. It's nerve wracking. It's unhappy. It's reluctant. It's painting something you don't want to paint and build. Yeah. It's building something for the third time that you didn't enjoy the first two times. 
Uh, and the most important one is if it goes wrong, you have to buy the kit yourself out of your own money to start again. Yeah. Because you can't say to someone, hey, that commission bill you paid a non-refundable deposit, I might have broken it, so that's it, forget it. No. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Roadkill says, oh, not going to lie, he says, when I suggested it, it was out of curiosity of how you'd go about to build an outlook. I was worried you may have thought I was asking for a commission. He says, I hope that's not disappointed you. Not at all, mate. I wasn't even contemplating thinking that it was a commission. It's someone who sent me artwork and is probably curious as to whether or not it could be built and how I'd go about building it. And for me, I like the concept. I like the idea. And if it stimulates me in there, I'll just build it. If someone then wants to commission it, that's up to mm. them, mate. But for me, I get the buzz out of the build process as well. So it's yeah. it's in me brain, mate. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Claire is, um, Claire is a new person in chat. She says, hi, interesting conversation here for the first time on your late night show. Welcome, Claire. Absolutely. Uh, Claire is, um, am I right, Claire? You're from uh, International Scale Modeler Stream, love. Welcome, welcome. You're the one who wins the raffle every week, am I right? <laughs> uh, no, nice to have you on board, Claire. But yeah, it's not an issue, Roadkill, at the end of the day. It's not disappointed me at no. all. I like I like the idea that you've sent. I like the concept of it. And if I can source a kit, I'll sit and build it, mate. Yeah. You know? If and... if if he'd been if he'd been thinking about commissions for it, he would have had that conversation with you. And it would have been when you take someone on for a commission, if they're actually you know, good and proper and professional. Yeah. There'll be a whole chain of emails going back and forth with terms and conditions and prices. Absolutely, and mate. No, the commission word's not been raised until then, no. mate, and I wouldn't so have the, even contemplated it, mate. Yeah. He won't have even he won't have misunderstood you because like when I used to do commissions, they'd be like I'd be sending like six pages of terms and conditions before they even began to consider accepting the yeah. commission. So yeah, don't worry. You didn't start a process that you didn't yeah. start to Claire saying hello process. to Lynn. Uh, Edward, Edward Leonard says, I spent 40 hours on my dank Roth Trogoth, Age of Sigmar character. I don't know if I spelled it correctly, but $50 is not going to buy it. Absolutely. Nope. 40 hours times num minimum wage in your area. That's how much you should sell it for. Absolutely. You know, it's yeah. like Edward says, there's a problem with all of us. You need to add all the time involved, plus paint, expendables, expenses. Yeah. Absolutely, mate. Right down to the cost of your electric almost. But no, yeah. it's... I mean, you know, I'll, I'll I'll do a little bit of I'll do a little bit of uh, not something that commissioned artists normally do, but I will reveal some prices. And this is going back a few years, so it's not really relevant anymore. Yeah. But I did a I did a commission for the Millennium Falcon, Five Miles Millennium Falcon. Oh right, yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, that not point. the one that it's not one that I've ever posted about. It's a completely different one. But mm. uh, and that was a three hundred and fifty pound kit. And the commission for that was about 850 quid. Yeah. Excluding the cost of the kit. Yeah. Um, the guy bought, the, the guy paid for the kit uh, and had it shipped to me. So yeah. He paid for the kit himself. Uh, he paid for, obviously, the shipping of the kit to me, mm -hmm. which is fine. So that's 400 quid straight away in his expense. Uh, and then, of course, the commission, I estimated 100 hours. Yeah. And at the time, the minimum wage was about seven pound fifty. So I, mm. I was. This was still in, early in my career, so I was like, you know, I didn't mm. charge a lot. So, but I, I was like, so he paid like eight hundred quid plus the cost of the kit and shipping mm. it to me. And the cost, I did some extra cost materials, um, and mm. I basically said, normally I charge a deposit, but I said if you're paying for the kit and shipping it to me, then your deposit is you've just sent me a three hundred and fifty pound kit. Absolutely, yeah. And if you bail on it, I get to keep it and I can sell it to someone else. Mm. So he didn't pay a deposit because I had 350 quid worth of plastic yeah. of his to play with. So so that was an idea. And that's going back a few years. And that's with a different minimum wage. But that yeah. was when I was starting out. I charge a lot more now. I probably yeah. wouldn't take 100 hours to paint it. So, But this is the problem we've all had as well. You know, what you've said there. You know, mm. you take on a commission, you invest... Older money, my I had a classic one where, like, you know, the person wanted. So you source the kit, then you, know, you get, you go out, you buy it, you buy all the consumables, and then they change their mind, and it's like, well, I'm now, you know, a couple of hundred quid out of pocket already. Yeah. Well, that's and it. Does happen, and it's so frustrating. That's why yeah. you ask for a deposit. It happened to me. I was commissioned. I was commissioned to build. Uh, I want. Oh, food is appearing. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. At least a Mrs. Ted then. That'd be surprising. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Ted. Is that your dinner turning up? 
Oh, no, 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 no. That was her indoors saying that she's popping out to work, bless her. Oh, lower can they? That's not bad. That's not good, is it? Yeah. Night shift. Um, yeah, but yeah. she prefers it that way because she can get into all the labs, mate. Ah, there you go. That's all right, then. Um, yeah, I was commissioned to do uh, a particular. Let's let's keep this vague to pre pre avoid embarrassment of people. Yeah, I was commissioned to do a specific gumpler, which mm -hmm. I did not particularly want to do because I've done that gumpler before and I hated it. Yeah, but it's a commission, so I'll take it. Uh, and it was remotely interesting. It was mildly interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and just as I was finishing it, he said, "Actually, I've I've, I've I, I can't afford it now." And I'm like, "Well." Okay, but because I, you know, I'd, we'd had the email back and forth, yeah. uh, we'd done the terms and conditions. He knew that he wasn't going to get his deposit back. Uh, he did he pay for the kit? I think I ordered the kit, but his deposit was a, a, a token amount plus the cost of the kit and everything else. So I ordered yeah. it anyway. So he, he basically, I said, just to confirm, if you're bailing, that means I get to keep all this kit and I get to sell it to someone else, and you don't get any refund of your deposit. Went, yeah, I understand completely. And that's the important thing. If you're going to do commissions, you have to do all that crap first. Yeah. You have to get them to agree to your terms, and that's why on my website, I've still got them on the website, but yeah, yeah. It, has, it has like a list of terms, and when I do an email, how much is this commission? Here's how much it costs. Um, if you're interested, if you're interested in the price, let me know. I will send you the terms and conditions, and you have to basically, I say to them basically, when you get this terms and conditions, you read it and you reply to this email with the terms and conditions saying that you've read them and understood them. Yeah. And then they reply saying, yes, I re I've read them, I understand them, let's go for the commission. At that point, they can't then turn around and demand a refund of this or that if they change it. Yeah. So, it, yeah, if, I, if anybody ever says to me, should I do commissions, I'm like, don't know. Do you want no, to we've all been caught no. out, haven't we, with that? Yeah. You ship it off and then suddenly the... The final payment doesn't come through, or there's something, you know, without going into details. We've all been stung yeah. a little bit, haven't yeah. we? Um, or, or the classic one that you spend all that time building it, painting it, you send it overseas, and then they claim never ever to have received it, and they yeah. get the money didn't, back. Yeah, didn't get it, uh, or it arrived damaged, or uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's where you then, that's where over just experience brings in new terms and conditions specifically for that. I had one uh, guy yeah. that uh, I sent a commission to. And for some reason, somehow, this guy lived in the 21st century and didn't understand that when you receive something from abroad, you get ship it, you get import duties from your local government. Yeah, your local, yeah. Yeah, so I sent this guy a very expensive model uh, and it went to him. It got to his customs uh, and excise yeah. thing, the courier there. And he got a thing saying, hey, we've got a package for you. You need to pay whatever, $100 or something, or wherever it was, 100 let's just say dollars, $100 import duties. And he mailed me and said, what's this? I didn't agree to this. And I'm like, I don't care. It's nothing to do with me. It's your government charging you import duties. Yeah, it's your government. It's because it's gone over a certain price point. Its value is, blah, blah, blah. And you pay yeah, value on it. And it was like, no, no, I'm not paying this. I didn't agree to this. It wasn't your terms. I said, it's nothing to do with me. Mm. Th this is your government charging you. This mm. is how the internet works, friend. Have you never ordered things online before? And in the end, he tried to get the money yeah. back. And it, 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 at the end of the day, he didn't get a refund mm. because he would paid for the model. The model had been shipped and he chose not to pay the import duty. So mm. what eventually happened was the, the customs and excise just destroyed it. Yeah. I assume because he never contacted me again. So it's I assume crazy, he never paid isn't it? it? Yep, but you, I know, you don't order a model from Germany and expect the supplier to pay your customs duties. Yeah. You know, if it's over a set amount, you know, it's that's what they deem yeah. it. Um, but these are these are the kind of things you have to think about when you're doing commission work. It yeah. sounds really stupid, but it's not. It's not a case of how much will it cost? This much? Brilliant! Can you do it? No, you have to get legal on their ass and do absolutely roadkill. <laughs> Roadkill says, oh, good, he says. Yeah, it had me in a bit of a panic. No, I'm not going to turn up on your doorstep with a blunderbuss saying, I want your money. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. You know, but uh, no, your honestly, money? mate, it's, it's two blokes having a discussion about concept art, mate. There's no... Yeah. So what, really happened, out of it. so what really happened is you sent him some ideas and he stole your ideas completely. So you've got a claim to make. <laughs> yeah, Roadkill sent me some concept art and said, what do you think? And Because, you know, and I'm, God, I love them, you yeah. know, which one so, would you do? You know, he's not gone, I want you to commission this or, or da, 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 yeah. you know. It's, it's so so what he's saying is he stole your ideas 
No, he, I'm stealing his. He's, he's that's what I said. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying sorry, to Roadkill. Mate. I'm saying to Roadkill that you basically stole his ideas. Yeah, but no, I'll build <laughs> it, mate, because, you know, then it'll be... Because I can then show his concept art. I go, well, this bloke's blah, 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 and it gives him a bit of kudos and all, mate. So, yeah, happy yeah. days. Claire is from the ISM. It's lovely to have you on board, my love. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, Roadkill saying it's his Asperger's anxiety kicking me in the neck. Don't worry, mate. Honestly, I'm not gonna not gonna turn up and put horses head on your pillow, mate. <laughs> <laughs> also, it could have kicked you in a worse place. I don't worry about it too much. Oh yeah, you could be doing the river dance now, mate. You don't want to be oh, doing that. Wait, 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 wait. That uh, long silent scream that only men understand. Apparently Lynn was on the next closest number. Yeah, my number didn't get anywhere tonight. What's uh, this? I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, this was on the ISM Friday show. They do a oh. thing like a random number picker, and you bung in your number, and you can win like a UMP voucher or, or uh, whatever. I never get normally to Claire would normally Claire wins them all. Mm, I never get a chance to watch their streams. It's a shame, really. Yeah, uh, Lynn says I used to win a lot. Plus, got the closest number with a sticker. Uh, I don't Claire's win anything. Asking, <laughs> Claire's asking, are you all late night modellers or just in a different time zone? No, I'm in Basingstoke, originally from London, Claire, and Fox, you know, is in Manchester. Cheshire. But me and him are chronic <laughs> insomniacs. We don't sleep until 8 o'clock in the morning or whatever we go to bed. So, Well, let's be honest, you're a chronic insomniac and I'm an attention whore, so I'll take any stream. Yeah, I can it's, <laughs> you know, I'm a nightmare. I can go two or three days, sometimes as many as four days without any sleep. So yeah. me doing this is my way of not getting the ump with myself. So, yeah. But, I, but I, I'm, just, not, I'm, I'm not like a poorly sleeper, but I just I don't mind staying up. I'm normally up till two in the morning anyway. So Yeah, it gives the uh, guys the other side of the pond a chance to interact with us as well, because we yeah. do live shows and mainly the audience is UK. But I get a lot of people from the States that uh, are often saying, oh, I'd love to be able to interact more with you. So it gives them a chance. And, yeah. you know, I've got MS at the end of the day, so sleep for me is few and far between. So yeah, sleep's a luxury you this, get for a few hours Yeah, a day. this keeps me going. So, so at, the end of the day, going, at the end of the day, I mean, if, if I wasn't doing the streams with Colin, I probably would have done something anyway. Yeah, but it's it, perfect Colin... for us too, isn't it? Yeah, because I mean, I, I don't normally go to bed till one or two. Me and Colin have been talking about doing joint streams for a while. Mm. And I'd love to do my, my Warhammer Sunday stream on Sunday, three till six every Sunday. Uh, it's just me. Um, you like <laughs> the way I did plug. that? You like that, didn't you? Um, oh, pimp tart. See, it, you, it really you need are. to learn from the master. Anyway, so <laughs> I'd love to do that because it's just me. And it's fun, and I enjoy it, but I'd rather do this kind of thing where it's me and somebody else, and like, for example, me yeah. and Colin, because me and Colin get on really great. Mm. We have a good laugh. But unfortunately, because of technical reasons right now, I can't do that. Yeah. So uh, so this, we've been having to talk about doing, like, streams together, and this just meant I got a chance to hang out with Colin on the live stream, which is great. And well, I love yeah, because so apparently I'm a bit nutty, I'm a bit mad, and I'm, well, the Bane Blade proves <laughs> that, doesn't it? But Yeah. You're one of the few yeah. people that can actually, you know, put up with my bullshit and put me in my place when you need to. So most yeah, people but likewise, couldn't. you know, I mean, you know what I'm like. I'm a nightmare, Claire. I really am because I don't pimp me channel. Luke Luke Carswell will say this as well. I'm, I'm not great at advertising what I do. I'm kind of too Suck British. I sit there and go, oh, if you terribly wouldn't mind, there's a channel there. Oh. But don't worry if you don't want to look at it. When it, comes to pimp, me when it comes to pimpage, you need to be a car salesman, but you're actually a priest. I'm useless, mate. You're, li you're a little country village vicar. That's what you, <laughs> you need to know. Yeah, I mean, uh, Chris Conabare said it to me um, yesterday. He said, I couldn't believe it. He said, when I went on your channel. He said, and you've only just got 1,100 subs. He said, I thought you'd have a lot more of that. He said, because... You do things so differently with your models and things like that. And I said, I know why. And he said, why? I said, because I don't pimp it, mate. Yeah. I said, everyone you, has a go at me. Pimp your channel. When you I put a not video up. Village, you need to not be the village priest. You need to be the, the American car salesman. How many times have I, I, I put 13 videos up in one week once? And he messaged me and said, I just looked at your channel. I went, yeah, good for you. Uh, he said, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> He says, you've put up 13 videos this week. I went, yeah, I know. He said, how comes? He said, you've not linked any of them in the phone mark. Yep. I said, because people know where my channel is. 
Should and I'm like, you. at that point, people on the other side of the world could hear me face palming so hard I was, I was scratching the back of my head. So before long, I had all these emails coming through, messages from like Ted, Chris. It's like, really? Oh, you really are that bad, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. People know that when they get the string of emails or string of messages from me, that I'm trying to make them not be crap yeah. at something. I mean, I love Luke's work on the Sandy Branch. Clear. I'm always pimping him. And he, he he messaged me and he said, you know, gave me a shout out on his show and all of that. And he said, I'm not being funny. He said, you spend all your time pimping everyone else. He said, well, you can start pimping yourself. I said, that's for you to do, not me. Yeah, and you were like, oh, no, 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 no. I could possibly do that. <laughs> you really are like the little country village parish pre uh, vicar, aren't you? I, it's funny. I, I was embarrassed that I actually had a YouTube channel. I thought, that oh, people won't want to see my models. But yeah, I'm yeah, we're slowly totally trying to beat. Didn't leave me alone, did he? We're slowly trying to beat it out of him, Claire. So we'll get there eventually. Yeah, but yeah, no. So you know, me and Colin have been talking for a while about it, and like I say, Colin's one of the few people that could. Like, imagine if me and Chris tried to do a live stream. Chris would just sit there quietly, let me roll off with it, and he'd never get. He'd never get a word in edgeways. No, he just you know because you know Chris on the Monday show, he just sits back and lets us get on with it. So. That wouldn't oh, necessarily, yeah. I don't think that would work, but me and you, you can just tell me to show up. Yeah, but it's a major change for me because I'm the same with Dave because Dave's a really introverted, quiet fella. You probably yeah. noticed. And I'll talk about bullshit for hours, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like, because I like to keep the show going. I don't like dead air because you know what it's like. It's nothing worse, is there? So wait, I'll what, just wait, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. A cockney talk bullshit for hours? Surely not. Yeah, but I'll just prattle on about nothing, you know. There's two, <laughs> there's two flies over there, Dave, and he goes, really? Oh, yeah, look, look, look. Whereas Dave's quite a quiet lad, you know, and if I say to him, cover me for a minute, I'll just need to go to the loo. Oh, dear He's like a cat in headlights, isn't he? But, <laughs> but I hear. used to be like that when I first started doing these because it was back in the days with the other lads. And I'd be the one sat in the background, but I always had to have someone host him because I felt uncomfortable been the host you know yeah, and, host with an h yeah because uh, you know uh, it just took a while to get used to but yeah, yeah. that's the thing uh, the thing the thing i like about dave um is that he, he like you say he's very very quiet but when he does say something <laughs> oh, he's brutal when he it's just harsh <laughs> i sat there claire on a sandy show yeah oh, about two months ago and I was giving him a good old build-up, wasn't I? I was like, hello, mate. And I was like, well, oh, it's that classic. time of day, Dave, uh, you know, where I ask you that question and, you know, the, the audience want to know and all of this lot. And I'm like, bung your false screen, Dave. Yeah, no worries. He says, I said, what have you been up to at the bench this week? And he just looked and went, nothing. <laughs> totally killed it. <laughs> and totally like, killed it. Cheers, mate. And he went, what? He said, I ain't got to lie, am I? And I said, could have told me that before the show. I've just given you a five-minute build-up, mate. <laughs> it's comedy gold, bless him. Yeah, uh, that's probably why he did it. <laughs> yeah, Spid says, you're always in good company on one of these streams. Uh, yep. We're a nice, almost sane bunch. Yeah, we... Steady. Don't get too. Don't make us out to be too sick. Yeah, I've I've been one of them people. People try to get me to conform to what the modelling community think I should be. Then I... Uh, that, yeah. the, the thing is, right, the people that want you to conform to the modelling community standard, they assume that you actually like what the modelling community standard is. I, yeah, I, I'm just I, me, mate. I don't, I don't have any interest in the, what's you expected. And it's, it's funny, um, I was chatting to Paul not long back, uh, Mr. Bretland, and he was on about some of the negative stuff that I've had in the community and likewise that he's had, you know, and I said, yeah, it gets to you. I said, but it's like anything, you just get on with it didn't you i said well, really? you've got your style paul well, i've got mine you know i said but you do worry sometimes that you don't quite conform to what people want look at us on e-models yeah it's like, yeah i i have no interest at all in the way i kind of do it is i have no interest at all in what people think i should be or what people want me to be no i, I do what i want to do because i enjoy it and if people like that if somebody doesn't like it then there's plenty of other people who will well, this is it. It's like I've said to you many a time, and Lynn understands this because Lynn's known me for a lot of years now. Yeah. But, you know, because of my 
mobility and the health issues, I'm housebound. So this, this is my window to the world and what we do. This is my way of interacting with people. So mm. without that, you'd be knackered, wouldn't you? Absolutely. You, you completely would. But yeah, no, so that, that's what the hobby gives me. It gives me friends and, and, and almost like a but, modeling family, isn't it? But I mean, the thing, the thing I've had to say to people in the past when people get like stressed out because somebody said a, a nasty thing or they gave them a thumbs down or whatever it is, mm. you know, that's some like bad comment or something. I have to say, look, that's one comment. There's seven billion people in the world. <laughs> if you lose a few viewers here and there because they don't like what you do, then that's their problem, not yours. Well, you, you just keep doing. You just keep doing. Yeah, you just do what you do. There's seven billion people out there. Pretty much sure that a lot of them will probably like what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, you know this with me, what I'm like, you know, up until a year or so ago, you know, I'd be sitting oh, 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 terribly upset this person, they gave me a thumbs down. It Said every word. Uh, it used name. to bug yeah. the living daylights out of me, didn't it? And you yeah. go, don't worry about it, dude. Whereas now I'm like, oh, jog on. <laughs> Blocked. There you go. Bye. You know, but you're not always going to be liked. You're not always going to say or speak how people want you to, to be. No. And for a number of years when I first started, I was really conscious of my slight accent. <laughs> and I hadn't noticed what, really? Yeah, I know, I know. But it's only recently I found out. Someone said, oh, you've got a bit of a twang there, mate. But they said, I'm sorry, Colin, but I hate to tell you this, but I think you might be a, perhaps a southerner. Oh, yeah, I used to be. You like, wait, what? what? Jesus out of me, whereas now it's like, if you don't like how I speak, turn the volume down. I don't mind. <laughs> don't like yeah, it. See ya. But, you have, yeah, and you know, like we were, you know, like we were saying earlier on about how you know my mate got me into thinking that a model on the shelf is wasted income and I should just sell it. Yeah, and, and that was like, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's the same thing with this. It's somebody doesn't like what you do, bye. See yeah. ya. They, they'll they'll go away. Somebody else will come along. There's always somebody. And at the end of the day, oh yeah, I mean I. I'm, uh... I ain't a great connoisseur of the English language. You probably noticed. <laughs> it's part of your charm. Um, part of your charm, dear. I just word things in a particular way. Um, but people can mistake that for you having a dig at them or having a go at them or trying to be right. rude to them. Now, people that know me intimately and closely know that that's not me. I don't set out to upset anyone, offend anyone or no. bully anyone or whatever. You know, I'm just very blunt with me language. But like Fox, you, the other week, when it, what are you doing? Corrugating. What's that? <laughs> Corrugating, mate. Oh, yeah, what's that? It's a go. But yeah, I know that. <sighs> it's like, you know, how many of us have read an email and gone, git? And you ring the person up and they're not actually having a dig at you. They're just wording something, but you might misread it. And yeah, I've had that for years where and even recently you know where people get the ump with you and it's like why are you getting the ump mate What's is the ump with an h or an a uh with h uh, they're like oh you said this <laughs> i go yeah i oh, know why do you think i'm having a go at you then that's the furthest thing from my mind but it's not translated is it it's not come no, over very text well but you will then lose a few people out of your friend circle because they've got their ump with you and it's like oh, whatever yeah if you've taken the ump over it, you don't know me very well, or you, you know. But but this is this is a lesson you learn harshly and early on in YouTube, is um, if you're in any way sensitive, or a delicate wallflower, or you can't take criticism, either good criticism or bad criticism, or you can't take people that aren't that are just going to hate on you, because there's always going to be people that just just give you crap for no reason. Yeah. If you can't take that, don't be on YouTube. Yeah. It's just, it's, it sounds harsh, but it's as simple as that. If you can't take, I mean, I'll, I'll happily accept valid criticism, don't get me wrong. Yeah, constructive uh, criticism don't hurt. Destructive yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, but even even crappy like, oh, your work's crap. Blah, blah, blah. It's not valid criticism, but I don't give a crap about it. Yeah. Because I'm like, well, I don't care. You just, <laughs> just one less view. It's fine. There'll be millions of others. But if you can't. If you can't do that, if you can't say, well, I don't care, it's just it's just a man typing on the internet, <laughs> who cares? Yeah. If you can't do that, you're not going to survive on YouTube. You just you're just not, or on any kind of internet base. If you're creative, yeah, you, you're not going to last five minutes. You're going to oh, you've got to have skin like blubber, ain't you? You've got to have a thick skin, mate. It's not so much that. Things. You've just got to basically. I don't want to say the rude words anymore, but not give an f about it. You've just got to be yeah. like, I don't, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, absolutely. 
you know, I had a bit of a rant the other week on the Sunday brunch because, you know, I, I don't know Paul Bretland very well, but I know him well enough. You know no, what I, I mean? No, no, and, and, you know, I, 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 had, I had my nerves pricked a couple of days before because someone was having a rant about him and it kind of gave me the ump, you know, and I'm like, have you yeah. ever met him? Well, no. Have you ever watched any of these videos? No. Well, what's your problem then? Oh, I heard through the grapevine. Blah, blah. And I'm like, so you're now slagging someone off. Based on the right PSA. old, yeah, based on he said, he said, she said. And it gave me the ump. So I had, <laughs> I had a bit of a rant on the Sunday brunch about it. And said, well, like, yeah, that's know, absolutely right, though. Let's, let, let's just get off each other's backs. You know, I mean, I don't have long in this world. As you know, it's, it's one of them things. But all the time I'm going to be here, I'm going to try and be nice to people and not put up with all the BS that goes around in the community. And so I, <laughs> I had a bit of a rant on the Sunday brunch, but it's surprising how many people got in touch. God, that's so annoying. Ooh. How many people got in touch and said, well said, mate, because yeah. like, Paul, I've been a victim of it, as Luke knows, you know, because mm -hmm. Paul, Paul and Luke reached out when they found out I was going through my issues last year. Mm. Um, you know, I said, people don't see that. Now I'm going to say it. You know, Paul sent me a lovely message. Really was, you know, if it's anyone related to me, please let me know. So it's not. It's done through you guys. You guys have been fine. And he's like, it drives you nuts. I said, yeah, but now I understand how you feel, mate. Yeah. Because it is frustrating, but you do take it personal, you know. But yeah. I, that's all I said on the brunch, you know. I said, the bloke, if he was that bad, would he have taken the time to send someone he's doesn't he hasn't physically met a war and peace message of support? Of course he wouldn't. So leave him alone, and I've, I've proper got on me soap. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's the right thing to do. Because, you know, we, we all have opinions about people, good and bad, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, if I'm going to have opinion about someone, I want it to be based on my own experience. Absolutely. I mean, we Absolutely. all do. We, I mean, none of us are innocent of doing bitchy stuff. We all do bitchy stuff, but it only goes yeah. so far. Yeah, it, but know, when we, you're when you're having a go at a bloke just because you're jealous because he might be making a few pound by selling modelling products that work, well, don't yeah. have a go at him. Yeah. That's just people being jealous. That's envy. That's nothing to do with Paul. Walker yeah, I can't remember does. the word for it, but there's a word for that. It's yeah. And it is, uh, sour grapes, maybe. I don't know. It gave me the ump, and I cut my bottom lip out, and I probably threw my teddy bears out. A couple yeah. of people sent me some narky emails, but that's up to them. You know, I yeah. don't give a shit. Excuse my language, but I don't. But I just thought I had to get it out there, and yeah. Clear saying the... good for you guys. Helps us have company in the small house. You're always welcome, darling. Yeah, but that but that's the thing. I mean, you know, I there's you know there's people that I don't get on with. There's people that I don't like, and there's people that I can't stand. Yeah, but you've and, been a victim of it, and you've kept very quiet about it. But, yeah, well, but us lot have been there and got you through it. Well, no, but the important thing is that there's you know there's people there's people that I can't that I hate the guts of, and the people that I can't stand, and people that I don't like. And while I may express things in closed conversations, like you know yes. us lot hanging out in a hangout or something like that, or on a, on a Facebook chat. Um, I'm not going to air that in public in a chat no, or a video. absolutely not, because it's no one else's business. Is and, and not because I've got a YouTube channel and I have, a, you know, I can't, I can't afford to do that. Not that at all. It's because you don't, you don't slag somebody off that can't defend themselves absolutely. in public, like you private don't conversations your in public. Do you? I mean, me and you have sat there and you know talked about people and stuff in private. Well, yeah, because well, I've been a victim of some of them, haven't we? Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, so it's like, you know, that's, but there's, there's, there's private conversations, which is one thing. You know, you don't have to like everybody. It's all right to not like someone. Yeah. And it's all right to to have to vent about them from time to time. It's fine. You, but you either do it to the face, which is the grown-up thing to do, and express your issues, or you just you do it in private to someone yeah. and you just get it off your chest. But you don't do it publicly when that yeah. person's, A, not there to defend themselves, uh, and B, it's based on hearsay screen burpage hearsay and nonsense mm. anyway I don't know, that's this... what gives me the um it's you know and i i you know i went through it where people in the community were believing rumors should we say 
yeah. without going Don't they always? Detail. And it's like, look, if you've got a problem or you want to know, ask me the question and I'll talk to you about it. But if you're trying to get into the personal tit for tat, I'm not going to divulge that because that'll be between me and other individuals. Yeah, However, no. if you're going to F with me, at least have the courtesy to kiss me first. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, yeah. but it's when they believe all of that and you're a victim of it and you you then start getting that fed back to you that that's what's been said. That's what gives me the ump because you're not only you're messing with someone's channel, you're messing with their, but you're killing their enjoyment for the hobby. And yeah. That angers me. There's too much of that. And that's why we've gone down that road of trying to put an end with it, we really. Yeah. I mean, in, a, in one way it's good because I like that people piss you off like that because it means you have to say the word hump many times and it's brilliant. Yeah. Any reason for you to say hump? About 20 times in the conversation, I'll happily listen to that all day. Oh, yeah, it does, though, doesn't it? It does give you the right ump. <laughs> ump. Do it in the microphone, dude. Do it in the microphone. Ump. How many did you get for a pound? Three. Three for a pound. Three for a pound. Four, four, nah. four for a fiver? Nah, four for a fiver, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's people out there now going, sounds like a good deal. Three for a pound, four for a pound, two for a pound, everything's bad. Absolutely, pound. yeah. Pound Nice comment that spit, mate. Yeah, I am self-deprecating, mate. And yeah, I know, mate. He's, too, he's too damn humble. I need uh, all of okay, you in so chat. Luke's to just, been spreading the word. I need all of you in chat just to get on Colin's ass to make him less humble. Yeah, Claire says everyone's an individual of their own style. Yeah, I mean, I can't help who I am or what I am, but I enjoy being it. <laughs> That's how I look at it. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, Claire says Paul and Luke have been good to them. This is what annoys me, right? Now, uh, as a prime example there, they've helped her out recently. Everyone's prepared to say the negatives, isn't they? But when you hear things like that, you know, and I've, I know because Paul and Luke have reached out to me on more than one occasion, mm. people don't talk about the nice stuff, do they? It's no. always the negatives. Oh, it, you, from doing customer service for many years, you learn you never get the good feedback, you only ever get the complaints. Yeah. And um, that's what annoys me. ECI, I said, I think it's so cool to join streams from somewhere that's not local. It's great to hear things with a different angle than local views. Absolutely, mate. Yep. Please Welcome ask where he's from, Fox, because I would have ripped you mercilessly then, mate. Do what was I? I was hoping you was going to ask me where he was from then, because I would have ripped you mercilessly, mate. I know all things. <laughs> Lynn Dippel says, free for a pond. Yeah. Free for pond, free for it's, pond. It's free for a pound. Let, let me pound. write it in chat to spell it. If, if anybody is not from London or the UK and wants to know how to, how to write it, you would write yeah. it. You have to do it in capitals for a start. It's funny. I got asked whether I was from London by someone once. I said, you own a laugh. <laughs> there you go. I'll put it in caps for you. That's how you say it. Free for a pound. Free for a pound. Yeah. Get, get, get your mittens here. Get your mittens here. Free for a pound. <laughs> Wet mittens, three for a pound, three for a pound, four for a pound, five for a pound. Yeah, get your dry slaps here, three for a pound. That's cheap. But, uh, no, it's, it's, I don't think, is the community as bad as it once was? Or is it is it stabilised a bit? Because it I, does seem I, to go. No, I think there's, I think there's good parts of the community, like, for example, uh, without doing too much self pimpage, the model makers boom hut. <laughs> there you go, another big yeah, pimpage. Yeah, the model yeah. makers boom hut is a nice safe space because I enforce it with an iron fist. Cool, oh, yeah, we don't. Uh, and the moment there, anyone steps we? out of line, I just kick them out. I just, they're just gone. I, I don't care. Um, mm. So you get good places like that, like the boom hut, and there's loads of other places where it's nice and friendly. And you know, I, I'm. I think both of us are very lucky. I, I can only speak to my experience, but I'm very mm. lucky that I've never really had a problem ever with crappy chat or comments or snarkiness or anything like that every every time i do a live stream everybody in chat is really awesome every yeah. time i get comments in the what five or six years i've been doing this now i've had maybe about four crappy comments yeah on yeah. youtube and this is youtube where it's the whole thing is just a toxic pit of filth mm. and the floor is lava everywhere and everything's on fire and yet i've only ever had like four or five shitty comments i'm quite yeah so there are good places, but there's, there's always the snark. Uh, somebody said oh, in the yeah. chat there, and I can't remember who it was, uh, some people 
Uh, oh, ECI now says too pe too many people like drama and it nuts up. It nuts to whip up people. And you yeah. know what? Um, the kind of people that like all the kind of drama and hand wringing are the kind of people that watch all the YouTuber scandal videos where this YouTuber says this about that YouTuber and then this other yeah. YouTuber. And they watch celebrity gossip and crap and it's like, you know yeah. what? I've got a brain. Yeah. I have no Bring interest. The gossip in... magazines in the local news agents. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, it's like I'm an intelligent human being. I don't give a crap about gossip. So I, I, yeah. I, just, I have no interest in stirring up gossip or oh, angst yeah. or... You get it sometimes, don't? Because we're all in we're all in chat groups, aren't we? And that, yeah. and you, you, I don't know whether you get them, but you get the "Have you heard about?" message. Yeah, and you're like, mm. and I'm like, oh, I don't particularly want to hear about it it's because, like, no, and I don't care. <laughs> you're talking about someone that's got no idea that this is all going on behind their back. I wouldn't like it done to me. So if you don't mind. Don't really want to know, yeah. and then they seem surprised that you've <clears throat> taken that stance with them. But it's true; there are other people that just they they thrive on making drama, and everything is a major drama. And yeah, it's like I don't care if it if no. it's not affecting my channel or my friends. Mm. I don't care. It's, I have no yeah. interest at all. I'm too busy doing my own shit and trying to run my own mm. stuff and live my own life without Absolutely. giving a crap about what other people are saying about people outside. I just don't care. Oh, yeah. You, you do. You say, oh, I don't really want to hear it. I thought you'd be interested. Well, I'm not. No. no. <laughs> they seem really disappointed. They're like, oh, sorry, but yeah. would you like it if I was having this conversation about you? Well, no. There you go, then. <laughs> Roadkill Film says, get your flappy wings here, free for a pound. And he still spells it wrong. Oh, even though, really? even though I spelt it, even though I spelt it in chat for them, yeah, Ray still free spells for it pound. Wrong. Free for pound. Claire got, says like... I've had very. Oh, sorry, go on. No, go on, go on. You go. Uh, Claire says she's had very positive comments on all her work. It's bigotry that can cut deep for me. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's still a lot of that love, isn't there? It, it's not on, is it? No. It, it's like any yeah. any hint of. In the boom hut, I mean, I, I can only speak to my own groups, but any hint, even the slightest hint of sexism, misogyny, racism, bigotry, yeah, homophobia, homophobia in the yeah. boom hut, I, I, I just kick their ass massively. It's just yeah, instant. I won't stand for it, mate. No, there's uh, there there is. I'm not going to say any names, but there is a person who was immediately removed from my channel, like they just blocked on every channel I've got. For just like a racist comment i'm like nope not having that gone yeah forget it yeah, you just, yeah you're not in my chat i can't see your comments you don't get comments on youtube you're not in my facebook groups you're not on my page goodbye gone yeah just gone. i i don't Walks tolerate it because i don't care whether someone's dating sheila or steve it don't bother me nope. none of my goddamn business i don't care whether someone's black white straight gay or what it doesn't nope. bother me it's nope. their choice we're all human we've all got our individual right to express ourselves freedom of speech and all of that lot. So I don't do the whole people trying to enforce their religious or political views on you or, nope. oh, that bloke over there is gay, he's wrong. And It's like, leave him alone. It don't matter. Yeah, you know, and we just don't stand for it. Because no, I, I, I just, point. I come down like a ton of bricks. The moment anybody puts any comment like that, even remotely anything like that, sexist, racist, homo, anything like that, I, they're just gone. I have yeah. no tolerance for won't have it, the, mate. it's it's ironic to say I have no tolerance for people who have no tolerance, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean yeah. at the end of the day we're on this little bowl of rock, isn't we? If we can't all get along, what's the point? Yeah. And the thing I like to say is uh they might say something and I'm like, How do you know the person you're talking to isn't whatever you've just said? Yeah. Gay, straight, black, white, whatever. Well, yeah, I had How I had someone and really go into town in a homophobic way i won't mm. name them but they're well known in the community and it was real aggressive nasty vile bigotry yeah. you know what i mean and this person was giving it all of this and i said you don't realize you're saying this to a bloke whose youngest son's gay yeah <laughs> and he was gobsmacked and i said so if ever i meet you we're going to have a problem. You do know that, don't you? Mm -hmm. And they was quite miffed, or you know what I mean, and put out by it. And I said, because you crossed the line with me now. Because... I, had, I, had a, I had a very similar thing, but it was on the on the subject of race. Mm. 
Mm. Somebody saying some very, very racist stuff. Yeah. Um, and I shut them the fuck up. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to swear. I no, shut them the no. hell up because I just said, I'm a white English man. Yeah. What makes you think everybody in my family is white? Yeah, absolutely. And they were like, oh. I said, yes. Goodbye, yeah. band. Yeah, you there's can't, no room you, for it, is there? No, I just like, get the fuck out of my group. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've, I had to knock two people out of the group oh, this time last year because of racist stuff, you know, to do with the BLM movement that <sighs> was going on at the time, you know. And, and I said, look, at the end of the day, mate, the colour of someone's skin shouldn't be a problem in 2019 or 2020, as it was then. I said, I don't get it. I said, I really don't. I said, and I'm not going to have it in the group. So, jog on. Go on. To, be, to be perfectly blunt, I wouldn't even do that. I would just kick them out, ban them, and say, and say this person was removed for racist comments. They will not be tolerated. I wouldn't, yeah. even, I wouldn't even engage them in conversation because they don't deserve it. They no, just, I just, just, I just like... Longer. The moment somebody says something like that, they're just gone. Yeah. Just, that's it. They don't, they don't get an explanation. They're just gone. So. Yeah. And Claire sums it up. I mean, it's where I was going to say earlier on, she said, we're all human and just enjoy our modelling. It's nice to find places where everyone is welcome. Absolutely. I mean, in the, this is what I've never understood. It's what I was saying to Paul. What I don't understand is, you know, we're... we're men and women of a certain age sitting there building plastic models. Yeah, we make toy soldiers. It's like, really? How can there be so much hatred and rivet counting and all of that lot in the mm -hmm. hobby when all we're doing is we're building plastic model kits? I we're don't making understand little, it. We're making little tiny plastic men. Yeah. Which is pathetic. And I find it bizarre that grown adults go to war with each other over the wrong kind of dunkle gill or it's mm -hmm. not the correct paint scheme on that tank because that's wrong. And there's real venomous nastiness and, mm -hmm. you know, rifts and volatile arguments all develop. And I'm like, it's a piece of plastic. Mm. Uh, Roadkill Films, if you're missing comments, make sure at the top of the chat it's set to live chat, not top chat. You might not uh, see yeah. everything. If it's, not, if it's set to top chat, you might not see every single comment. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Spiddy says, on a serious note, though, all of those who can only criticise and put others down are severely lacking in their own sad little lives. Absolutely. Oh, the, the morons. I mean, I, I I hold no truck with anybody like that. And anybody who is racist, sexist, misogynistic, homophobic, um, anything like that, they're morons. They're just absolute morons. They're, they're not. Yeah. They're just Oxygen simple thieves, mate, isn't they? They're mouth breathing absolute chud muppets. They're morons. They don't deserve <laughs> they don't deserve any of your time and you just fuck them off. Yeah. I can to stop swearing on your stream, sorry, dude. Oh mate, I ain't gonna get monetized, <laughs> is I don't monetize me lives, mate. Why not? What why the hell not? Never have done, mate. You know what this finger is? Uh, can everybody in chat please give comment as many fingers of shame as you can muster? All Why? of them, please. It's lives, isn't it? You're bound to have the odd swear word and that, so I didn't think you'd get monetized. Monetize it. Oh, I'm going to go back through that lot and monetize you need No, you can't monetize them now because you don't get views. But the next live stream, always monetize everything on YouTube, everything ever, ever. Please, everybody in chat, give him the finger of shame. There, you see? Yeah. <laughs> finger of shame. Absolutely. Uh, EC IDEO says, uh, why can't people just see people are not based on their hair or eye colour? You're right. It's freaking 2021. Let's get along. Well, I go back to a brilliant comment I heard. Oh, and it was, I was watching one of those IMAX movies and it was when the space shuttle was doing the rounds of the earth, you know, and I had asked the rounds of the earth. <laughs> yeah. They were, you know, it was just, was it going space? It. Yeah, he was just going around in circles, wasn't he? Because it is round, isn't it? Like a bowl, not flat, like a salsa. It's anyway, round, round he, for a pound. He, he sort of said quite a poignant line. He says, I'm looking at the window. He said at the, the planet below that looks really fragile. You know, it was a bit of an old hippie, bless him. And he's, he says, the thing I notice, he said, is there's like the land masses. You can't see no borders. You can't see no black, v white, this, be that, you know. He said, and 
Look how much ocean there is and our little land there. He said, why can't we just get on? Mm -hmm. And it was, he thought, well, yeah, he's got a point there, hasn't he? Yeah. But, you know, True. we're all fighting for a bit of dirt. What's the point? It's it's entirely the reason that I I, I despise 99% of my own species. Yeah, I didn't I look used to. But once I, I got back into this hobby, I did see a sad side develop. And it's like, really? No, I, I, I literally just despise, aside from the people I care about, I despise my own species because 99% of my own species are just morons and I have no time yeah. for morons. And I never Absolutely. have that time. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to pussyfoot around and be careful around them. If they're a moron, they're a moron and they don't get my, deserve my time. So, Oh yeah. Spid says, yeah, it's the snobbery that bugs me. He says, I've joined and left a few groups who start picking at each other for not doing things right. Yeah, I did one a good couple of years ago now, and it got me into a little bit of trouble. Uh, I built uh, I built Nigel Mansell's Ferrari, but I painted it in Ayrton Senna's McLaren team colours oh. with all the decals, see? Because Mansell and the late Ayrton Senna were rivals. So, yeah, I did it as a bit of a wind-up with our friend Bill, uh, Sergeant Bones, because he's a Ferrari fan. Now, I won't name the group that I posted it in, but I did post it in a group on Facebook. Um, and people going, oh, yeah, you know, great, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Senna, brilliant driver. All the, you know, proper giving it the beans on how accurate it was and all of this lot. And then it was noticed that it wasn't quite what it seemed to be. And I got ejected from the group with a rather <laughs> venomous hate campaign. <laughs> That's just pathetic. It's like, dudes, it's a gag. Get over it. Come it's, on. It's a, it's a plastic model. It's a toy car. Uh, yeah, it's a plastic kit in my house on my shelf that was done as a, a wind-up to me mate who loves Ferrari. And I thought it'd be a good, mate. They, oh, the mate. They really got the hunt with me. <laughs> and it made me more determined to do things like the Bane Blade then. Mind you, my mate Nikki, my mate Nikki, if you, if you, she loves McLaren. Um, and if you gave her a McLaren... Formula One car painted in Ferrari colours, she would eviscerate you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because she loves Sarge. McLaren, hates, hates Ferrari. Yeah, Sarge was on about swimming over and coming out and slapping the taste out of my mouth. It's like, dude, it's, it's only a laugh. But, yeah. Paul Di Tabazzo says, sorry, guys, he's got yourself all worked up and depressed. I'm going to go to bed. Oh, mate, that's not our intention, dude. Not at all. No, 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 no. Don't get the ump, mate. You know, we're only talking about stuff. Bless you. Uh, yeah, so that's Spiddy saying about the snobbery. Uh, he's also <laughs> saying one of the things he likes is that it's a hobby you can do however you wish. Uh, if you want, just glue stuff together and leave it as it's all good and yeah. paint it good. Absolutely. If you want to, you can add 35 turrets to your Bane Blade and... Uh... Oh, really? Roquel says, I seem to get a lot of racist slurs from his skin tone, even though I'm not what they say I am and stuff. It sucks, and uh, I'm used to it at this point. Yeah, I used to have a, a good couple of coloured friends, and uh, I used to have the, a laugh and a joke with them, like, you know, and, he, and I was drinking with one of them one night, and he, he got a bit of the old racism thrown his way, and I, I basically said to the bloke, I said, I ain't being funny. I said, but who's the pillock here? I said, because you're having to go at him about his skin colour. I said, and yet you're going to Spain in a few weeks. It's cost you how many, ever, ever many thousands of pounds. I said, you're going to lay there on the beach hoping that your skin colour goes the same colour as his. <laughs> I said, so who's the mug? Him or you? Yeah. You know, it's like, really? See, the, the problem here is, Colin, that you're, you're trying to give logical reasons to them, but they're too stupid. You're wasting your time. It's bad, though, isn't it? It's yeah, like but you, you're kind crazy. of wasting your time and even engaging in conversation because they're just morons. Oh, yeah. All those words you said, he won't have understood any of them because no. he did. It's just tough it's no. It's just That's like, why I don't waste time on them. I just kick them out or whatever I'm doing, you know. Yeah, honestly, it's just like, yeah, there's no point, yeah. is there? You're far too benefit, benefactual for you give them too many words and they don't understand half of them. I know. Do you realise we've had a serious conversation here in a modelling uh, stream? I know. This is, I, and I've, you, you, I've, I've done a bit of work as well, which is even worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I might get in trouble for mine, mate. It's a bit, yeah. Nonsense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, people are disappearing now, so it looks like we might have to call it a night. Yes, I should get to bed, sorry, because 
I've got to be up. I've got to be doing a stream again tomorrow at three o'clock. <laughs> oh, have you? Oh, yeah, bless. it's Saturday, isn't it? Of course, yeah. So uh, are you got to pimp that before we go. You mean like the little Saturday stream at three o'clock? Yeah, 100%. like I just did a minute ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't forget, I, I will be around at three p.m. tomorrow for Skyrim Saturday, assuming I'm awake. Um, I'll be playing Skyrim. I may have made some changes. I may have added some more mods and. Our friend George Arblerp may look a little bit different. He looks a oh. lot. Let's put it this way: he, he looks more like a kitten than he did before. So, oh. he no That's longer looks like there. some kind of weird mutant square face thing, but he actually looks like a cat now. So, if he you may... tune in tomorrow and, and or today, and foxes, <gasps> yeah, if I'm yawning like a bugger. Uh, also, why. he may have he may have slightly changed colour a bit as well. So. <laughs> And that's at three o'clock over on the Model Making Guru's channel, folks. See, three o'clock for a pan. And uh, I'll see you again on Sunday for the Sunday brunch. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, where Dad's going to be stepping in for Dave because Dave's off to go and see his mum. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah, so, uh, so we'll be doing dad, that. Extra dadness on the, yeah. on the Sunday stream. Yay. Yeah, as far as I know, he'll be doing his in-between shows, which I'll then be his guest on. And we're educating Dad at the moment, so we'll be doing that. Uh, and then us will be for Monday for some reason, models, wasn't it? When you said we're educating Dad, I was all I could think was, do we now need to start calling him Rita? <laughs> educating Rita. Yeah, so most people there, won't mate. get that reference. <laughs> Good film. Rightio then, folks. Going to love and leave you. Thanks yep. to each and every one of you for taking the time to tune in. Sorry if we depressed anyone, but yeah, we didn't mean to. And uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Yep, take care, everyone. Big hugs. Stay safe. Wear a mask.